His name was Geralt of Rivia. He was a witcher, a professional monster slayer. An unusual contract to lift the curse that held a monarch's daughter. It was enough to spend the night with the princess, dusk till dawn. If only she were not a deadly beast, a striga. The traitor responsible for the curse became the bait.
Though gravely wounded, the Witcher lifted the curse and gained fame. The world changed with the coming of the Great War, the time of the sword and axe, the time of disdain. Geralt of Rivia disappeared, all but forgotten. But that's another story. The Northern Kingdoms nursed their wounds for five years after the Great War. Plague and famine raged, the death toll unknown. A few surviving elven and dwarven units sought refuge amidst forests, where they prepared for a final, desperate fight. Abominable beasts ruled backwoods, highways, and former battlefields alike. In cities and villages, folk were left wondering, what had happened to the Witchers? The Blue Mountains in the north of Kedwin. The year, 1270. Five years after the Great War. Everything's all right. I've no idea where you've been. The important thing is you're alive and among friends. Though you look like you just left your grave. I remember nothing. We'll speak soon enough. We're nearing Kaer Morin. Tris. Your time nears its end, witches. Enjoy things while you can. You missed the parry. I keep repeating this. Pirouette always followed by a back cross parry. Always. Barely two days have passed since they found you. Mm hmm I owe my recovery to you. Thank you, Triss. Remember anything? Not much. Look below. I know the moves. Pirouette, parry, cut.
I can't explain it, but I feel a bond when we speak. I know you are important. Geralt, wake up. I need to think. Time flows slowly at Kaer Morhen. It worked! Not bad. Take a rest. What do you think, Geralt? Is he ready for the path? Wait for the rest. He's alone. The Professor promised 50 orange for every freak we kill. He's mine! <laughs> Vesemir, we got company. I'm shutting the gates. Geralt, grab a sword off the training forms. How do you feel? Fine. Anyone know who the intruders are? Ordinary bandits would never attack Kaer Morhen. That we know, Marigold. You could try some of your famous magic. In due time, Lambert. Enough! We need to check the other possible passages to the upper courtyard. What's happening? They're trying to break down the gate! They won't get anywhere without a battering ram. Shit! What is that? A frightener. One mean beast. Savola. I know him. A mage as ambitious as he is insane. They're coming up here. Get ready! There's more! They're entering the upper courtyard! The one in glasses is the Professor. Murder for hire. I sense magic. There's a sorcerer among them. Professor, you know the way. Get to it. The Professor is wanted in Redania, Tamaria, and Kedwin. A real maggot. I don't recognize the sorcerer. Marigold, I'm interested in whether you can disarm Savola. The rest is witch's work. I'll try. They're coming. The Frightener is very dangerous, but it's vulnerable to loud noises. The bell's in the upper courtyard. Exactly. Eskel, Lambert, you'll help me stop the Frightener and the bandits. Leo, stay behind us. Geralt, you open the gate to the upper courtyard. When we're there, Triss can stop Savola and his pet while we prepare to deal with the Professor and the Unknown Mage. I'll figure something out. Let's do this. Bleed them a bit down here before withdrawing. Geralt, follow the wall and break through to the tower where there's a passage to the upper courtyard. Alone? 
They're just bandits. Though one might be infamous, you must open the gate. We'll be waiting. Good luck, Wolf. The day you were born. through here. Follow me. Back to Savola. It's a miracle you're alive. 
You could have told me about the stairs. Lambert and Eskel were supposed to fix them yesterday. We're not masons. No matter. The Professor and the other mage must be hiding in the keep. Face the truth, Witchers. They're here to rob you. Trace, child, we have nothing of value. Some good steel, snow fox pelts? I mean the laboratory and you know it. Someone wants your famed mutagens. You're jumping to conclusions. Triss may be right. We need to find out what they want. One thing at a time. We shouldn't turn our backs on a strong mage leading a frightener. And you can't let the bandits in the lab. Right as usual, Triss. Geralt, you've dealt with mages. Find out what this one wants. Leo will guide you. Just reconnaissance, or...? No one will be sorry if some of them lose their heads. You'll manage, Wolf. Just remember Leo's with you. I can handle this. We'll see what's happening inside and be back. Take these potions just in case. Drink the Thunderbolt now and keep Swallow for when you need healing. I'll be able to tell you how they work. We'll make sure no one else gets inside. Triss, stay with us in case Savola has any new ideas. Geralt? Mm-hmm. Is this your first real fight? No, but I've never killed a man. Stay close. I've heard all of Dandelion's ballads about you. Lambert tells me I'll never be as fast as a real witcher. But I managed to aid him during training today. You beat Lambert? Yeah, we were fencing on the floor pegs when that strange storm came. Lambert looked away, I did a pirouette, hit him right in the gut. Uh, he didn't fall, and then he beat me. You'll make a good swordsman yet. I know. <laughs> Every time Lambert beats me, he says I have potential. These stairs lead to the lab. Follow me.
The energy you annexed from the Circle of Elements is enough to stop the Witchers? You trembled, yet you complained Savola would have them all, leaving none for you. Did the sight of a single Witcher, White Wolf himself, instill fear? The aforementioned considered dead, I might add, is a known killer. I'll gladly challenge him. Leo, stand back. Come on, Professor. Time is essential. I wield the power of the Circle of Elements. They are no threat. Back to work. I want the mutagens ready for teleportation in 15 minutes. Our witches shan't trouble us. We're cut off. The stairs are blocked. The magic barrier looks solid. We need Triss. They're robbing us. Geralt, clear the passage upstairs. Use a sign. A sign? The Ard. I can't do it since I broke my fingers training along the gauntlet. Cast the Ard at the debris. I don't remember the signs. Let's go to the Circle of Elements, a source of the power. You need to try and learn the Ard. All right. Success? We'll see in a minute. I knew it would work. Let's get back before Lambert kills the Frightener himself. What did you learn? The bandits are in the lab, searching for something. The mage used the circle of elements to create a magic barrier. The plague! You're all children. Why didn't you mention the circle? Triss, child, it didn't seem important. If the mage aligned with the circle, he can create a stable portal through which he'll travel to anywhere on the continent, taking your equipment with him. All right, we made a mistake, but you said the mage was harmless. I said I didn't know him. I think we should protect the lab above all. Don't panic, Marigold. We know you'd like to see our witch's secrets. Vesemir, if that idiot doesn't shut it, I'll... Enough! Lambert, stop baiting Triss. Show her some respect. Triss, if we go to the lab, they'll have us surrounded. We know tactics. Maybe we should split up. Geralt's right. We need to protect the lab and kill the Frightener. Who goes where? Only I can break the barrier. I'm going inside. Vesemir? I'll stay and handle the Frightener and Savola. What about you, Geralt? We may both need your help. The lab is important. I'm going with Triss. Me too. It's decided then. Eskel and Lambert will stay with me. Savola just cast a spell. Something's happening. The ground is shaking. Feel it? They're breaking through. Defend the laboratory! This could be a hard fight, Geralt. Take this potion. Witchers call it the Tawny Owl. It restores endurance. Very useful when fighting mages. Thanks. Let's go.
You'll go no further, White One. I'll summon a powerful demon that will tear you apart. A bluff. He's exhausted from teleportation. Magic lights is about all he can muster. Go. We'll deal with him and join you at the barrier. Underestimating an opponent. Now the energy of my people will be stronger. Are you hurt? Did he get you? Nah. But if those were magic lights, I'd hate to face a truly powerful sorcerer. I wanted to help, but I couldn't break through that strange circle. Savola's eating dirt. That's what matters. We need to help Triss. Let's go. Found it. We have what we came for. Professor, deal with those witches. I hear witches can parry bolts in flight. Smashed ribs, punctured lung. 
He's dying. He needs White Rafford's decoction. Hang on, Leo. It was here. I can't find it. Vesemir, Leo is dead. How did this happen? He attacked the Professor. I was late. It's not your fault, Geralt. We're all to blame. Triss barely made it fighting for us. These are bad times for witchers, and something tells me they'll only get worse. Is it safe up top? Relatively. Some stragglers up there, but we'll deal with them later. You look tired. I'd like you to rest. I'll keep watch and tend to Leo's body. Eskel came by while you were resting. Triss is still unconscious, but stable. That's a relief. I've made a decision, Wolf. We abandon Kaer Morin. There's nothing holding us here. I see. We need to bid Leo farewell and wait for Triss to recover. And the bandits? Yes, we need to finish things. But first we must make a healing potion for Triss. We'll need to search for ingredients. Nothing useful left here. I can do that. How do I make the potion? Lambert will give you the formula. Look for him by the fireplace. He's with our brave sorceress. Lambert? He doesn't hate Triss? Feels guilty, I think. The first thing Triss will hear when she wakes is, Finally awake, Marigold. That's Lambert. Let's get to work. Later I'll teach you how to extract ingredients from monsters. I'll be in the main hall. Fine. Geralt, is something wrong? No time to talk. I need to make a potion for Triss. You should find a vial of white gull in the armory on the upper floor. Grab some calcium equum from the evening hall. Look for white stones in one of the chests. If you find any stragglers, finish them. We don't need prisoners. The stairs are through that door. I'd go, but Marigold lies unconscious by the fire. I'll find you later. Salamandra! You'll regret the day you were born.
What do you need? Lambert, I have to tell you something. What is it? Leo. 
The bandits killed him. He wasn't ready. What a loss. We'll hunt them down, Wolf. We'll avenge Leo. Done. I have the ingredients, and it's safe upstairs. Good. You'll need two more things to make the potion. The claw of a mighty beast, and some celandine. Vesemir will tell you where to find them. Let me teach you the formula. Oh, that was a tough fight. I found a few intruders upstairs, but... I understand they won't be a problem. Lambert, however, let the Frightener get to him. Nothing serious. Good you went after Triss and handled that mage. She was able to salvage some equipment, but it looks like the main device has vanished. Our beautiful sorceress was right, I know. You did well, Wolf. Take this armor and sword. I've been keeping them for you. Lambert gave me the formula. I take it you already have White Gull and Calcium Equum. I do. What next? You'll need Celandine. Take what I have. Plus the claw of a monster like the Frightener. To skin a creature, take a sharp knife and cut along the torso. You'll find the Frightener's carcass in the upper courtyard. Once you've extracted the claw, rest by the fire while making the potion. Yes? Where are Lambert and Eskel? Upstairs. Lambert's in the library, and Eskel's taking Triss to her room. I have all the ingredients. Good. Now rest, and prepare the potion according to the formula. What if I get the ingredients wrong? You'll have to find more. Where? I'll have another claw and more celandine. Eskel has alcohol and I saw calcium equum somewhere upstairs. But try to get it right the first time, it's not that hard. We'll speak later.
Thank you, Geralt. I hope this potion helps. That was terrible. I dreamt Lambert was with me. He was staring at me, saying things like, Don't go dying on me, Marigold. Calling me big-headed. I'm so glad to see you. What? I'm glad you're feeling better. I know we should set out, but I have a feeling we won't be back. Perhaps ever. Won't you stay just a bit longer? With me? I suppose we have some time. I'm so happy you're back. When I saw you, all the feelings I tried to deny returned. Stronger than ever. Triss, I'm not ready to talk about the past. Of course. I, I shouldn't pressure you. I just feel so... <laughs> the powers. I'm behaving like a teenager. Let's focus on the present. I guess I disappointed you all. Forgive me. Nothing to forgive. What I felt when I learned you were alive, hard to compare to anything. Oh. Except maybe what I feel as I look at you. I missed you so. Let's see if the best bed in Kaer Morin can hold us. Ah, <sighs> Geralt. A pleasure, as always. As always? You don't remember anything? Unfortunately. Well, you have something to look forward to then. No matter. Tell me. How did the battle end? They broke into the lab, killed Leo, stole our mutagens, and escaped. Poor Vesemir. Another protege dead prematurely. We delayed the funeral until you awoke. Thank you. As for the mutagens, their loss could prove catastrophic. Let's not lose any more time. Unless there's something you'd like to ask me? Know anything more about the sorcerer who ransacked the lab? He's very powerful. He completely controlled the energy he drew from the Circle. We may soon be facing another Vilgefortz. Who? No matter. I have something I'd like to teach you. Geralt, can we go? Can you restore my memory? I'd have to examine you. There's a good chance your memory will return on its own. How much chance? That's difficult to say. It might help if I knew what caused you to lose your memory. Well, no time for that now. Geralt, can we go? We shouldn't keep Vesemir waiting. Come on, then. Where the bandits came from or who's behind them. We'll draw attention if we venture out as a group. By splitting up, we can also cover more territory. I'll go west. I know a few people there, and I prefer the coastal then planet. Then I'll head east, to Kedwin, unless someone objects. That's fine. Which way should I go? South, to Tamaria. King Foltest owes you a debt of gratitude. Some time ago, you removed a curse from his daughter. You might happen on the bandits' trail there. And you, Triss? I'll try to use my influence to find the bandits. If I learn anything, I'll contact Geralt. I'll gather what information I can and find you in Vizima. Triss. Don't, Geralt. I detest goodbyes. I'm liable to cry, and there's nothing more pathetic than a sorceress in tears. Don't get killed, Geralt. I don't think I could deal with that again. I'll see you soon. See you, Triss.
Caroline, I'm tired. It's not far now. We'll be there soon. I'm cold. We'll fetch you warm milk and honey. You'd like that. Very much. Thank you, Caroline. What are those dogs doing? Dogs? Alvin, do exactly as I say. This is important. Run to the inn as fast as you can, and don't look back. Understand? Easy. Run! What the hell? Shut the gate quickly! The beast! The beast is attacking! Sound the alarm! Geralt! Melatelli must have sent you. There's a woman outside. The dogs will tear her apart. Help her! Help! No! Don't open the gate! The beasts will enter! These dogs are deadly. You people are monsters! Stand aside! I'll save her myself! Stop. Don't go out there alone. Damn you! We're all going to die! Magic, surely. The beast! Geralt, look! The time of the sword and axe approaches! The time of the white frost and white light! The time of madness and disdain! To Daerith, the final age! The world will perish amidst ice and be reborn with a new sun! Reborn of elder blood, of hen care, of a planted seed. A seed that will not sprout but burst into flames. The old elven prophecy of Itlina. I hope he's all right. It seems he saved us from the beast. Yes, seems so. Oh, I do hope he's not hurt. I'll need to find someone to take care of him. He shouldn't be alone. We'll stay at the inn in the meantime. Wait a minute. I ran into wild dogs on my way here, but they were nothing like these, and I don't mean just the green fur. Know anything about them? They've been terrorizing the village for some time. Every few days, a villager is killed. The pack is led by a large hound, perhaps a wolf. People call it the beast. Someone might pay to have the beast slain. That's what witchers do, isn't it? But enough about monsters. What brings you here? I'm seeking men who wear the sign of the salamander. Seen anyone like that in the area? Shh, not so loud. There was someone, but the peasants grow silent at the mere mention of him. The Reverend might know more. You may also want to ask him about the beast. I'll do that. Did you want to ask me something? It's been a long time since I've heard mention of Salamandra. Do you know anything about them? I think they're a group of bandits who terrify the locals. Yesterday, they returned a boy they'd whipped with a lamia. A lamia? A mayhem crop with small barbs and hooks. It rips away skin and flesh with each strike. Most civilized countries have banned them. The boy was delirious, muttered something about a ransom and the reverend. Sadly, he grew feverish, and he died that night. Thanks. I may stay longer than I planned. Why the interest in Salamandra? They killed someone I was fond of, and stole something of mine. I wouldn't want to be them. Do we know each other? It's me, Shawnee. 
Don't you recognize me? Whatever happened to you? I heard you died during a massacre in Rivia. Unfortunately, I lost my memory. I recall the last few weeks, nothing more. Hmm. I'm afraid I can't help. Medicine's a fledgling science here in the North. I can say that your memory might come back on its own. It's not that bad. I'm actually getting used to it. I hate to admit it, but sorcerers are somewhat more effective at this than we are. Maybe one of them could help. We'll speak later. Calm down. Everything will be okay. Monsters abound in the crypt. Army life's tough. Yes, I'm a dwarf. No, I don't support the Skyatel. Yes, I've paid both taxes and bribes. Many times. Today, in fact. Calm down, I just wanted to talk. I'll be calm in my grave. Optimistically, that won't be long now. I'll try not to miss the funeral. Make sure and show up for the execution, too. They once herded me off to see a non-human get hanged. Let me tell you, laughed my head off. I gather they don't like non-humans around here. Neither here nor anywhere in the Northern Kingdoms. An official in Vizima recently won an innovation award. Invented a gallows especially designed for dwarves. What's so innovative about that? Nothing, but think of the savings. When you're producing them in the hundreds, all that extra wood can be used to make other goods. Toy swords, for instance. Can I ask you something? Yes. Let's talk about weapons. I'm no specialist, though I can forge swords. Bring me three different ores and I'll forge you an excellent steel sword. I'll look around for some ore. Another thing. For 35 orans, you can have this excellent sword, Grease. It's not exactly uh, legal, but uh, I really need the gold. This grease improves the quality of rusty weapons. It's lard and some other ingredients. Listen. I've got work to do. I've got work to do. Army life. Greetings. Greetings. What a despicable place. 
I'm trapped here with my goods while my wife and children wait in the city. Why is that? Vizima's gates are closed due to the plague. The gods be my witness, nothing ruins trade like an epidemic. I guess we just have to wait. Most of the diseased have died off, but the beast and bandits now spread their own terror. All we're missing are tax collectors. Can I ask you something? Yes? Any bandits in the outskirts? Indeed. They call themselves the militia and extort bribes. Also, some sect from Vizima may have arrived here. Do these men wear the salamander sign? Never met them. But if they are a sect, the Reverend ought to know something. I'll ask it. Yes? What's with this plague? What of it? Tis some variety of the bubonic. To be safe, I avoid any who appear even slightly ill. Aren't you afraid? I'm immune to infectious diseases. My grandfather claimed the same, insisting all the while that his bubonic ulcers were merely boils. May the ground lie lightly upon him. Yes? Farewell. We await help from the Order of the Flaming Rose. Board. Maybe I can find some witcher's work. Dwarf cock. Whoa! Some tournament going on? We beat each other for coin! Interesting. Fat Fred will rearrange your face, just show me your gold. How much? Twenty-five orans. I don't have twenty. Want a beating, stranger? No way, not me. Want a? I'll kick your ass and make money doing it. We'll see. Oh, 
like a lash. Connection to his Who wants to get slapped? No challenger, let's fight like a lash. You win, Wanderer. Take your coin and leave me be. I'm itching to it. Twenty-five orans. Tell me about this tournament. Rules are simple. Punch each other in the face. Last man standing wins. Simple and specific. Twenty-five or I'm in. No challengers. Time to die! I'm itching to it, son. You win. My reward. Choose two flasks of supreme moonshine and a snack to go with them, a ring or cash. Gold. One hundred orans. We're not fighting. No challengers. Who wants to get slapped? I don't want to say. What a beating streak. Oh, kick. We'll see. Hit me, Chicky. I'm itching to it somewhere. Wanderer, take your coin and leave me be. What? No way, not me. I'm not play dice. I'm broke. Another day. Find an opportunity to recover your losses. Tried that. That's why I'm broke. What do you want? Give me a beer. Your kind's not welcome here. I said I wanted a beer. We have no more. Very well. I'll see what I have. Good man. Everyone drink up. We're closing. Innkeeper, do that again and I'll get angry. Wouldn't want that, would you? No. All right. I'll just tend to my business and be on my way. What can I do for you? I'm a witcher. Bah, by the eternal fire. Have any work for me? No. Ask the Reverend. Okay. I'll speak with him. What can I... Why the gloom? I don't talk to strangers. Do you for five orans? For that, I talk to a bar guest all day. The plague was devastating. People died in droves. The wailing lingered for three moons. If not for the Reverend, we'd all have perished. No wonder we're wary of strangers. You don't know what it's like when the plague takes your family. The Reverend prayed all day to the eternal fire, taking no sustenance. His penance freed us from sin and strengthened our faith. We began by cleansing our homes of sin and filth. We gathered it up, and by the next day, all our foulness was buried or gone. The Reverend then spoke to all who remained. 
You have done well cleansing your households of sin. I know it was difficult, I know they be kin, but the eternal fire sent pestilence on them as punishment for their sins. You are pure, you shall live. The frost was biting, but we did our penance, crawling round the village, praying at the five chapels. The next day the village was quiet, as if all were asleep. Fewer have fallen sick since. An edifying tale. Thanks. I will not play dice. Sure. A fine opportunity to... I'm looking for someone who stayed at this inn. Look around the tables. But at night, guests retire to their rooms. Return tomorrow if you must talk to them. All right. What can I... It's time. Greetings, handsome. You look a tinge fatigued. Wait, didn't you rescue that child at the gate? By chance. By chance? Really? If only the local peasants chance to do good once in a while. Oh, no matter. What can I get you? Nothing now. But care to sit down with me for a moment? Not likely. I'm a decent girl. I'm at work now. Don't be angry. Only a blind man could ignore you. You sure know how to compliment a woman, sir. What can I get you? Greetings, Witcher. I'm the local hunter. Greetings. Wonder how I know you? No? So be it. What do you want? I'm looking for Witcher's work. Since you're here, a monster supposedly haunts the lake shore, devouring peasants late getting home. A ghoul may have made its lair in the crypt. How much for each? You Witchers do nothing disinterestedly. Kill a monster, bring me proof, and I'll reward you generously. Take care. Damn squirrels! Assaulting convoys like during the war! I'll save more. Stop! Uh, what are you? A witcher. 
We're militia. We keep the peace. I'll be going. We need to see you're not ill. I'm immune. Don't know what that means. We got a check. What's that? Eh, uh, chip. We're. Deep. Well, you look foul, but healthy. Move along. Godspeed. Be gone! Devil's breed! Calm yourself, priest. I merely wish to speak with you. There's nothing to speak of. Indeed there is. I seek Salamandra. I heard they come here. They'll kill us because of you. I have ways of showing gratitude. What ways? You're troubled by a beast? Not your business. I'm a witcher. I could help. Another witcher came recently. Berengar. He promised to slay the beast, but fled when it howled. I'm not Berengar. If you want my trust, bear the eternal fire's light to the people and dispel the darkness. You'll find five chapels around the village. Fire won't scare the beast. This is more than a stray dog. The eternal fire, blasphemer. You can be sure it will scare off beasts, for it has been said that though his soul be in darkness and his visage be a horror, do not judge him hastily for he will carry the flame of hope into the night. And also, you shall only be safe in the glow of the eternal fire. All right, but it will cost you 100 orans. Very well, but the eternal fire must appear at night in all five chapels. I'm looking for men who wear salamander-shaped pins. That's not wise. Why? Vexing them may shorten your life. Do I look scared? Another witcher came here before you. He too swaggered with audacity. And yet, do you see him? Not likely. He fled. He's not me. Do not sneer at Salamandra. The whole village fears them for a reason. You must convince us all. What can I do? For me, destroy the beast. As for the others, visit Odo, Mikkel and Haran. Can you solve their problems too? Are they elders of some sort? Everyone knows and respects them. Odo's rich, Aaron a merchant, and Mikkel a city guard. Gain their trust, and you'll win the trust of the village. We'll see. Wait. They need to believe I sent you. Show them this ring of the eternal fire. I hear the Church of the Eternal Fire has offered a reward for drowners. As long as you can prove you killed some, I'll return with proof. Hurry. Satisfactory? I'll see you.
What's your business with this dwarf? We're shaving off his beard. What's it to you? You'd be better off moving along. Love non-humans, do you? Sheath your weapon and stop waving those arms around if you want to keep them. Ooh, a live one! Get him, lads! Kill the deviant! You asked for it. I'll start it in your ass when I'm done. <laughs> Thanks for getting those hounds off my back. Wait, Geralt, is it you? Well, I'll be damned. Something wrong? You don't look well. Are you hurt? True to a witcher. Died, came back to life. Nobody's seen him for five years, and he wants to know if something's wrong. Who are you? You drunk. I'm your pal, Zoltan Chile. Where have you been? Why haven't I heard from you? What about... Not sure I can explain much. Ah, you don't need to tell Zoltan Chevy anything. Let's just say I'm glad to see you, though it would be nice to resolve some matters. You misunderstood. I lost my memory. I only remember the last few weeks. Hmm, know what, Geralt? Let's have a beer and talk like we used to. Clear your mind and maybe some things will come back to you. You look like something's bothering you. Yes, yeah, a nasty matter. My friend was to meet me in this village some time ago, but he never appeared. Think he might be in trouble? I hope not, but I wouldn't be surprised if he were. He joined the Squirrels recently and agreed to trade with the Hawkers. Squirrels and Hawkers? The Squirrels, or Scoyatal as they call themselves, are non-humans who hope to gain equality by shooting folk from behind trees. And Hawkers are merchants who sell arms to the Scoyatal. Illegally. I see. Geralt, I'm not exactly welcome here. We non-humans get blamed for everything from the plague through the beast to the warts on the Reverend's arse. I'd look for my friend myself otherwise. I'll keep my eyes peeled. Let you know if I learn anything. Thank you, my friend. I need to go, Zoltan. We'll talk later. G greetings to the honorable gentleman. You are? Haran Brog, merchant and middleman, at your service. What brings you here, w Witcher? What do you have to offer? The re reverence sent you, I presume? Of course. W why don't I b believe you? The eternal f, -f fire a gift from the reverend, I presume. Listen, I found these strange dice. Looks like dwarven handiwork. N n not here. You want to get both of us in trouble? You're no saint. Afraid of a box? You have so much contraband in stock. Survival instinct. I'd rather lay low. The Reverend detests this game. So you know what it is? I, d I, d I didn't say that. They're obviously not of human m make and stink of d devilry. Best to ask among the dwarves. They must know something. Thanks for that, at least. The, the Reverend sent me. He thinks you need a Witcher. 
I do. The d -d dead emerge from the river at the night. A ghastly cold blows from the water, making my flesh crawl. Help me. I'll s spare no exp expense. I'll help in exchange for information about Salamandra and throw in 100 orans for my expenses. I heard you were looking for s Salamandra, but if so, you're looking for trouble. It's no m matter to me. You, you have a deal. These d damned undead are my concern. They scare customers off and d d destroy my crates. And this is a valuable shipment for a special client. Where would I find these drowners? W where? At the river's edge. They creep out of the water after dusk. I see. Witcher! What do you sell? Anything, r really, but it show me. The c c customers always r r Kedmil Havkarin. Greetings. I don't speak your language. Nenduan Esavatgan. You'll not intimidate us, Witcher. Where's Haran Brog? He promised us some hawkers' specialties. I'm not sure I like your tone. Haran didn't mention you. I was hunting drowners. Vat Telnain. You're no Ensaid, but you're not Dwan Filth either. We'll just take our weapons, and let's part in peace. The goods are Haran's. Sorry, Ensaid. But I can't let you touch those crates. Listen carefully, Vat Gern. We're part of a 20 elf unit. Our brothers suffer from disease and hunger. These crates contain food, medicine, and weapons. We want them now, for we can't approach Vizima's walls every day. I guess I see your point. Good. We have no choice. But you do. Fine. Take the goods. We're no criminals. We'll pay you. We have gold, pelts, herbs. Give me the gold. I have no use for the rest. Here. We'll take what we need now and come back for the rest later. The drowners shouldn't bother you anymore. The fail, Vatgern. Farewell.
I wouldn't arm a dog, but I'd crucify any elf. Witcher! I killed the drowners and encountered elves. Uh, uh, elves? I don't believe I know any uh, elves. They were expecting you. Who are they? Skoyatel. Squirrels. Young non-humans. Freedom fighters. Those who did deal with them are hanged. But betray me and y'all hang too. I'll keep quiet. If it's dangerous, why do you trade with them? I have to make a l l living somehow. Either way, I did my job. My crates are s safe, then? I underestimated you, Witcher. Incidentally, what ha happened to the elves? We spoke. They said their entire unit would come back for the rest of the crates. Are they m mad? D dangerous for them to come so close to Vizima if someone were to report it. Meaning? Skoyatel heads f fetch a high price, Witcher. But b best forget you know that. No business of mine. I want my payment. Then you can tell me about Salamandra. Here's your g gold. S Salamandra collect tribute from the villagers. Disobey, and they s slit your throat. Set your house ablaze. Where can I find them? Ask the r reverend. He'll decide what you should know. But I wouldn't mind them gone. Farewell.
so gentle with Looks like Miss Vesna has unwanted Trip visitors. In rough, I dare you. Oh, this shrew needs to... You'll be s Is that you? Witcher, help! Piss off, Whitey! No monsters here! Don't have the balls to fight a Witcher, Butch! Shut it, woman! I'll show you balls! <laughs> You're apt to lose those shortly. Bastards! Will you help me? I fear the dogs and thugs, but I need to get home. Certainly. Those dogs! Those hellhounds! You're all right. They're gone. Let's go. We're almost there. I don't know. I live with my grandma and I'd rather not shock her. What could possibly shock her? 
everything. Except if we met to pray together. But listen, I know this one place, the old mill. Secluded and quiet. Exactly. But people say it's haunted. I wouldn't want the miller's ghost disturbing us. Ghosts wouldn't dare disturb a witcher. Others will stay away out of fear. Settled then. I'll see you tomorrow after sunset. Bring wine, and I'll bring food. <laughs> My stomach hurts, cursed witch! Ugh. Oh my, a witcher. Welcome. What happened to the man outside? It was his own fault. Many come to me with pitiful fantasies I disdain to fulfill. They take me for a whore when I am but a witch. I'll remember that. <laughs> Don't worry, I'm not all bad. The sinner will recover. What do you want? A 
found your notice. Excellent. Do you have the Barghest skulls? I do. They're yours, for a price. I knew you'd manage it. And take this Mandrake root. You might find it useful. Can I ask you something? If you must. I see you took Alvin in. Did you think I'd abandon an orphan? Besides, he has potential. What do you mean? He has powers perhaps beyond his control. For now, he sleeps well with the herbs I brew him. That's good of you. Few in these times would be willing. It's another mouth to feed. With winter approaching, if I grow hungry, I'll eat him. <laughs> Doubtless the villagers think so, believing me a monster. Are you one, Abigail? We all hide a monster inside us. Can I ask you something? If you might. What do you... What do you can I ask if you see it? I'm no specialist, though I... I'll look... Another thing. For th uh, yes? See you later. Geralt! Zoltan, I found these strange dice. Looks like dwarven handiwork. It's poker with dice. Very entertaining. Requires less attention than cards, but it's just as exciting. Dice are a dwarven invention. Became popular after the war. Not surprising, given that every mercenary played. I need to go, Zoltan. Get... Zoltan. You mentioned my vanishing. Any idea why I disappeared? I'm not sure how to tell you, but you died, Geralt. Five years ago, during the massacre in Rivia, I saw some scoundrel stack a pitchfork in your gut. You bled to death on a dirty street before my eyes. Or oh, so I thought. And I've seen enough corpses to know that there are some unexplained cases. From what I remember, Witcher mutations significantly changed your body, but that makes it no easier to believe you survived. I need to go, Zoltan. What can I get you?
Finally, uh, someone sensible here. And you are? Louvarden, merchant. Of those Louvardens. Of those or not, I sense you have a job for me. Unfortunately. My friend disappeared in the cave beneath Vizima's walls. You think he's dead? I don't know. I'll pay you 200 orns to rescue him or provide for a decent burial. Will you take the job? All right. My friend tried evading the quarantine to enter Vizima. Why through the cave? We heard goods were smuggled into Vizima that way. I'll do what I can. Be careful. My friend has dealt with monsters before. If he's dead, surely danger follows.
Finally! I feared you'd never arrive. This place makes my flesh crawl. Did you bring the wine as I asked? Oh, thank you. I feel much braver now. Will you show me the mill? Of course. Whatever you like. Ladies first. Perhaps I shouldn't. What if my new frock gets dirty? Don't worry. We witchers have solutions for that. Wash where you step, it is. What is it? Something haunts the old mill again. Hmm, seems so. Maybe we need a witcher to look into it. Ah, they're never around when you need them. They'll have to wait. Any monster here today will stay until tomorrow. Certainly no sense in sending anyone else. carried the eternal fire to all the chapels. The beasts still haunt us! I told you it wouldn't work. Where's my payment? Ah, yes, your payment. The curse must be stronger than I thought. Doubtless caused by that witch, Abigail. An evil woman. A witch? Maybe she can tell us more. She brought the beast and all other calamities upon us. Perhaps, but I'd rather speak with her first. We must know from whence the beast came. Learn the truth. I will, for 300 orans. Our community's poor. Perhaps 200? So be it.
first. dense this armors are warriors but this fatso is more familiar with tankard than sword who goes there i'm a witcher a monster slayer why into my home armed i have nothing worth stealing calm down i've no desire to hurt you i just need to ask you a few questions i don't talk to strangers i'm Geralt. now you know my name have a drink with me master garavant I detest spies, and we all know spies don't drink. Let's drink, then. Forgot the most important. Seen the Reverend? Of course. <clears throat> he told us to question strangers. A ring of the eternal fire. Must be from the Reverend. You a soldier? What's it to you? I noticed that suit of armor. My brother's. He fought at Brenner and other places. Oh, I detest soldiers. Except my brother. Relax. I'm no soldier. Speak your mind. The Reverend sent me to help you. He's always thinking of me. I have this gardening problem. I'm no gardener. Let me finish. Some time ago, strange plants erupted in my garden. These plants, they're alive. Useful they were at first, devouring moles and insects. What's the problem then? Now they're as big as a man with giant branches. Luckily, they're buried underground in daytime, but I'm afraid to go near. I'll see what I can do for 120 orans. I'll pay 50 orans. Let's drink to that. Hundred and twenty and not an oran less. Uh two weeds for seventy orans. I said a hundred and twenty. I need to live. I need to drink. My final offer is 80. Cheers. Ugh, strong stuff. How about a hundred? Deal! One last shot. <laughs> mm-hmm. Oh, my God. 
Speak your mind. I've slain the monsters in the garden. Pay up. You want your eighty orans? Here. We agreed on a hundred. We drank some ale, but my memory rarely deceives me. Now listen here. All right, here's your coin. I told you not to slay monsters while drunk at night, but you insisted. You frighten me. I risk my neck for you, and you try to cheat me. Don't forget to tell the Reverend I helped you. Sp Any monsters around? The howling from the village turns my milk sour. Anything stranger than that? The fog was so dense one time, I strayed to the witch's house, where a great beast stared in her window. Tell me more. Well, I, I wasn't about to stay. I turned round so fast I nearly left my legs behind. But it was as big as a horse, billowed smoke and sparks like a hearth. Later. seems to be looking for something. Watch those Echinops thorns, pup. What are you guarding? Later. That... Watch those Ech... What are you... These are your friend's remains. 
What killed him? A canopsy. I don't know what that is, but I trust you'll fulfill the deal and bury the body? But we agreed. We agreed? A decent burial? Or I won't pay? What's decent? Lacking anything better? The crypt beneath the Reverend's church. I'd like to bury a man in the crypt beneath the church. You ignited the eternal fire. I'm grateful. So it's a deal? Inside the crypt lies a crumbling sarcophagus. Crumbling? Rather dig a ditch? I'll take the sarcophagus. chased me, you and your ghastly hunting party. I do still, though chase isn't the word. Why is that? My task is to see destiny fulfilled. Say I believe you. Will you tell me my destiny? Destiny is a double-edged sword. You are one edge, the other is... Death. I'll follow you, waiting for mistakes. That's not all. There is death, but there's also free will. I'll find Salamandra and fulfill my own destiny. I'll be waiting, Wolf. Andrian Var, Sauv Leotovle. You mock destiny. You mock it and trifle with it. Destiny is a double-edged sword. You are one edge and the other is death? No. It's we who die because of you. Unable to catch you, death contents itself with us. Death stalks you, following in your footsteps, White Wolf. But others die because of you. Oh! 
Why, hello! I'm not playing that. I should hurry. Any news? I buried your friend. Sad to end in some forgotten village. It was a decent burial. Then I can leave with a clear conscience. Forgetting something? Ah, uh, your 200 orans. It's time I was on my way. Till tomorrow. Halt! What? What do you mean, what? I want to enter the city. There's a... what do they call that? A, a, a quarter line. Will it last long, this quarantine? Commander's job to know, not mine. And I guess the commander's inside. Does this quarantine apply to everyone? Dunno. Have you let anyone in? People with passes. They're allowed in. I see. Let's talk. Does the Reverend know you're here? Of course. Well, I don't believe you. He give you anything? The Reverend said, worship the fire sign. Seems he did send you. Got any problems around here? Well... That Cartiona or what not. Damn plague's been about killing folk. And we got monsters too. Monsters? What kind? Well, there's wolves. Lots of them. There's the deadens and there's elves and kobolds. Wolves, you say? Oh, heaps of them, sir. And then much have gone wild. It used to be I could pelt them with rocks. No, I'm just afraid. I see. Hmm. Uh... Where might I get a pass? The Order of the Burning Roses got passes. The Eternal Fire fights the plague. I've seen no knights here. Would the Reverend know anything? He knows a lot. Wouldn't hurt to ask. Farewell. The Reverend said you could use my help. Hmm. 
I've been told to get rid of those deadens. Deadens? Yeah. Commander told me to clear the crypt down the road. I've never fought beasts before. Too scared. Hmm. Deadens, you say? Please, sir. I'm a witcher, so I'll rid you of the fiends, but in exchange, you'll pay me 200 orans and tell the Reverend I helped you. Sure, sir. Uh, I'll tell him what I know, which will be little. And I don't have much gold, neither. But no matter, just so long as the deadens are slayed, eh? See you later. Seems the contents of that bottle caused the woman's death. The ghouls came for her remains.
Leave me be. I won't surrender my workshop for all the treasure in the world. Oh, you'll give it up, Gramps. Or else. Or what? A witcher! Kill him! Not likely. You're ours, Witcher. You should have left Salamandra alone. This bridge will be your grave. You witcher, you saved me and my laboratory, my beakers, my treasures. Anytime. I know all too well what they're after. To use the stolen secrets, Salamandra needs equipment. Without it, the witcher's mutagens are useless. They almost grabbed Kalkstein and his treasures. They almost succeeded at Kaer Morin. makes a huge difference. If I had stayed and fought the Frightener with Vesemir, I might have faced a different threat today. They were here for me. I made a choice some time back. Had you known this would happen, would you have chosen differently? No. It was the right decision, and I'll deal with the consequences. I'm not surprised at your answer. You don't seem like one to look back. Visit my shop in Vizima for any ingredients you need for your potions at a discount. Farewell. Shouldn't have defended the old man. You come talking again. What are you going on about? The old man comes here and talks and talks. Gives me headache. I'll stone him next time. I wouldn't if I were you. He's a powerful alchemist. Uh, Captain said only admit those with passes. I know, I know. They're moving me to Millgate tomorrow. That's where I'll stand. If you have a pass, look for me there. I got rid of the ghouls in the crypt. A uh, hundred thanks, Master. Here be a month's pay. Oh, the boys will be happy. <laughs> they planned a search for treasure in the crypt. Take a pick to one of the walls. I found a young woman's body inside. The ghouls came for her. Young woman? No. It can't be. My Elsa, I, I, I loved her. I wouldn't know her name. It appears she poisoned herself. No, no, no! It was that vile witch! The devil's whore poisoned my Ilsa! No! I'm sorry for your loss, but I need to know about Salamandra. They have passes, they do. The only ones, leave me be. You have the evil eye, you bring bad tidings! Be gone! Don't forget to tell the Reverend I got rid of those ghouls. Farewell. Oh, 
scandalous. What brings you here? They say you need ghoul blood. Do you have any? I'll come back when I've gathered some. I need that blood. What brings... I wanted to ask you about alchemy. Finally, someone worth... T I'm not exactly a local. And think about it. Ah, typically short sight alchemical... We need to change the subject. One can... I'm interested in formulae. Ready-made formulae are rare and difficult to... Most people under... A I think I've... But we've all... Farewell. What do you want? I need to know where the beast came from. Why ask me? Aren't witches wise in the ways of magic? Yes, but this beast is beyond me. Although, I know someone else. Who would that be? The boy Alvin. He's a strong source and a diviner. What he knows we could not hope to imagine. However, if I were to give him a certain potion... Won't it hurt him? No need to fret, he'll be fine. Bring me the petals of five white myrtle and your questions will be answered. Myrtle grows outside the village. If you lack knowledge of herbs, I have this book. It's yours, for a price. What do you want? The Reverend believes you summoned the beast. And what do you believe? Nothing yet. What's your side of the story? <laughs> I had nothing to do with it. What?
What do you want? I gathered the myrtle petals. Excellent. Now to prepare the potion. How is it made? Interested in witch's secrets, are you? The recipe is yours if you swear to take it to your grave. I swear. Draw close and listen. Blend two ounces of cadaverin with the myrtle petals. Speak your name backwards, turn about three times leftwards, spit into the fire and stir the potion again. Complicated. <laughs> I knew witch's magic would be beyond the mind of a man. Grant me a moment to finish the potion. See you later. I want to enter the city, but I need a letter, a pass of some sort. Only Knights of the Order hold passes, but as chaplain, I have one. May I have it? You? A stranger? A drifter? Have you lost your mind? Speak quick. Odo's and Heron's monsters are gone. For Mikkel, I cleared the Crypt of Ghouls. I must admit I'm impressed. You may yet defeat Salamandra. To do that, I need to know where to find them. I will say nothing until you eliminate the Beast Witcher. That is my condition. I'll see you later.
Fresh graves. Plague must have visited. What do you want? Is the potion ready? Yes. Alvin, drink this. Tastes bitter. No complaining. Now, speak. Abigail, I'm afraid. Why'd they skin the puppy? Why'd they hurt him? He was gentle. He hurt no one. And the girl from outside the village, she screamed horribly. Unlike any human. Bad children, torturing the witch's puppy again. Use your blood. Evil face is twisted by drink and desire. Plow her well. Show her you're a man. Bloodstained gold. The beast is born! Death. The final judgment. The beast has met its end once. It doesn't fear death. It is death. How will you defeat human villainy? With your sword? You who died and still walk amongst the living. Who has summoned me? Enough. This could end badly. Abigail, break the trance. As you wish. By the power of the Seven Spheres, leave this body. I compel you. Be gone! Oh, I'm sleepy. Mm. Alvin, go to bed. Geralt, another Witcher, Berengar, preceded you. He left these missives. Thanks. Farewell. What do you- Can I ask you- If you- Does the blind man. Clark the 
dangerous one. Oh, there is Speak quickly. I know where the beast comes from. Was it summoned by the witch? The beast appeared because of human wickedness. To slay it, I'll need to identify the guilty. There may be wisdom in your words. When sheep run astray, the good shepherd must bring them back onto the righteous path. Otherwise, they fall prey to wolves. I'll learn all I can to defeat the beast. I must gather all the villagers. Here's your prize, Witcher. Two hundred orans. I've done all you asked. Where's the Salamandra hideout? Go to the inn, where a group of Salamandra's service has taken over. They hide in the old house. Olaf will have the key. And Witcher? Yes? Nothing. May the eternal fire shine on your soul. Tell the villagers to stay at home now. I don't want anyone getting hurt. No! Leave me alone! Ooh, little dove. Cue us a different tune. <laughs> Keep your hands off me! She is feisty. Say, let's do what we did unto Mickle's girl, Ilsa. What a screamer. <clears throat> you knew too? He likely told you to wait like us. Let's have our way with this little chicky. It so happens that this lady is with me. None of you will touch her. So you say... We aim to have our fun, and you won't stop us. Is that so? I'll kill you like a dog! Defend yourself! Geralt, you arrived just in time. Are you alright? I am now. They surprised me. All the peasants ran out and I was trapped. They killed the innkeeper. That's the last time they hurt anyone. That was some swift sword work. As for me, I'm done delaying. I need to get to Vizima. I hope to see you there. Let me walk you to the gate. These roads can be dangerous. Now, you need to deal with the salamanders. Don't worry about me. I'll wait for you here. Make them suffer, Geralt. For me. I'll come back for you, Shani. I'll be waiting. The innkeeper. I should check his pockets.
Where's your tribute? What tribute? I mean the kids, fool. Let me pass. No tribute, no entry. This is pointless. You're dead. <laughs> Salamandra. Where's the action? You took your time. You have something of mine. No longer, I'm afraid. And you, like your predecessor, you work for rapists and murderers. Enjoying it? Where's Berengar? That dolt ran off. But during our brief acquaintance, he was certainly more talkative than you. No wonder, given Azar Javid's persuasiveness. Did you say I work for murderers? That lice-ridden village hick Odo came to us for advice on how to kill a warrior. We said someone so pathetic could only fight soldiers in dreams. Who's Azar Javed? A powerful mage. You're no match for him. We'll see. Your courage isn't lacking, Witcherette. We'll see how you fare after Azar gets you. This is a scintillating conversation, but it's time for some action. We don't have what you seek. It's not here. They took it straight to our base in Vizima. Too bad. Let's dance. All together! Watch it! it. Boss! sent me to this deserted house. He said someone would be waiting there for me. That son of a... <clears throat> I'm glad you're safe. I overheard them saying we'd be taken to Vizima. To Vizima? That's where I need to go to find Salamandra. Follow me. We'll find a way out of this cave. That wall looks pretty thin. Maybe we can break it down. Let's try.
Why did you come here, Witcher? Why are you here, Witch? I'm brewing up another spell. Why? Lots of smoke in your magic. Mighty ingredients make mighty spells. Mighty enough for the whole village. Why are you doing this? The angry mob has come. Burn the witch, they cry. She has summoned the beast. I must defend myself. Men summoned the beast with their wicked deeds. I'm not surprised. Honest Mikkel violated Ilsa. She took her own life. You profited from the poison. Odo killed his brother for coin. The Reverend exiled his daughter when she became pregnant. Now she whores herself in Vizima. Heron sold a squirrel to the guards for gold. You knew, but did nothing. They trade their gold for poisons and other potions. No business of mine how they're used. It's clear why the beast haunts you. I need to expose the guilty. Stay here while I speak to those outside. Don't let them harm me. My sins are not as great as they say. Really? Learn for yourself if you like. We're alone. We have some time. Abigail, I was drawn to you from the start. I've told you my tale. Now you must choose. Devil's mistress! Let the bitch die in pain! The witch hides within. Let the eternal fire consume her sinful body, and we'll be rid of the beast. Not so fast. She must be judged fairly. That bitch ruined my life! She cast her spells on my brother, wanted to steal him and his gold! My brother scorned her, so she did the devil's magic on me, used me to kill him! The treachery! I came across a doll that resembled you in her hut. I dream of it even now! Her magic committing the murder! She should die! Your brother was a warrior. You're nothing but a drunk. How could you have killed him unless he was sleeping? Why listen to him, Reverend? He's a mutant, a f freak, a, a witcher! What are your charges, Haran? She... She made me a hawker. She p p promised herself to me if I helped the Skoyatel. I detest non-humans, but I had to, to, to trade with them. You've done all right for yourself. G gold isn't everything. There are principles to abide by. You trade with bandits who kidnap children. I don't believe one word of what you say. Have you made your decision? What do you think, Reverend? The witch used Odo and Haran. She poisoned Ilsa. Mikkel raped Ilsa, who took her own life. Abigail should have departed long ago, but stayed to exact revenge for the evil fate that befell her. She used the devil's magic on these simple people and summoned the beast. Shut up, you bastard. You lead this band of rogues, so you must know they sell children to the salamanders, and you knew about the rape and murder. I spit on you. You're all the same. All guilty. You'll regret this. I'm getting Abigail. Return to your homes. Since the beginning of time, woman has been the nest of all evil, the tool of chaos, party to the conspiracy against the world and the human race. Woman is ruled solely by corporal lust. To satisfy her insatiable hunger and unnatural desires, she gladly serves demons! They intend to kill us. Don't be afraid.
There she is! Burn the foul witch! No one is burning anyone. Friends, they wish to scare us. Fear not! They're helpless as long as we stand together! Is that so? Be gone, Witcher, and leave the witch, or we'll burn you too. I'd like to see you try, Pleb. Ha ha! Shove off, and maybe I'll let you be. You have two options. Wait until I leave and then murder Abigail, but then I'll come back. I'll slay every lice-ridden peasant, anything that moves and can't climb a tree. Or you can try to lead honorable lives, clear your conscience, start again, like humans. The choice is yours. Thank you, Geralt. Let's go. We need to deal with the beast. Helping that whore was your last mistake! Die, bloody mutant! I've enough strength for the two of you. Odo, grab the pitchfork! <laughs> Geralt, what would have happened to me without your aid? I'm glad you found it in yourself to believe me. I chose the lesser evil. I'm sorry you think so. Farewell.
Geralt? Are you all right? I was so worried. I'm fine. I'll tell you what happened on the way to Vizima. I'm done with this village. So am I. I hope I never return. It's unfathomable how many criminals live here. These are hardly pleasant times, Geralt. The plague, impending wars. Still, I'm astounded. Do you know how the beast came to be? No. They unknowingly created it with their misdeeds. A powerful sorcerer couldn't have matched it. And all they needed was hatred, baseness, and greed. It sounds like a fairy tale. Every tale contains a grain of truth. Let's go. Vizima awaits. No passage. If you have a letter, find Mikkel. Vizima lies beyond this gate. I hope we never return here. Me too. The beast is dead. The salamanders are dead. And the peasants. Hmm. I have a pass. Mikkel should let us enter. Let's go. Geralt, talk to the guard. Let's get out of here. Hmm? Mikkel, I need to enter the city. I have a pass. I wanted to say I was sorry. I apologize, Witcher. Apologize to Ilsa, Mikkel. Sergeant, that witcher's here. The one I told you about. Who do we have here, Mikkel? Is this the man we want? Yes, sir, Sergeant, sir. It's that filthy freak, the witcher. A blasphemer and a counterfeiter, do I guess well? Yes, he asked who's allowed into the city. Then came with that, uh, that letter of safe conduct from the Order. Well, if that's a knight of the Order, then I'm Princess Ada. Son of a bitch.
Hey, let me out of here. I'm innocent. Those five pounds of fist tech were for personal use. Hey, you, jailer, at least move me. I don't want to be with the politicals. Politics makes you rot. I'm a decent thief. Let me out. Shut your trap. I'm busy. Jethro, keep it down. You're looking to kill me? That thief's bugging me. Thief, right. And I'm here with the politicals. Scandalous. I said shut up. Stop screaming or on my mother's life I'll bloody smash your junky mouth. Absa fucking lutely beautiful. What's your problem, Whitey? You wanna dance to Vizeman? Come on, I wanna see your hands in the air. Jethro, open the cell. Ooh, scared. Soft as butter. Come on, Whitey, what you got? Back off. What? You wanna fight or not? Professor, move it. You're free. How ironic. Our paths cross again. So near and yet so far. Fear not, Witcher. We'll meet again. I assure you. You're making a mistake. This man's a murderer. You fail to grasp the basic rules governing this world. You're a genetically modified murderer with no place in modern society. But we'll tend to that problem next time. Farewell. I can't wait. Relax. Wonder who squealed. Greetings, White One. Tomorrow's my big day. Why are you here, Elf? Delighting in the last moments of my life. Or trying to. I hang tomorrow. I have a request. Mm -hmm. I've always found games pleasant, and Jethro let me keep my dice. If you don't have your own set, we can share mine. All right, you maggots. The king in his mercy will pardon whoever subdues the cockatrice in the sewers. Pardon? What about half the kingdom, the princess's hand in marriage? Clever. Watch what you say, Witcher. Political jokes could get you in trouble. I'll slay the monster. Too late. There's another volunteer. I'm the better candidate. The creep in the corner claims he'll defeat it bare-fisted. Which creep? Yo-ho! That tub of lard? You're kidding. You want freedom? Fight for it. Whoever wins faces the cockatrice. Piece of cake. Imbeciles. Oh, I'm itching to slap somebody. I'll defeat you, then thrash that lizard and go free. Let's do it. You bastard. Bastard. You couldn't have beaten me without your spells. I saved your life. The cockatrice is no joke. Next time, you'll get beaten. Oh, I'm itching to slap somebody. Congratulations. You won the right to slay the beast. I'm almost proud. Want to slay the beast, or would you rather just stand there? I need a weapon. That's funny. We recently confiscated a witcher's sword. Where? Not your business. 
Jethro, bring that silver sword. The one we found at Taller's? Yes, idiot. That one. Can I have it? Get it from Jethro. The rest of your gear is in deposit for afterwards. Fine. One more thing. I'll pay extra for the monster's head, provided it's undamaged. I'll see what I can do. Oh, the sword! Where was it? Hurry up. I don't have all day. Yes. We also confiscated a potion. Once you've completed your task, collect your belongings from behind the bars. I'll ask about it. Then I'll get the professor. Stupid. The professor just does the wet work. If you want to be effective, you'd strike at his boss. Though I doubt you'd succeed. He's a big player. He has... concessions. Connections, you mean. I'll find him. First, you gotta survive your meeting with the cockatrice. Watch my belongings. I'll be back, and I'll want everything returned. You're a witcher? Indeed. White hair, vertical pupils, signs of mutation. Skip the medical exam. Forgive me. I meant no harm. I'm Siegfried, a knight of the Order of the Flaming Rose. I'm Geralt. I've heard much praise concerning the combat skills of witchers. If you don't mind, I have some work to do down here, and I'd like to get it done fast. A cockatrice, correct? That's why I'm here. Let's talk. Yes? Think you can kill the cockatrice? The sacred flame will guide me. What prompted you to enter the sewers after a beast? It threatens Vizima. The Order's been fighting beasts for a while, rather effectively, too. Wait, that's witcher's work. You witchers are relics and few in number. You're no competition. The Order demands no payment for protecting humans. I suppose fairies funded your armor and castles. I've no desire to argue. We're both here. There's no reason to await the other's turn, especially while there are drowners here, too. Let's join forces instead. I long to see your combat skills, and I assure you, my sword is at your disposal. Agreed. Let's go. You lead.
The cockatrice is dead. Now, where was the exit? I don't think I can go back the way I came. Come, I'll lead you to the exit. Take the cockatrice's head. Vincent pays well for trophies. Very well, though it reeks. That door leads out of the sewers. So, this is where we part. But... Quiet. I hear footsteps. Odd. Few would dare venture here. Friends of yours? You could say so. The thugs with the salamander sign have been bothering me for a while. Who knew you'd be in the sewers? The captain of the guard, the loon from the jail, and the prisoners. I fought the cockatrice for my freedom. Hmm. A limited number of suspects. You'll likely solve the mystery when you find the leader of those bandits. I have a friend in Vizima, a detective. See him for help. Where are you headed? I have things to attend to at my quarters. Then I'll venture out in search of beasts, as the world is still filled with them. You did well, Siegfried. Glad we met. I need to recover my things. Make sure you get everything. Jethro is known to have sticky fingers. Let's get out of here. Here's the key for the passage to town. A few days ago, I locked the door to keep the cockatrice in. Thanks. I'd rather not go back the way I came. We might meet again if ever you visit the sewers. At times I venture down here in search of monsters. Ah, your sacred mission of protecting humankind? Your sarcasm is unnecessary. We're on the same side, Witcher. You'll realize this one day. Farewell, and thanks. If you ever need me, I'll be at my quarters in Vizima. Siegfried mentioned could be helpful. Have to start somewhere.
Well, well, well. What do we have here? I'm Geralt of Rivia. A warrior like no other. Your legend precedes you. How can I help? I'm looking for some information. Is this where I'll find it? Good question. I used to work for the lawyers, Kadringer and Fenn, satisfied? The names mean nothing to me, but I'll assume that's a recommendation. As a professional, you understand information has its price. I'll pay. I'm all ears, White Wolf. What's it like being a private eye? Lousy work in a town full of dirt and conspiracies. I spend most of my time spying on nobles and rich burghers who cheat on their wives. You can't imagine what people are capable of. I don't think I care to imagine. I recently followed Morton, commander of Faltest's palace guards. Heard of him? I don't think so. I saw him in the stables with two young pages. You wouldn't believe. I've heard enough. I'm all ears, White Wolf. I'm interested in the people who wear salamander pins. Just so happens I know a thing or two. Before I go on, I wouldn't mind knowing what your interest in the case is. Azar Javed. Name mean anything to you? I've heard it. Why are you looking for Javed? Let's just say my boots do a rendezvous with his ass. Usually I charge for information, but I'll give you this bit for free. I've been working on that case for a while. Personal matter? Or a commission? I'll risk trusting you. Let me tell you a story. A happy couple once lived in Vizima. Ordinary as fish in a pond, with a ten-year-old boy. One day the father returned home and was puzzled not to be greeted by his son, his dog, or the smell of dinner on the stove. He suspected nothing until he found the dog dead, shot in the muzzle with a heavy crossbow. He wasn't even sure it was his dog, but then he found his wife pinned to the kitchen door with a spear. He searched the house in vain for his son. The culprits hadn't left a trace. To make a long story short, Vincent Mice had to close the case. No witnesses, no evidence. Except six months later, a monster's corpse turned up in a trash heap. Eyes like festering wounds, pale, rough skin, unnaturally muscular body. Everyone had forgotten the murder and disappearance. Almost everyone. See, the missing boy had one characteristic feature, a sixth toe. Only the parents knew about it. Always had trouble finding shoes for the kid. And the dead monster had an identical sixth toe. The father has devoted his life to tracking down the murderers. I hope he finds them. Back to reality. This is what I've managed to learn. Azar Javed, a Zerikanian sorcerer, leads Salamandra. He's more dangerous than a pit of kikimores, but unfortunately out of my reach. With his contacts and resources, he's got almost free reign in the city. I got a taste of his abilities. Anything else? I suspect Salamandra has built a large-scale operation, with gold simply greasing the wheels of their political ambitions. They're conducting genetic experiments, dangerous ones. Regular thugs wouldn't have the knowledge or means. Who's working for Javed? Any guesses? The captain of the guard who dropped that investigation disappears, Knights. Maybe you can squeeze some information out of him. Is that all? We might have one more lead. The city guards detain someone who could provide information. The guards at the city jail? Yeah. Find a way to question that prisoner. In the meantime, learn what you can from the guards. Count on it. People open up to me all the time. <laughs> His information could be priceless. Good luck. Know anything more about the Salamander prisoner? He may be one of the leaders. Though in this town, the guards capture pawns while the big fish swim free. We'll know for certain once you question him. We'll see. Uh, just one thing. I think you're being followed. Any suggestions? Wait here a while. Make them nervous. Surprise those who want to surprise you. I'll leave at midnight. Seems true. I assume the trap is set? Indeed. Tend to your tasks in the trade quarter. I'll leave the matter to our best agent.
and it pulls. Honest folks leave at night. What are you doing on the streets? St. Libiota's Hospital for victims of the Catriona Plague. Only two stages after this. Old Vizima and Hell. Damn, I'm gloomy. Cemetery. The dead and undead await behind that gate. Plenty of work for a witcher. Eternal fire, fill my heart! Eternal fire lights my way.
You're free, but you still need to observe the quarantine. Meaning? Don't leave the temple quarter. You must be kidding. We keep a close eye on you, Witchers. Didn't I hear you say that everyone's equal? What is it, Witcher? How's the Salamandra investigation going? Patience, Witcher. All will be explained tonight. Any way I can help? Stay clear of the warehouses and the slums. It's a sensitive case that doesn't require your sword. Just yet. The warehouses. You don't intend to go there alone. It's a secret operation. How do you expect me to go? With an assault team and full plate armor and a bugler? Relax. I'm no rookie. And I got a few things up my sleeve. No doubt. Meaning? <laughs> no matter. Have a good time today. Enjoy your freedom. And maybe tomorrow I'll serve you Javid's balls on a platter. Do you handle monsters too? I'd rather not waste my men on that. I'd pay anyone who kills a monster. Just bring proof. What pays best? Right now, my budget includes reward money for the cockatrice in the sewers, and for some bloodthirsty plant that kills people in the swamp. I can prove I killed the cockatrice. Impressive. That's 400 Oren's reward. Well deserved. They say you're holding a salamander prisoner. Maybe we are. What's it to you? Well, I wouldn't mind knowing. You'll get no information. Out of me or my men. See ya. Imbeciles. You killed the cockatrice. On behalf of King Faltest, I grant you an official pardon. Finally, this absurdity is over. Take your belongings from the trunk before I sell them. And remember the reward on the cockatrice's head. Vincent gets very excited about trophies. Ah, I can finally relax. I'll inspect what we've confiscated here. Hmm, good quality gear. What's strong? None of your business. I just... <laughs> Got a cold? <laughs> You're pretty green. Not so green I don't know the best way to take Fistek. Fold back your skin and rub. Where? Where you can fold back your skin, Jethro. <laughs> if you buy Fistek from Coleman at the Hairy Bear, don't say I sent you. Why was the Professor released from prison? He has powerful friends. Let that be a warning. Don't annoy those more powerful than you. I should be like the city guards. 
release criminals whenever someone shakes a coin pouch. Hey, you're still under observation. Besides, someone bailed him out. Completely legal. Who was this benefactor? No idea. Money was transferred from Vivaldi's Dwarven Bank. Impossible to trace. Drop it. I could get into trouble talking like this. I have questions. Ask. Know anything about this salamander prisoner? Why would I tell you? <laughs> the captain would kill me. Maybe I can persuade you. Powder would help. I never turn down good fizz tech. Tell me about that salamander prisoner. But... <laughs> I hardly know anything. Where is he? They took him to Lebiota Hospital. Thanks. <laughs> Who did you confiscate the Witcher's sword from? Tala, the fence. Hester and his living somehow. Before we let the Professor out, Tala and Vincent were chatting in the courtyard. Before I went down the sewers, somehow I sense it was no coincidence. Where do I find Taller? I mark the place on the map, but don't kill him. We have a deal with him. You should drop that habit. Maybe, but not today. See ya. with it. I'm a fence. I buy and sell. What you deal in? Everything worthwhile. Uh. So what'll it be? We doing some plowing business? So what? The city guards found a witcher's sword at your place. First of all, it's the cocksucking guards. Second, why do you care? Another witcher, Berengar, came to see you. Well, it wasn't his fucking razor. How do you know that? I have your boyfriend's other property. The sword I got elsewhere. Other property? Right. Meaning not his sword, got it? Like his undershorts that he pissed all over or something. So where did you get the sword? What'll you give me if I tell you? I'll stop short of gutting you. Fair offer. I bought it from a man at the Hairy Bear Tavern. Care to describe him? No need. He's the most famous dice player around. Out fucking standing. A real goddamn magician. How did you get Berenger's property? Stubborn ass fellow, aren't you? From a middleman. Where do I find him? At the Hairy Bear Tavern. Doubt he'd want to talk to you. Man named Coleman. How did you get back? Stubborn. You don't get. And that, that information you get free. Have you heard of Salamandra? Piss swilling reptiles. I've heard of them, but I've no fucking idea what they want. Amphibians. What? Salamanders are amphibians. Now tell me your connection to them. I'll be proud if I know. You do business with Salamandra? Did you fucking fall off your horse? 
How did you get Berenger's effects? Dog's balls, I'm a fence. Want me to draw you a picture? You think I ask every thief who he plowed for his goods? Let me draw you a picture. A certain organization, Salamandra, has it in for witchers. A witcher, Berengar, disappears, and all he had lands in the hands of a fence. You. Getting this? A pox on pictures. Berengar's nothing to me. My suppliers might know more. Besides, I'd never survive in this business if I sold hot goods I actually had a hand in getting. That's believable. You have contacts among the city guards. Could be valuable to Azar. Damn dangerous times. I need protection from Salamandra, that's why I deal with the guards. So you say. I pay Vincent's halfwits a few coins and they see to my personal safety. I'm done now, see ya. Hmm, believable, I guess. Innocent until proven guilty, I guess. So let's assume it's not you for now. I'd say so. Goddamn Dijkstra, a spy. Dog's balls, what a clever analysis. If you figure anything out and need more information, creep on over and we'll talk. No passage. I'm going inside. Disease patients inside. I'll not have you spreading the pestilence. Wasting my time. I'm go- Disease- Fine. Move on. Stay away from the prisoner. Stay away from the prisoner. I want to ask some questions. <sighs> Shh, he's talking. <sighs> Kalkstein, he... He's passed out, shove off. There's a commotion in the corridor. Bloody thugs, Ramsmeet sent them. Ah! 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 Ah!
dead. I'm all ears, White Wolf. So, I got to the prisoner. He spill anything? Didn't have time. Ramsmeet's men attacked. You sure? Strange. Ramsmeet wants Salamandra gone. Unless something I don't know about has occurred. Javed might have scared him. Or paid him off. Something to check. Did you get anything out of the prisoner? One word. Kalkstein. Makes sense. Kalkstein's known to be a talented alchemist. He could be helping Jarved with his experiments. I've met Kalkstein. He didn't look the criminal. That might be true, but we need to check all our leads. Let's get to work. I'll ask around town, talk to my contacts. You keep an eye on Kalkstein. Gain his trust. Get to know his plans and secrets. How do you want to proceed? Patience. This is just like fishing. I prefer hunting. Then gain Kalkstein's trust. Do him a favor. Learn something that interests him. You could get him to hire you. And talk to Ramsmeet, but don't overdo it. There's one with a short temper. I'm... Are you the one Siegfried spoke of? Siegfried, the knight from the sewers? It is you! That cockatrice troubled us for ages. I heard it was a hard fight. She was young and fell quickly. What's your business? Will you sell me your wares? Siegfried's friends are always welcome. If you want to buy something, speak to my apprentice. I handle forging and special orders.
Need Bye. Greet it. You the Smith's apprentice? Sir, I sweep up. Can I have a look? As you. inhabit this district. Dwarven craftsmen and elven artists. Care to stop dropping? Finally, the Witcher Geralt answers my call. We meet again. I need your help again. With what? A grave matter. Something that could prove a milestone in alchemy. Connected to your profession, too. Tell me more. Hmm. Sorry, I got lost in thought. I heard Witcher Berengar was working for you. I hoped you wouldn't discover that. Care to elaborate? I hired him to investigate the Swamp Tower. I didn't want to scare you, but I still have designs on that structure. You hired him and he disappeared. Didn't you find that odd? It's why I want you to solve the riddle. Maybe you can also discover what befell Berengar. What do you think happened? My competitors for that knowledge might have disposed of Berengar. He left this book with me. You might find it useful. I'm here about the notice. You have Al Ghul Maro for me? No, I have Ghoul Blood. Ah, yes. From the outskirts, right? No matter. Do you have it? Not yet. I don't actually need it anymore. Hmm. Let's talk about Salamandra. Hmm. I think you're in league with them. What? Me? Why? That's what I'd like to know. What is it you're after? Something I don't have evidence for, yet. You had a job. Help me fulfill my life's work. A tower stands in the forest swamp near Old Vizima. A princess up top, dragon below? Thanks, but I'll pass. Silence, please. Legend says a mage and alchemist built the tower. No princesses or dragons. So what's my job? The mage died ages ago, and the tower was forgotten. The power within it attracted and deformed nearby creatures. In short, it breeds monsters? Precisely. I want to examine that source, Witcher, and write a dissertation certain to immortalize my name. I'll have access to secrets that have been hidden away in that tower for years. Unfortunately, the tower is locked. I'll pay 1,000 orans to whoever helps me get inside. I'll see what I can do. 
though I'm sure this won't be easy. Were it easy, I'd not need you. Breaking into a powerful mage's lab is complicated. We must gather detailed information on the tower. Where do I find it? In the tales and legends recounted by elders and swamp folk. In old books, too. Recorded wisdom is infinitely more reliable. Any specific titles in mind? Ransant Alvaro's The Secret Gates, and an alchemy treatise, Ain Sof Hour. I know a certain dwarf had a copy of The Secret Gates. The second book, written by an anonymous gnome, was lost long ago, and could be hard to find. While you search for these, you can test my newest invention, a crystal that links places of power and my workshop. It will allow you to teleport, disintegrating your being into billions of pieces that travel beyond the time-space curve. And then it'll reassemble my being in your lab? Sure about this? There is some chance of error, but it's minuscule. That formula needs rethinking! Escalopian snake. I'd love to meet the fool who associated skin shedding with medicine. You want? I'm looking for a book on the Swamp Tower. All right, yeah. Hmm. A passage in Alvaro's The Secret Gates focuses on magic towers. This particular tower? Yeah, he describes its history too. I'll take it. Sadly, I don't have it. I've been trying for years to acquire the volume from Golan Vivaldi, but he is a stubborn dwarf. You try. Perhaps he'll sell it to you. Know anything else? I just remembered another book about the tower. I'm listening. Ain Safar, an alchemy treatise by gnomes. Difficult to find, but a certain hermit in the swamp might know something. Thanks for the advice. What do you want? Greetings, Dwarf. Racial segregation with the first words uttered. What do you want me to call you? 
Bah! You're like everyone else. Like the whole accursed city. Vizima humans get everything we get not. I neither live in Vizima, nor am I human. What then? A witcher. A mutant. Well, in that case, sorry. I'm Golan Vivaldi. My cousin Vimy Vivaldi once met a witcher. A debt collector, apparently. I'm Geralt, and I'm no debt collector. What brings you here? I'm looking for the leader of a certain organization. You suspect me because I'm a dwarf? I have several suspects, not only dwarves. What do you want? I've got my eye on you. Come back when you stop talking crap. I want to discuss Salamandra. Why? The professor's bail money came from your bank. You offend me deeply with this slander. But... Generations of Vivaldi's built this bank, and you suggest our gold serves criminals? Out! I believe you. Nothing but a pile of suspicions. I have to assume you're clean for now. You've rejected racial prejudice and realized the truth. When you discover the true culprit, you tell me. I'm curious who it is. What br Do you have a copy of the secret gates? I do, but I'm unwilling to part with it. I insist. Just give me a price. So be it. About the tower. Yes? I have new information on the tower. Tell me quickly. Before this tower, the mage erected two others, but both collapsed. This one served as his house and lab. I knew that. Anything more? The mage lived there until he disappeared, most likely dead. He constructed clay golems that served him, but hardly seemed a major achievement. That would agree with the legends of the sentry. There are ten cornerstones involving the elements and threads of fate from which all this was born. Sephiroth! So the old scrolls are true! One book contained hints of the stone's whereabouts. We must find all ten Sephiroth. I own one of them, Chokma, the Stone of Wisdom. I suppose I'm to find the others? Yes. Near the tower you'll find a circle of stone obelisks. When you have all ten Sephiroth, place them on the obelisks. Ah, so close. What a breakthrough. I'll abolish the theory of those stuffy professors in Oxenforce. I'll destroy them, smash them. Kalkstein, don't get worked up until I find the stones, which won't be easy. The information in these books is murky at best. Sorry, could you show me these books? I'll make notes for you. Here. There you are. We give our lives to the Order.
Have you come to pray to the Great Mother? I'm not very religious. Melitele loves even those who go astray. That's kind of her. How can I help? I seek something and found a clue I can't understand. It is while you came. The goddess is infinitely wise. The clue says... Well, read it yourself. Three faces. That's Melitele. Behold the statue with the goddess's three faces. And the sacrifice? Only nature's harvest. Fruit, plants, flowers. Melitele dislikes killing done in her name. Thanks, Geralt. You saved my life. The bastards snuck in here. Somehow they found out I'm after them. Who? What happened? Salamandra. I was a step away from solving the mystery. One small step. Relax, Raymond. You're safe now. Not likely. They're following me day and night. I gotta find a way to lose them. What do we do? I'll set a false trail. You question the new suspects. Who? Here, take these notes. They list all the key leads. What do you intend to do? They're on my heels, so I've got to disappear. I'll draw them away while you pursue the investigation. I'll find you, White Wolf. That makes no sense. Geralt, good to see you. Where are you going? To the dike. No passage. Captain forbids it. Why? Captain's orders. Talk to him. Gentlemen, that's no way to treat a hero. Geralt, the witcher that saved Vizima from a terrible cockatrice. A hero? Well, that changes things. He's almost one of us. In that case, please pass, Master Geralt. We'll drink your health at the inn. Thanks, Siegfried. A surprise in the sewers. A night of the flaming rose, soaked in stench from head to foot. I usually work alone, but this was an opportunity to see a knight in action. I must say he did rather well for a human. That was rare gratitude he showed. A little fornication? 
nothing personal against which Radovid makes a better ruler than Fortis. <laughs> They let you into town? Are you Luvarden? I am. Let's talk. Yes? I seek the Sephirot stones. I haven't yet located them all. I thought you might know such art and oddities. I once purchased one for its magical potential, which turned out false. And I paid a mage a costly sum for the examination. Then would you sell it to me? Sell my Tiparath? <laughs> I'm rather fond of it. I'll give you a good price. Five hundred orns? I didn't think it was worth so much. But all right. I wear Tipperath as an amulet. We can deal right now. I have five hundred orns, though it's quite a price to pay for a stone. I sadly relinquish it. But my reputation would suffer, as would my business, if I did not deal. The Sephira is yours. Yes? I suspect you know about Salamandra. I know nothing. We'll see. Can I return to my business? We need to talk about your dealings with Salamandra. You paid to have the professor released. <laughs> Why would I bother with a criminal? Why not? Would I do it so clumsily as to implicate myself? I don't believe you. I don't have any definitive proof. So I'll let it lie, for now. Wise choice. You should trust your instincts more. Transport services at the best prices. Take me to the other side. Times are wasting. Made up your mind. Ready to go? How many times are you going to ask me that? To the swamp. Leo Bonhart had disposed of your kind. Never heard of him. Nor will you again. We all, in this profession, eventually meet someone better than us. What profession is that? Bounty Hunter. What brings you here? I'm here about the notice. Finally. Got the hides? I'll return when I have the pelts. I'll be here. Who was Bonhart? Old Leo was a legend. In some ways, he was like you. He killed without emotion. Just like you would kill a... a lame drowner. He was the best. Tall, slim, and... One gaze from those empty eyes could break a man. Was he a mage? No. 
he slew some witchers, those who riled the peasants. Magic tricks and witcher's reflexes proved useless against him. But he's dead. As they say, he hit a harder rock than he was himself. Yes. Take care, witcher. Farewell. Hello, son. I'm not your son, Gramps. <laughs> you guess my name. They call me Gramps around here. They call me all kinds of things. Mostly Geralt, or Scabbed Freak. Well, people exaggerate. I don't see many scabs. <laughs> no offense. None taken. But I'm likely to earn some trekking through this swamp. Yes? I'm looking for work. Ah, swords. I suspect I know the type of work you seek. Perhaps you could escort me to the chapel for my prayers. I'm old and no longer good at driving monsters off with my staff. I was thinking about paying work, but all right, I'll take you there. I hate droughts. Looks like a brickmaker's village. Nothing to do. A traveller from distant lands. He has lost something he now seeks. What shall I call you? Vasker, the village Eldress. Geralt, Witcher. What do the villagers do? We mine clay and produce bricks. I see none working. Hard times. Speak. What do witches do? We solve problems. Want to ask something? Has another witcher been here, Berengar? He has, asking different questions about those alchemies. The alchemist Kolkstein must have sent him. Then we happened upon his gear in a clay pit, covered in blood. Thanks, Vaska. White-haired one. There were signs of fighting there, and not with monsters. He was attacked by men. Beware of flaming lizards and dry ones. I need you alive. Do you have monster problems? Indeed. Creatures have made nests in the clay pits. What are they like? As if drowned, then resurrected. Drowners. I can finish them. We're poor folks. I can pay no more than fifty orins. That's enough. Where are they? Towards the landing, but take the other road at the fork. At its end, you'll spot our tormentors. One. Kalkstein, an alchemist, claims you know about the mage from the tower and the guard. A powerful sorcerer once lived in the swamp, an apprentice his only companion. All changed when a woman entered his life. A fairy tale beginning. But the end differs. For a wicked woman she was. He fulfilled all her wishes and she took advantage of his might. Who was she? Unimportant. I'm listening. Blind love spelled the mage's demise. He called upon forces he could not control and died. What about the guard? The mage's lover could tell fortunes and the mage created a deck of extraordinary tarot cards. He illustrated a future event on each card. And? Golems guarded the mage's dwelling. Those spared the ravages of time survive at the cemetery, where they remain motionless. One of them is the guard? Yes, the most powerful golem acted as sentry. The tower card depicts how the golem can be revived. In turn, this will open the tower anew. Take this card. I no longer need it. Want to ask?
Thera and Opalus emerged. The old spells still work. Clay pits. This is where those lunatics work. Huh. They look normal to me. <laughs> Brickmakers pretend to be normal to strangers, yet they conceal their faith. Do you know those dimwits worship fish people? People believe in the strangest things. Yeah, but to worship slime-covered reptiles with bulging eyes. I, those Voddy and I can't even talk. You must communicate with them using objects. Care to elaborate? Humans communicate with fishoids by leaving objects on special altars. Each item has specific symbolic meaning and is read as an intention. The Vodianoi answer in the same manner. What kind of objects? Don't know and I don't care. You need to speak with one of the worshippers. But brickmakers don't divulge their knowledge to potential blasphemers. Three islands, they call this place. A plant called Celandine flourishes here. You know about herbs? Well, I'm no herbalist, but I read much in my youth. For example, two doses of Celandine combined with nasen salts produces a bomb that instills magic fear. Useful. Hordes of Bloodswiggers inhabit the swamp. If you can get two doses of their blood, mix it with abomination lymph and echinop spores, you create a potion that druids call Maribor Forest. Know any other uses for herbs? Damnable old age. I may remember later. Enough! Come on, enough! Enough! 
Here we are. Thank you, son. I'm not your son. I like you. Visit me sometime. I'll show you my books, serve you some tea, and goulash. You're a witcher, yes? I'm another of your kind recently, but he lacked courtesy. He demanded to know about the Circle of Elements. Another witcher? What can you tell me about him? Well, not much, son. He wanted about asking questions, and looking like one with a sour stomach. I'm not so interested in that. Yeah, I know, I know. He feared something, or someone. Spent most of his time near the pits where those village idiots burrow in clay. Thanks, Gramps. That helps. The obelisk seems ancient. Pity I don't understand these runes. Sephira and obelisk emerged. The old spells still work. to ask something. I've killed the drowners. You showed us mercy, yet I deceived you. I can offer no money, but you cannot leave unrewarded. Take this amulet. It's Kezath, the symbol of mercy. Will do. Wonderful. Now we prepare for the coming of the lords. Who are these lords? We worship them and receive the grace of those from the eternal deep. I keep thinking of the fish people, Vodinoi. How dare you! Those names offend the Lords! Wonderful, Dan. Wonderful! Thank you. 
These boggy holes must be clay pits.
Thera and Obelisk emerged. The old spells still work. Like these giants froze mid motion. Must have been some time ago. hear about finally I do ten wolf pelts wonderful the title of Royal Jägermeister will be mine else I'll become a mercenary farewell a new customer come aboard Witcher go and see Yaron Bolt the lead woodcutter he ought to have a job for you he lives at the southern end of the swamp. Right. What do you want? Take me to the... Time is money. I wouldn't have paid...
how strange! Hear about the notice. You have I not yet. Harry, might hmm. about the tower. Yes. Vasca helped me locate the tower tarot card. It describes how to wake the sentry. Let's see this card. Interesting. Much depends on interpretation, but I think I understand. Alchemists find it easier to understand other alchemists. Enlighten me. The sentry can only be woken if it's near the tower, which it is, and by using a lightning rod. A lightning rod? The drawing depicts a man in a crown, a reference to King Herman the Mad? Don't digress, Kalkstein. You'll need a device that attracts and conducts lightning. Put plainly, a solid metal rod. A good smith should be able to forge one for a decent price. What next? Yes, we'll need a thunderstorm, but I have no idea how to make Mother Nature cooperate. I'll think of something. When you have everything, attach the lightning rod to the sentry. Energy from the lightning bolt will revive the golem. What next? No idea, but you'll manage. If you kill the golem, you'll be able to make a rare potion requiring his heart. Here's the formula. We'll see. Human come to see a non-human. You need something. I'm not entirely human. And yes, you might have something I need. Malcolm Stein. Not a better blacksmith than all of a seamer. Nice workshop. You must be proud. But where's your equipment? They took it! Those sons of bitches. Now I must rent if I want to work. Thieves? No, worse. Damn city officials. Slap me with taxes on running a non-human business, trading in non-human goods. How the hell do they imagine I'll forge things for humans? I'm a bleeding dwarf. Strange coincidence, too. That character connected with the Order recently acquired new Mahakaman anvils, strangely similar to my own. Will you sell me your wares? Zultan praised you, so we can trade. If you care to buy something, see my apprentice. I do the forging and handle special orders. Will you Zult? Would you make me a lightning rod? A long metal? I know what one is. We use them in Mahakam, when humans still prayed to storms. You haven't learnt much about lightning rods since. Can you make a lightning rod? Are you trying to offend me, or can't you control what you say? I can, for 50 orange. Deal. Come back later. Greet you, the smiths. Indeed, I... Show me... Mr. Chive said... Need 
The lightning rod? It's ready. Fifty orans. Fifty orans, like we agreed. Screw co-op existence! Neither to Marion nor the Trans Take me to time. How many? A new customer. Come aboard. The Water Lords and I. Let's discuss a job. Please help. One of our children is missing. The boy has always returned quickly until now. Perhaps the Water Beast ate him. Blasphemy. The Druids must have him to transform into a Dryad. All right, I'll look for the boy. Only fools mock the Water Lords and live in the Drylands. When the time comes, fish will consume the fools. Islands. When the time comes, fish.
Huge trees, strange symbols, tamed beasts, even a dryad. This must be the druid's grove. What is it? What is it? You druids control nature's forces, right? No, we cannot. Rather, we live by its rhythms. You train wild animals, and you can stir up a storm? No, I, I mean yes, but not by force. Well, I need a tempest with thunder and lightning. Can you create one? I can, but as I said... I'll pay. Call it a donation toward the prevention of further devastation of the environment. Five hundred orans. That's too much. Things are getting more expensive, and we have to live somehow. Five hundred it is. Come back when you're ready. Welcome to the Druid's Grove, traveler. Greetings. Marvelous place. I come here when I need to think, and the peacefulness helps clear my mind. Even a witcher is welcome here. One more word about my accepting my otherness and finding the home I never had and I'll cry like a baby. Sarcasm only serves to expose your inhibitions. Ooh, an elven psychoanalyst. I spent decades among humans. I find your kind as complicated as the schematics of a flail. Decades? Live that long among humans, you're bound to become more like them than you ever wanted to be. Are you speaking from experience, Monster Slayer? A sharp wit. I'm Geralt. My name's Yaven. Let's talk. Yes. I'm looking for witcher's work. Then I'll ask you a favor. I need a letter delivered to Vizima, where I'm not welcome. As a witcher, you should find little difficulty tending to monsters on the way and avoiding trouble with the guards at the city gates. Who's the letter to? I'd be obliged if you could deliver it to Bivaldi, a dwarf living in town, and then return his reply to me. I'll do it. I'm going to Vizima anyway. Thank you. What is it? Storm still 500 orans? And not an oran less. Mother Nature maintaining her margins? Don't make light of the secret. Farewell. What it? Here's 500 orans. I await my storm. It's no easy feat. I'm no common mage, harnessing storms with absurd stone posts. I'll be looking for those storm clouds. I know your intention, Witcher, and I would prepare. Imbibe some of those potions, for you'll need them. A Witcher without potions is half a Witcher Druid.
can you? What do you want? Take me to the time is ready to. I wouldn't have. What brings you here? I have a message for you from Yevin. Yevin? I don't need to read it. I know what he wants. Witcher know that whether elf, human or dwarf, they all want the same thing. Power. My distant cousin Rudolf is a shepherd. His entire life he has driven 300 sheep from one place to another. He's the master of their life and death. Somehow I don't envy him. Brilliant response. Return later, after I prepare my answer to Yevin. I've no time. I've no time. What is it, Witcher? I killed the Archospor in the swamp. I have proof. What the hell is this? Huh. The hideous things that roam this earth. That's 400 Oren's reward. Many problems in town? Bandits, monsters, the plague, and you. Right. What is it, Witcher? See ya.
incredible. Zima boasts a bad neighborhood. Who's there? Just a witcher. Just? Geralt, greetings. What happened? A show of force. They smashed a window and packed three bolts in Coleman's gut. Used dispersive bolt heads. A Havkar speciality. And highly illegal. Who killed him? Damn Scoyatel. Now folk will call him a good man, saying how he helped old ladies. A sense of pogrom approaching. The damn shits threw up a list of enemies, and they begun eliminating them without regard for the consequences. Why Coleman? Anger? Revenge? Some elven youth probably overdosed, and note on one of the bolts read, White Death Trader. He was selling Fistech to kids, cheaper than anyone else. And you know how addictive it is. I'm surprised they acted in town. They feel strong now they've got arms. Some fool did business with them. I suspect Haran Brog. What terrible times. Fragmenting tip. Enters the stomach as one, exits the back as three, mincing the internal organs. Hawker's specialty. Useless against armored soldiers, the tips burst on the surface of even the lightest armor. They're used to kill civilians, for show as a cruel warning. I know where the weapons that killed Coleman came from. I need to avoid those situations, remain neutral, not get involved. Your luck excels at dice. I have my ups and downs. I propose an honest game. I might just take you up on that. I can tell you're well traveled. It's a true honor to play a man like you. I'm a witcher. Aren't you afraid I'll jinx the dice? I'd rather lose to someone worldly than beat an ordinary sort. These farmers only wager cabbages. A hunter once frequented this establishment, but I haven't seen him in ages. I think you've seen the last of him. He enjoyed high stakes, but was unlucky at dice. He was unlucky in love, too. If you say so. Silver sword mean anything to you? Why do you ask? I don't have time for chit-chat. Take no offense. Where did you get the sword? I want it from the gardener. Where can I find him? The garden at St. Lebiota's Hospital. Geralt, it's been ages. I couldn't believe Zoltan when he said you'd returned. It's me, Munro. Exiles to war, you, Zoltan, and I helped them. You must remember. How's life? Can't complain. I have a nice slow job as a bouncer. That's slow? The guests settle things between themselves. It's a quiet place. Birds don't ever shit in their own nests. I'll find you later. Oh, smack your face. Your mother sacks dwarf cock. What? You an experienced fist fighter? Smacked a few. Why? I defeated Fat Fred, so I'm looking for another opponent. You take issue with fat folk? Yes. Why? You just pissed off Butterbean. What's the wager? 75 arons. Any rules? Just one. No rules apply. Right. So you in? I'm in.
saying double. I win. Choose two bottles of mandrake cordial, a golden necklace, or 150 orans. The gold. 150 orans. My head. I raised the mug and I missed. This hospital garden demands a caring hand. You seem to like what you do. Like it? I love plants and know them well. I spent my life dealing in bloodshed. Now's my chance for peace and quiet. Bloodshed? It's no point of pride, but I long earned my living as a mercenary. Those times are behind me now, and here I am content. I'm here about the notice. You look like a warrior. Care to kill Echinops for me? Certainly. Bring their thorns as proof. Look. I'm more interested in silver swords. I knew one of you would come by eventually. You lost it playing dice? I was sure I'd win. Beware the sharp one plays well. Where did you get this sword? Five years ago, there was a battle near Brenner. When the dust had settled, our men had beaten the Nilf Guardians. We ceased to call ourselves an Imperial Province that day. You captured the sword during the battle? Yes, it was Witcher Cohen's. A strapping fellow and a rare breed. Not very talkative, mind you. Like most of us. I gave my word the sword would find another Witcher. As he lay dying, he mumbled about teeth and destiny. Then he laughed at his own death. Yet you lost it gambling? I kept it hidden for five years. I lost hope I'd ever run into another Witcher. Miss Shani knew Cohen. She works at the hospital. Thanks. Good luck on the path. The end is nigh! The likes of you is proof enough. Nothing personal. I'm here to see Shani. The white frost approaches. I feel it in my bones. You don't know how it is living in a cold house in your old age. Get out! But... I'm here to see Shani. Sits in a room entertaining guests and pays next to nothing in rent! Uh-huh. 
Poor kitten, her mother can't even afford food for her. I don't dare feed her the medic's food. She'll likely fall sick. Uh-huh. Will you take pity on the kitty? Upstairs, my prince! Geralt, you managed to get out of prison. I did, though it wasn't easy. I've heard about your deeds. Hmm. I see you're working at the hospital. I'm fighting the plague. No time for chit-chat. When can we talk? I have a room in the northern end of town. Stop by after work. Okay. Geralt, we need to talk. What is it? Some people died at the hospital. Were you involved? Explain yourself. I wanted to question a prisoner. One of your patients, but thugs interrupted us. It was their bodies the guard discovered later. Hmm. I'll tell you what I overheard. The prisoner will be transported to a safe location. Thanks, Shani, for understanding. Just watching out for you. How can I help? Your skills are no good here. Shani, I do other things besides kill. We don't have a cure for the plague yet, but did you know Rusty? Don't recall. Before the plague took him, he discovered certain plant extracts retarded the disease's progress. You need those plants? Yes, the best ones, Celandine. Unfortunately, it's only found on swampy ground. I'll try to help. Every blossom counts. I need to talk to you. Can it wait? Well, I suppose. Visit me at home. The hospital's no place for personal matters. See ya. Finally, you found me. Looks like it. How'd you get past the old hag? That nice lady downstairs? She's made my life hell. Old people are like that. At least my rent is low. Doctors earn little in Temeria. Many leave. You stayed. Someone had to. Anyway. Yes? Shani, I wanted to ask you something. Mm-hmm. I heard you saw Cohen shortly before he died. That's right. How did you know? I found his sword. He died during the battle at Brenna, on my operating table. You were a medic at Brenna? 
I worked alongside a surgeon named Rusty. Best doctor I ever knew. Knew? He died when the Catriona Plague erupted, in Maribor. Though a halfling, he could operate like no one else. He made everything seem simple. Stitch red to red, yellow to yellow, white to white, and everything will be all right. Ugh, you wouldn't understand. Sorry, Shani. I didn't know him. Do you know anything about this sword? No, but you should ask the dwarf, Sultan Chive. His knowledge of weapons is unmatched. Yes? Shani. I wanted to talk. What is it? Sometimes I dream about the Battle of Brenna. The massacre. I'm sorry. But that's it. I'm not sorry. I wake up refreshed and it's like I'm used to suffering. It does. Thanks. Don't mention it. Yes? Perhaps this messenger transformed into a phantom house. Bribing guards empty my purse. No, sir. Witcher! Zoltan Chive, good to see you. You got inside the town okay? Plenty of work for a Witcher in Vizima. It seems so. How did you manage to get in? Nasty non-humans will always find a way to sneak into human homes. True enough. Listen, Zoltan, I wanted to talk to you. Yes? What do you know about my silver sword? What, me? A simple dwarf? Shani insisted your knowledge of weapons is unequaled. All right. Silver-plated blade. A steel core. Suited to a two-handed grip. Decent workmanship, not perfect. I don't know runes for shit. Thanks. No problem. Know anything about Vivaldi's bank? No, it's only Vivaldi's by name. How so? New owners. Humans. That explains a lot. Really? Farewell. You won't, freak. I have some questions. You haven't the faintest idea who you're talking to, freak. One word, and before you count to three, you'll be facing a dozen hardened assassins. You'll be dead before you count to three. 
Well, the cub growls, but does it bite? I could use someone for wet work. I'll think about it. Relax. A rhetorical question. I know how you handle the Provost and the Mishlat Brothers crew. I'll answer your questions as a token of goodwill. What do you do? <laughs> I'm the king of the underworld, Wolf. Whores, thieves, murderers. They all answer to me. Come and see me when you need work. Ever seen the Salamandra sign? I've seen a lot. Have a problem with that? Best tell me all you know. The name Azar mean anything? I have a rule. Before I slit someone's throat, I give them some advice. Never threaten me. Make sure you remember that. I mean, image is everything, right? I need to talk to you about Salamandra. Your people attacked me at the hospital. You cracked? I sent them there to bring back one of ours. Let's say I believe you. I'm short on proof, so let's say I leave you alone for now. Thanks a lot. But you'll allow me not to fall at your feet. If you do happen to find Javed, I'll be glad to hear about it. And if you find any of his underlings, I wouldn't mind having a chat with them, too. sent me. What's happening? Raymond said he has some new information. Come to his house as soon as you can. Thanks for the message. What brings you here? I've figured out Azar Javed's contacts. Interesting. Sorry I suspected you. I know you've lost control of your bank. Kind to be so frank with a dwarf. Anytime. I have information about Javed that might be useful. Even the smallest details sometimes are. I saw his name in old files. He paid tuition at the sorcerer school in Barnard. He was expelled after taking an interest in dark magic. He stopped paying tuition and that was the last trace of him in our system. You're dealing with a renegade, and a dangerous one at that. Have you finished your answer to Yevon? Yes, here it is. Let's hope you're right. What? I hope you recover your assets. That bank has belonged to my family for ages. And now some human. You call this justice? Goodbye.
escort some of the places I go. No sign of Javed or the Professor. This bunch should cave easily. Let's do this. Who's this? This wasn't our deal, cop! Relax. Just a witcher. Surely you know witchers are golems. No will of their own. Follow orders quick and easy. No complaints. Right, Geralt? Right. See? Nothing to be afraid of. You didn't exactly come alone. Now let's deal. I don't trust him. Heard he was a fucking murderer. Cut up over a dozen of our people. Let's not play who killed who. That's the past. We're interested in the future. Your future. Which will be unpleasant if Javed learns you cheated him. And believe me, he'll learn shortly if you don't start talking. You're bluffing. You don't scare me. Enough. Where's Javed? Where are the Witcher's secrets? Spit it out before I feed you to the rats. Vincent, stop him! I know nothing! I was assistant to Salamandra's accountant. Javed stopped trusting me. I don't know where he is or what he intends. The professor? I, I don't know. He went off somewhere. Bullshit. You need encouragement. 
You promised me protection in exchange for my testimony. On my mother's grave, I know nothing. Stop him. You're a cop. This is murder. You, you're going to stand by and watch? No, I'm leaving. Besides, I know you had a part in murdering Raymond's family. Witcher, make it quick. You dare challenge the Salamandra! You didn't see me. You didn't see me. So what will it be? You do business with Salamandra? Did you fucking fall off your horse? How did you get Beringer's effects? Dog's balls, I'm a fence. Want me to draw you a picture? You think I ask every thief who he plowed for his goods? Let me draw you a picture. A certain organization, Salamandra, has it in for witchers. A witcher, Berengar, disappears, and all he had lands in the hands of a fence. You. Getting this? A pox on pictures. Berengar's nothing to me. My suppliers might know more. Besides, I'd never survive in this business if I sold hot goods I actually had a hand in getting. That's believable. A lot of shadowy people hang around here. Am I a fence? I'm fucking believable. But why at night? Will you strut about proudly if you had debts? Be glad they all come to me. If Salamandras paid their accounts, the city would have toppled long ago. I suppose that could be true. You have contacts among the city guards. Could be valuable to Azar. Damn dangerous times. I need protection from Salamandra, that's why I deal with the guards. So you say. I pay Vincent's halfwits a few coins and they see to my personal safety. I'm done now, see ya. Hmm, believable I guess. I may have just figured this out. So what'll it be? We do it? I've figured out Salamandra. We'll see. Let's summarize. I'm really fucking interested. There's nothing to the story. What's your problem? You're no criminal genius, Taller, though you might like to be. So who am I? Some pious priestess's virginity that she lost in a dark alley? A little conniver who buys debts to feel important, to have power over people if only for a moment. That hurt, Geralt. You talk a bundle, but when push comes to shove, you hide under the city guard's bibs. You lack balls. Shut the fuck up. Stop pretending you have principles. You come across the property of a witcher, someone who risks his life for people like you, and what do you do? Tell me. You ignore it. Just more prizes to peddle. You're an insignificant fence, nothing more. That concludes your investigation? I'm almost disappointed. You're not worth my time. The great Geralt has spoken. He lectures, plays the wise one, and I couldn't give a rat's ass. Not being petty, I won't take it personally. All customers lose their wits once in a while. I'll let you in on something. I might have gotten on Azor's bad side once, 
The bastard lusts after antiques and luxuries, like any savage who makes a corner too. I was once asked to handle an entire transport of that shit. Turned out it was for him, except I needed the city guard's help at the time. I tipped Vincent off and they confiscated everything. I've needed even more protection since. So No. You come here daily, but I've not seen him. Perhaps he's recovered. Oh, I wish. Worry no further. Easier said than done. Will it be pine or oak, perhaps? An entire crypt? Let's see. Five hours wide. What are you talking about? Why would you come to a grave digger? So I ask you, who will you be burying? Fear not, my prices are reasonable. I'm here for another reason. You should plan ahead. Very well. What is it you want? You seem to know a lot about the deaths in the city. Ever help with investigations? Sometimes I inform Raymond about the more interesting dead men. I don't trust Raymond. He's hiding something. Raymond? You wouldn't find a more loyal man. He seems to be struggling with this case. I should help. Will you let me inside the cemetery? City authorities prohibited it. How can I change your mind? I'd need Captain Mice's permission. No other way to sway you? Actually, I have a terrible debt with Toller. Clear those debts, the cemetery key's yours. I'm here about the notice. Yes? I understand you need six jugs of dog's lard. I want you to cull as many mutts as possible. Bring me the lard as proof. Farewell. So what'll it be? We doing some plowing business? Can you get me inside the cemetery? Oh, I can do anything. Tell the gravedigger his debt's cleared. He'll piss his pants in gratitude. Thanks.
Oh, I wish. Worry no further. Easy. What do you need? I want to get inside the cemetery. City authorities prohibit. What if Taller cancelled your debts? Is that possible? I bought your debts from him, but you must help me. Here are the keys. Go inside where we lay the fresh ones, but if they kill you, don't return to haunt me. Farewell.
What do you need? Here's your key. Learn anything? I found Raymond's body in the crypt. How? Oh, I spoke to him recently. Now I'm sure. The leader of Salamandra, a mage capable of spinning illusions, is masquerading as Raymond. Hi, Geralt. Hi, Shani. I miss Oxenfurt sometimes. You could always go back. No. I'm needed here. Few have your immunity. I wanted to talk. Quickly. I need to get back to work. Here's the Celandine. Excellent. I'm really grateful. It was nothing. If you need anything, let me know. See ya. I've figured out Azar Javed's contacts. Interesting. I know it's Raymond. Detective Raymond? Hmm. But that would mean... The real detective is dead. Azar Javed is using a magic illusion. I'm impressed. What will you do? I see. Well, you can stop smiling. I have nightmares aplenty as it is, but be reasonable. If I were you, I'd contact Kalkstein. Every spell deserves a counterspell. The alchemist might help you. Goodbye. I suspected you were working with Javed. You think I lead Salamandra? I'll die laughing! Someone went a long way to implicate you. Oh, so you believe it's not me? Azar wanted me to think you worked for him. I'd never do that. Know why? Why? That madman draws power from fire. It's the element of chaos, uncontrollable by rational thought, the opposite of the order embodied in the other elements. Drawing from fire is dangerous. That's all I need to know. Hmm. I know Raymond is the Salamandra leader. Are you sure? Yes, I have irrefutable evidence. Azar killed Raymond and assumed his identity using an illusion. The rogue! What do you intend to do about it? You're better off not knowing. Be careful. He has great power. You must separate him from its source, the element of fire. 
lure him to a place where the magical aura is unstable. It would be best if this place were surrounded by the opposing element water. The tower in the swamp. Ideal. You'd stand a chance there. See ya. Soon you tell no one? He's too strong. Hit him with the Looks like I have to deal with the Are you lost? Who lives here? Don't answer a question with a question. Let me rephrase. Some nerve. This is Ramsmeat's house, and he never spoke of a visiting mutant, so scram. Looks like I have to deal with these idiots. All right, go in. What do you want, Wolf? Want the truth about Salamandra? I'm listening. Someone wanted me to believe you led Salamandra. And I thought Salamandra sent you. Hmm. That's interesting. They really liked me out of the saddle. They tried to poison me and sent several masked assholes out to assassinate me. But that's all too little for Uncle Ramsmy. I thought you were their next attempt. I know you're fighting Salamandra. I'm hunting them too. Javed wants to take over my business. He decided to start with the girls. Know why? Though he left Zerakini long ago and trained to be a mage, deep inside, he's remained a fucked up wild man. Now you get it? Not really. He's driven by instinct. Things with that Zerakanian cock of his. And he's got some strange fetishes. Likes fire. My girls are scared shitless. And they don't scare that easily. Thanks. That helped. No problem. See ya. What? See ya. Yes?
I've nearly completed my investigation. Go ahead. I have a little patience left. Let's summarize the facts. I'm more curious about your conclusions. Not all your money is clean. You can't make a living cultivating violets. Spare me. You bribe guards to ignore your contraband. You say contraband? I say importation. You finance illegal schemes. I'm diversifying risk. And you belong to a secret society. A broad network of associates. I guess you're not the one I'm looking for. How did you arrive at that conclusion? You're a thoroughbred merchant, Luvarden. So tied up in international business that you can't afford getting involved with a group of subversives. Oh? You live off the status quo. All your associates would eliminate you if you threatened the stability of their investments. Nice analysis. Let's discuss this no further. Quit bluffing, Declan. This symbol signifies my secret society. We seek to destroy Salamandra. Learn anything useful? The Salamanders have risked much. This is a political matter, let me tell you. Some larger schemes at play in Redania. Few people know the secret. King Faltest, the Lodge of Sorceresses, and I watch the northern border. How does this relate to Salamandra? Azar Javed has sent a special force north. My men saw them. He too knows something's brewing and is making preparations. Yes? Farewell. Welcome, you won't believe what happened. Tell me. Not so fast. Remember, I have expenses. How much do I owe you? Two hundred arons. This investigation is getting expensive. I'm not the Prophet Labiota. I can't live on roots and berries. Neither can my informers. I guarantee you these are the bare necessities. All right. 200 orans. Down to business. They transferred the prisoner after the attack. Not good. Especially since we won't get anything else out of him. He died last night. How did that happen? Well, he wasn't in great shape, so I guess it's no surprise. But I have a feeling. Someone helped him along? Exactly. Shani is a good friend of yours, right? Ask her to do an autopsy. Once we know the cause of death... Wait a minute. Are you spying on me? That's my job. See you later. Yes? I have the autopsy results. And? I couldn't conclude anything. How's that? How do I put this? Hmm... I mistook one vial for another and poured some caustic crap on the corpse. We couldn't draw any conclusions from what remained. None? None at all? Not a one. Come on, Raymond. Everyone makes mistakes. I need to think. Come back later. Not now. Here at last. Mm -hmm. Listen, I got it all figured out. Calstein and Ramsmeep were associates. I have irrefutable evidence. What do we do with that information? We set a trap, though it might be dangerous. 
Gather your equipment and come back later. All right. Yes? I wanted to ask you about the commander of the Royal Guards. I saw him in town some time ago, busy bashing perverts. How come? What don't you understand? Everyone knows the Guard Commander hates anyone he can call deviant. Everyone knows, but few care. Yes? We'll speak later. Yes? I'm ready for Ramsmate. Good. He leads Salamandra's armed force. You have to kill him. Won't be easy, but I'll try. Yes? Good news. You'll be happy, Raymond. You killed Ramsmead? He won't be bothering us anymore. But that's not it. We'll nab Javed soon. I have a plan. Your family will be avenged. So, what's your plan? I wanted to take care of this alone, but if you're willing to help... Of course I am. You're paying me, after all. Besides, we're friends now. Yes. Friends. Now, since we've defanged Javed by getting rid of Ramsmeat, let's plan what he and Kolkstein want so much. And that is? The secrets inside the Swamp Tower. I know how to open it, and I'd like you to do something. Of course. What? Come with me to the swamp, and when I open the tower, take the secret books, hide them away from me. We can't let them fall into Javed's hands. Right. When do we go? Now. We need to secure what's hidden in the tower. All the books and scrolls. Bait for our target. Just one thing missing. I have yet to unlock the tower door. That's where I come in. This stone is the key to the tower, or part of the key. You make sure you get Kalkstein interested, like we agreed. Transport. Take me to the times. Ready to go. How many?
Fira and the Obelisk are merged. Spells still work. to return. Sephiroth are set. My medallion's vibrating like mad, so the spell must be working. The tower door should be open. I can't wait to see Kolkstein's reaction. The war...
We could use more rain. Nothing to do. Only fools mock the water lords and live in the dry lands. When the time comes, fish will consume the fools. What is it? I can't find Yavin. What happened to him? He left to join other elves in the swamp. Where can I find him? I wouldn't know. What? Farewell. Witcher. You've been busy. A training camp? We must train to fight effectively. Really think this band of warriors can accomplish something? Can a few stones turn into an avalanche? Can an entire city burn down from just one spark? No need to answer. We both know the truth. Hmm. Yes. I have Vivaldi's response. He sends words, not gold. I suspected as much. So my effort was in vain? Quite the contrary, Witcher. Vivaldi either will not or cannot help us. Crucial information regardless. Did he say why he refused? 
Vivaldi's gone bankrupt. Interesting. The bank functions, yet Vivaldi is bankrupt. Thank you, Geralt. I have an idea. Aren't you eager to learn the truth? I'd rather stay focused. Should I get the book from the tower? Yes, hurry. We can't let Kalkstein get ahead of us. I hope that murderer swallowed the bait. I think I made sure of that. Aren't you? I'd rather... Yes, I think... You'll soon learn the truth. Excited? More than you think. Just one question. Where did you get the idea to assume Raymond's identity? Clever. From you, of course. He was getting close and you trusted him. I would have been foolish not to take advantage of the situation. Did you forget it would put you face to face with a Witcher? Well, I'd be foolish not to take advantage of this situation. Enough chatter. 
Now kindly lead me to where you've hidden the items stolen from Kaer Morin. skirmish between patrols erupted into a regular battle. Led by unwavering faith, the Knights of the Order showed greater determination and emerged victorious. The Scoia'tael learned that freedom could only be achieved by shedding blood, their enemies, and their own. Azar excluded me from the battle. When Triss woke me, heaps of bodies appeared before my eyes. It was the last time I was able to avoid taking sides. You're mistaken. I have him under control. And not just him. They're all leading out of my hand. I regret that Voltest is away at the summit, but I trust you'll tend to the King's Council. I assume you've resolved matters with Livarden as well. Yes. I made an offer and he accepted. He claims his superiors had similar plans, but we beat them to it. Men can do nothing but talk and then always claim the initiative. And how is your Witcher? I should be able to convince him. Don't overdo it. Geralt can be exceptionally perceptive. I know. I must get back. I'll contact you when it's all over. Never let the Witcher guess what you hide from him. Triss? Should you be up? I'd rather make sure you've recovered completely. How? Don't worry. This won't hurt a bit. Well, you seem to be at full strength. It must be that unusual Witcher's metabolism. Triss, how did I get here? Pure coincidence. I was scanning for magic anomalies and happened upon a false trail set by Kalkstein. You found me in the swamp? What happened there? I don't know. The Alchemist is still there, examining solid stone. But he won't find anything. The greater anomalies are here in Vizima. Magic anomalies in Vizima? Yes. I'd appreciate it if you could help me figure them out. But back to your health. I thought I was at full strength. You misunderstood me. Physically, nothing's wrong. It's your mind that worries me. 
Explain. You raved for hours. I had no choice but to read your thoughts to learn about your injuries and which poisons you took this time. I'm sure you read beyond that. I couldn't help it. Your thoughts were quite loud. In any case, I know about your recent adventures. Can you help me? Recover your memory? I doubt anyone can, but there's a small chance... A small chance of what? From what I saw, I think you would benefit by creating a stable personality. Meaning? Geralt, please, this is important. Just limit the psychobabble. You need to take a stand on the world's problems. It doesn't matter what position, just that you choose one. A strong identity may help restore your memory. Can't you just tell me what you saw? No, I don't want you turning into my vision of Geralt. I want you to decide for yourself who you are, without looking back. I shouldn't take an interest in the past? Exactly. Your memory should return in due course. We'll see. Geralt. You said something about magic anomalies. Various things can cause them, but more importantly, they can be the cause of true evil. When I last felt this way, you and a sorceress were trying to capture a genie, destroyed half a city in the process. You probably have no recollection, but a lot hung in the balance. I don't recall. I could use your help. I have some magic sensors that need to be placed around Vizima. They'll help us locate the anomaly source. All right. Give me the sensors. I'll take care of it. Always eager to please. What are friends for? Hmm. I saw a perfect wall cavity in the trade quarter near Town Hall. Place one there, a second in the temple quarter near the entrance to the sewers, and the third in Vizima's cemetery. We'll create a typical Radcliffe Triangle. You know, of course, that triangulation is most effective in these cases. How did you get here? Long story. When you men went chasing around... Which proved effective. By some miracle, I decided to look for Salamandra using unconventional methods. Any results? Very good ones. You'll learn it all in due time. Why not now? To get this information, I had to agree not to tell you. Patience, Witcher. Who were you talking to through the mirror? You heard me? Ah, sorceress business. Nothing important. Sounded serious. I had to make a few promises to learn about Salamandra. You could. Trust me, it was nothing important. I'll see you later. See you. Oh, I nearly forgot. What? Luvarden, a merchant, wants to see you. He hosts banquets at the new Nerecourt. I don't like banquets. Important people will attend. I don't know. Including Princess Ada, whose curse you lifted? Apparently, she's slightly obsessed with you. I'll think about it. I'll be there. All right, I'm convinced. Maybe I can gather some information there. Six this evening. Here's the pass that makes you official in the trade quarter. A pass? Well, in addition to a quarantine, the authorities of Azima have imposed martial law. How'd I miss that? It only covers the trade quarter, which you haven't entered. So how do these passes work? Only the quarter's residents are allowed to move about. I have a house here, so I was able to get a pass. So what do I do? Well... I registered you as residing here. Falsely, of course. Listen, about my identity. Progress already? I'm still analyzing. Geralt. What's with the passes? Well, in addition... How to... It all... So how... Only... So what... Well, false... I'll see you later. Your pass. 
You're overdoing it with the passes. Complain to the king. He's returned? No, but all new edicts bear his seal. Farewell. I should hurry. of Rivia in the flesh you manage to avoid the quarantine and gain official support martial law is in effect wartime rules apply I'll do my best to comply you'd better traitors taste steel what was that about martial law King Faltest has declared martial law in Vizima why is that the plagues in half the kingdom and monsters roam the city streets and the quarantine and patrols aren't enough Never you mind. Uh, I'm looking for... I'm a high-ranking officer. But I just wanted to. Wait! Quite the dangerous one bearing weapons on your back. I'm listening. Still manning your post? Work hard, play hard. Any ideas on what to name my new unit? Flaming Spears of Destruction. Very well. Flaming Spears of Destruction. Bye.
Greetings, Witcher. What are you doing in this tower? Finally! I've waited so long! Kalkstein. The greatest discovery of my life! Know that you fully earned your reward. Yes? How goes your research? I've a new theory. A milestone in alchemy. Everything is composed of particles so small they can't be seen. Uh-huh. They're constantly moving and acting upon each other. I have yet to confirm it, but I'm working on it. Um, maybe you can tell me about this later. Yes? I'm here. You have... No. Ah, uh, yeah. Not yet. I don't. Take care. like that to go plow themselves. When do you play again? Geralt. I placed the sensors as you asked. I know. As soon as you did, I scanned all of Vizima and found the source of the anomaly. Where? A boy named Alvin, at St. Lebiota's Hospital. How can a child be the source? You've forgotten everything? He must have immense powers. Elder blood must course through his veins. Elder blood? The gift of Lara. We must rein in Alvin's destructive abilities. Hurry, fetch him from the hospital. I'll see what I can do. Will they let me take him? Not readily. Your friend Shawnee refuses to hand him over. She has no idea what the entire city faces if he spins out of control. I don't know how to talk to her. She's your friend. Settle it with her. I'd be grateful. One more thing. Children of elder blood attract creatures from the beyond. Ghosts and specters. You might find this scroll useful. I'll see you later. Why were you in that witch's house? If not for Triss, I'd be dead, most likely. I'll show you my other, less tender side if you're lying. Ah. What brings you here? That witch is trying to steal one of my patients, Alvin. What does that hag know about raising children? Everyone knows she can't have her own. I don't want her handling that child with her dirty paws. Devil only knows what she wants with him. 
explain to her that Alvin's staying with me. It'd be much simpler if you two would just agree. Simple or not, you know her better. Please bring Alvin to me. Okay, give me a kiss. Geralt, I was looking for you. I had no idea Nurse Natala was such a wellspring of passion. You ever seen her leaning over patients? <laughs> Those eyes. Dandelion. In any case, I was on my way here to entertain Natala with some scintillating conversation when I passed these two odd-looking men dragging out this kid who was hollering and crying. They called him by his name. I think it was Alpin or Albin or something. Shit, that's who I'm here for. Well, you'll be proud of me. Oblivious to any danger, I decided to help the kid and followed them. They dragged him to this house. You're right. I am impressed. Told you. You have to take me with you this time. This is true ballad material. Matter of fact, I'll lead you there. The house is in the non-human district. Follow me. This is where they brought Alvin. Great. Wait here and don't enter until the fighting stops. You always tell me to wait outside. No. This time I'm going in with you. I'll create a new genre. The proactive ballad. I don't want you around when I start swinging. Okay. I guess poetry requires sacrifices. Geralt, hurry! You dare challenge the Salamandra! you're here. Everything will be all right. Are they dead? Yes, Alvin. They gave me no choice. I understand, Geralt. Take me away from here. Whoa, that's a lot of blood. Geralt. And here's the boy. See? Where would you be without me? Shh. They're coming. Grab the kid and go out back. You heard them outside? Amazing. Okay, I'll take him, but where? Take him to Triss. She's a sorceress. She'll protect him best. Oof. Doubt that'll make Shani happy. But it's better than angering a sorceress, I guess. Get going. Okay, I'll leave the boy with Triss.
Geralt. Triss, about Alvin. Mm-hmm. Is he safe? Yes. Dandelion brought him here and explained. I knew I could count on you. Is Shawnee clear about this? No? Then go tell her the boy stays with me. End it. I... Well, if I have to. Though I'd rather face a swarm of ghouls. Geralt. I'll see you later. She doesn't let me eat sweets. Too much of anything can be harmful. I want candy! I want a puppy. We can't have a dog the way we live. You're bad. I could hug him. I want a... Not now, Alvin. You're bad. It's all well, Geralt. I left the boy with Triss to keep him safe. How could you? She cast a spell on you. Out of my sight. I will forget your very name. Geralt. Uh, I spoke with Shani. She understood, but didn't take it too well. I'm glad that's settled. Alvin needs someone who knows magic. Geralt, I wanted to talk to you about the future. About us. Triss. I'm not jealous. I'd just like to know where we are. Can't this wait? I have this job. Clients getting impatient. Please think about it, Geralt. We needn't talk. A symbolic gift would do. Say, a ring? Couldn't you just read my mind? I could, but I don't want to. If you give me a ring, I'll treat it as a pledge. If you don't, I'll try to understand. See you, Witcher.
Geralt, how's Alvin? Dandelion, do you always have to butt your nose into? Just asking. Something troubling you? She's just... Uh, I don't know anymore. Let's go. Can't talk about women on an empty stomach. But... No buts. Zoltan and I agreed to have a drink today. A mercenary dwarf and a wandering troubadour who knows all the loose women in town. I couldn't choose better advisors. Let's go. Hey, Zoltan. Greetings, Dandelion. Get out. Our monster slayer looks bitter. Something happened? Nothing you need to know. Geralt is experiencing cognitive dissonance, a rather unpleasant tension that accompanies the appearance of two conflicting cognitions, be they thoughts or judgments. You're so full of shit, Dandelion. Simply put, he cannot decide. I assume the dissonance relates to... My dissonance is nothing to you. That's where you're wrong, Geralt. We're your only friends, and friends help each other. You'll see. We'll have a drink, and you'll know exactly what to do about Triss. Somehow I don't think so. Ooh, the vodka's nicely chilled. Gentlemen, cheers! Damn all dissonances! Ooh, delicious. Nothing like a good belt of liquor. Yeah, not bad. Incidentally, Zoltan, why are we drinking from tankards? I swear I saw glass in here. Serious problems require serious solutions. Half measures get you nowhere. I get it. Half measures for Dandelion, though. He yammers enough as it is. Will you stop whimpering like a spoiled lass and spit it out? Triss is a fine woman. But? But I'm a witcher. Killing monsters is my destiny. Don't bullshit me about destiny, Geralt. I realized long ago that all those pathetic bits by Etlina and the like are the same crap and humbug as those dissonances. You may be right, but honestly, do you see me as a cobbler or a farmer? Mm, no. I guess I see your point. Damn it, I don't get it. What's one got to do with the other? No one said you'd have to stop slaying monsters, right? She didn't say either way. Let me explain, Dandelion. Just because a woman doesn't say it, doesn't mean she doesn't want it. In fact, they often say they want something when they really want the opposite. I'll drink to that. Oof. Strong enough to make you cry. I'll tell you what's up with dames. You can theorize all you want, but you'll never figure out what's going on inside their heads. There's just no understanding women. Highly original, Dandelion. Sneer away, but you won't put me off. The problem is you don't know what you want. And you don't know what you're talking about. I've never had a family, but I am a poet. I know something about people. Tell me this. Do you want a family or not? Uh. Dandelion, it's not that simple. Answer the question. You know what I mean. If it weren't for this mess, Scoyatel, the Order, Salamandra... If you only knew how much, Dandelion. Right. The family is the fundamental unit of society. <laughs> uh, screw it all. I've got the hiccups. That's not exactly what I was thinking of. I just want to settle down. I've heard that tone before. Let's have another drink. I can't throw these damned hiccups. I know. Let's go to a whorehouse. Make it your stag night. Dandelion, we were talking about relationships in case you didn't notice. Besides, it won't let me in. I'm a filthy non-human. Only the weight of your purse counts at the house of the night. Besides, the madam owes me a favor. Come on, Geralt. Live a little. I just don't feel like it. I understand, Geralt. If your Dora found out, believe me, you don't want to get in the way of a mad dwarf woman. I believe that. Me too. 
Gentlemen, time to get this show on the road. The ideas are getting dumber by the minute. There's a bit left at the bottom of the bottle. One for the road. So be it. Cheers. Neighbors, what kind of role model are you? She doesn't let... Not now. I want candy! Geralt of Ri Who wants to know? I have a message from mutual friends. Don't meddle in affairs that do not concern you. I have a message for these mutual friends. Go on. Tell them we'll meet soon. They'll be ready. Once, the witcher yeah. completes this mess. Not for me, My friend Julia. Greetings, noble sir. What do you have? Pleasing trifles. I supply the upper classes. Let's see them. How can I help?
行こう Here we are. Wipe that frown off your face. You'll be fine. Can't we go back to your place? Make sure I have no internal injuries. Later, Geralt. Come on. This isn't so bad. Let's mingle. Mm-hmm. Geralt of Rivia and Triss Merigold, welcome! Greetings. I thank you for coming. Uh, look about the room and you will see the entire kingdom represented. We thank you for your invitation. Forgive me, I must return to my duties. I'm certain we'll speak later. Milady, allow me to present the sorceress Triss Merigold and... Duet, I know who stands before me. We know each other, do we not, Witcher? One could say so, princess. A princess indeed, though I do not always feel like one. So many duties. You could not imagine, Witcher. Why do you stare? Is my dress displeasing? Forgive me, milady, but even the finest dress would pale in comparison to you. Mind your tongue, mutant. Duet, I will decide if and when I am offended. Your Highness, he is an aberration. Silence. It was a nicety. Leave us for now. Geralt, allow me to introduce Burgomeister Velarad. Charmed. Greetings. It's uh, been a while. Velarad is King Foltest's right hand. No need for formal introductions. If you wish to open a factory or a shop, uh, kill a monster, or petition the king, you must come to me. I'll remember that. Excuse us, Burgermeister, but we need to say hello to the other guests. <laughs> Geralt, have you met Taller? Taller? Here? Let me introduce my master, the Honorable Erkin von Blunt. Good day, sir. Erkin has taken a vow of silence and thus cannot answer. You must be wondering why he is here. Indeed. He has made numerous vows in his life, one of which is to protect the royal family. Sadly, for unknown reasons, Princess Ada holds little respect for him. Vows, however, must be honored, whatever the circumstances. And how are you involved? Are you bound by his vows by extension? He authorized me to speak on his behalf, and I serve as his advisor. Of course. We shan't be bothering you. Come, Geralt. You've met everyone who's anyone. I need to speak with Livarden. You behave yourself. Beware of anyone who tries to pry information from you. From me? But I'm just a witcher. Don't be fooled. Anything you say may have political ramifications. You shall be summoned when I need you. Speak freely, Geralt, but no politics. I want to ask about the princess. No politics. About the curse. Shh. I could use something stronger. Fine. Ask... Does the princess have strange dreams? How would I know? I've not spoken to Ada without one of those bastards from the Order prisons. Any strange behavior? You're awfully close to treason. I'm not asking out of want for political influence. Our sweet princess is completely normal. Well, uh, her head's a little messed up. Is she aggressive? On occasion, but not unusual for a spoiled damsel. I don't know, she's... What? Well... Spit it out. She needs a man to give her a proper lay. Right. Must go. Later.
Witcher, you may approach. Duet, fetch me some wine. From that page boy at the end of the room. Your Highness. We may speak freely now. Geralt, tell me about witches, and please, don't hide behind your code. What are you asking, milady? What is your view on politics? To me, politics is like an encounter with a lover. Would you agree? I am impressed by the comparison. Have you ever tried your hand at the fine arts, your highness? I am forced to study all kinds of nonsense, but books bore me, as does poetry for the most part. I agree. Books are for bores. Never mind. Back to our lovers ambulating about the room. You see, Witcher, politics is not unlike a tryst. It begins with foreplay, glances, conversations. Behold that witch with Luvarden. Now look to our noble Urkin in the courtiers. The dance grows bolder, fondling and such. Then, one is consumed by the desire to come together roughly, like animals. Finally, one is left with sad, passionless copulation. Velarad and Duet, for instance. Ahem. <clears throat> Excuse me, Your Highness. Sore throat. We are adults, Geralt. We both know the desires of men. You may be right, Your Highness. Power, sex, sex, power. They both come down to one thing. Fucking others. <laughs> may I ask you a question? Go on. What is the King's stance on this topic? I mean, politics, of course. Ugh, dull. I have grown hungry, and there is naught worth eating at this feast. I tire of partridge tongues and caviar. Hmm, what do I most desire? I have it. I will answer your ever so dull question if you bring me what I most desire. I shall return shortly, Your Highness. I'm listening. What does the princess like to eat? Find me a stronger drink and we'll speak. Will do. Through. Relax, Burgermeister. I'm listening. Ah, much better. The princess had a hard childhood. It left her with a penchant for raw meat. We tried to keep that quiet, but... Uh... I see. Anything else? Tala's angry. <laughs> His intelligence agents scour the realm to fetch her treats. Thanks. Enjoying yourself? Exquisitely. Not enough food, nowhere to sit, and nothing but small talk. And I may be the only one here not involved in one of the many schemes or secret alliances being forged. It's a sign of the times, new customs and fashions. You think it better to show the Nilfgaardian we're barbarians? That we can't distinguish between a fork and a comb? That the only way we know how to feast is to get blind drunk and roar lusty songs while slapping the serving wenches on their arse? I'm a relic, someone from the past, so I'm rather attached to the old customs. Never understood nor liked the new ones. But really, Taller, why are you here? I'm a patriot. I've the good of the kingdom at heart. A kingdom threatened by the schemes and alliances you were observant enough to note. I said I was an old-fashioned witcher. Be straight, like Taller the Fence would be. Taller the Fence does nothing for free. Taller the Fence is a scoundrel who'd prefer the Temple District not know he consorts with the cream of Vizima society. Have it your way. Let me tell you, friend, a serious slash fest is in the works. One without pardon. The defeated will be picked apart by crows. You'll be forced to fight for a new order, comrade, or against it. We will fight for our traditions and customs, for our land and our women. Who's this enemy? Who wants to steal our women? I wouldn't deceive you. I think you're one of us. It's a cause we share. I don't know the enemy yet, but I will soon, and when I do, the time of the sword and the axe will come. Blood will flow in the streets. And know this, comrade, there will be no room for your neutrality.
Who exactly are you? And be straight with me, comrade. Temerian intelligence. I execute the king's direct orders. I find traitors, rats, and foreign agents. I'm a spy. A highly placed spy. I can't deny it. May I ask a personal question? The amphibians you're after, are they a personal matter or an ideological one? Both. Care to explain? They robbed me and killed a friend. They're criminal, evil. Salamandra upsets the balance. As a witcher, I can't ignore that. Got it. Thank you for being candid. Who exactly is Dewet, and what is he doing here? That Nilfgaardian dog is a mere pawn. I cannot fathom why Ada tolerates him. Explain. Like most knights of the Order, he worries his dick's too small. So he gets aggressive whenever something scares him. Then, of course, he's a Nilf Guardian. Our princess has some weaknesses, but stupidity is not one of them. Maybe the princess has a game of her own going. Then she should choose better allies. Unlike chess, this game claims lives. I'm afraid someone might be using her. Is Luvarden somehow involved? I need to get Urk in a private meeting with him. At present, his intentions are a pure riddle. To me, too. Really? What do you mean? Your friend seems to get along famously with Livarden. For two strangers, they certainly have much to discuss. See for yourself. I trust Triss. I suppose you know her better than I, but don't say I didn't warn you. Regarding Luvarden, we know he heads some transnational organization of merchants, bankers, and other wealthy folk. Make what you will of it. Why do you want to draw me into a game that doesn't concern me? This game concerns you more than you imagine. You mean to tell me you're not interested in the conflict between the Order and the Scoia'tael? You mean to tell me you don't care? What about your lover, Triss Merigold? That's private. I want to destroy Salamandra. That is my only objective. Salamandra has a patron. Someone in this room, or one known here. You're up to your ears in this, Wolf, whether you like it or not. Excuse me for a moment. Geralt. Any idea what the princess's favorite dish might be? We have to know shit like that. As special agents, people of the shadows. Calm down. What's the dish? Tala does nothing for free. Go to the next room and fetch the letter from the box with the Temerian coat of arms. And be discreet. But... Then I'll tell you Ada's favorite dish. Why are you here? Huh? I, I was looking for the privy. In that box? Point for you. Truth is, I was hoping for a superior drink. The wine does taste watered down. I found some liquor. Try some? Gladly. A stupid idea. How'd it go? Smoothly. Here's the letter. You'd make a fine agent. I exaggerate. A goat would be just as good. Start talking. What's Ada's favorite dish? Cataplepus. What? 
Some time ago, this maniac who looked a lot like you arrived in Visima claiming that nothing surpasses finely prepared cataplepas meat. You're joking. Not a bit. Since then, my men have been hunting cataplepas throughout the continent in secret. At market, it costs more than a good whore. How's the meat prepared? That's the Burgermeister's business. I smuggle in cataplepas, but I wouldn't know how to cook it. Geralt. Ah, this is important, Triss. What's important? Ada knows something. I think I can get it out of her. Really? That spoiled little vixen, well, she wants some cataplepas. Rare would be best. Are you kidding? No. Triss, could you conjure up something, please? Sorcery at parties is considered very unseemly. I'll create a distraction. I'll do better myself. Cataplepis steak. Rare for the princess. Thank you, Triss. You know I can conjure up orgasms, too. I think I prefer traditional methods. I'll find you after I've spoken with Ada. Do you have something tasty for me? Steak tartare of cataplepis. Raw meat with a pinch of pepper and an uncooked yolk. You know how to please a woman. It is an honor to serve you, your highness. I shall grant you a private audience. Come to my alcove in five minutes. We shall dabble in politics. <laughs> Get out of my sight, freak. I'm busy now. I'll be with you shortly. Give us a moment, please. You know what Morden did at the toilet? Remind me. I arrive on horseback in full Not so, so hasty. <laughs> Morden had to steal his knees and melt. And then he... Finally. Politics it shall be, but quietly. We should not be heard. As you command. I should think so. <laughs> Geralt, I spoke with Declan. And? The two of you should talk. What's so worthy of my time? Don't be so quick to judge. He'll make you an offer. One I think you should accept. Sure you're not using me as one of your tools? Only in bed, Witcher. Only in bed. What's the gift of Lara? A long, complex story, but I'll keep it short. Lara Doran Epshiadol was no normal elf. More like a genetic bomb. She was to couple with another genetically special individual and bear an even more exceptional child. But that never happened. Lara fell in love with Kragenin of Laud, a mage, a human. Lara and Kragenin's children, known as those of elder blood, proved hard to follow. Thus the sorcerers who had hatched the plan lost control of their precious gene. Not finding this party dull. Anything more interesting in mind? <sighs> At home, Geralt. At home. You should find yourself a real woman. Everyone knows witches are barren. I'm glad you've come. What is it? The old saying goes, any enemy of my enemy is my friend. Get to the point. Geralt, I urge you to change your tone. Listen to what Declan has to say. Let me guess. You have dirty work needs doing and thought a witcher with amnesia perfect for the job. Exactly. Will you help destroy Salamandra? I'll help, but it hardly means we're friends. Wonderful! It's as we've heard! All secret societies need gold. Fistek yields the largest profits for Salamander. Our spies say there's a new Salamander camp in the swamps. The herbs are harvested, then conducted to another base in Vizima's temple quarter. A swamp and slums again. Great. We're confident you can destroy both camps. If you discover papers, evidence that might aid us, 
Return to me. Yes, sir. Permission to commence mission, sir. Both camps are new, without sure defenses. A simple matter for you. The salamanders would slaughter groups of humans easily. Much simpler to sacrifice one Witcher. I'll return once I have new information. See me tomorrow if you need help. Triss obtained this formula especially for you. Witcher. About my identity. Any progress? I'm still analyzing. Geralt, don't listen to that piss-swilling cheat. What's wrong, Taller? He's involved. The counterfeit royal edicts. But I thought... Where do you get the royal seal, you ball-licking bastard? How dare you accuse me, mongrel? You believe the seal's fake? Clearly. If this is a royal edict, where's Falter's signature? Geralt, this is a provocation. The king need not sign every edict. The seal is authentic. You lie, Dewet. I can prove it and you'll hang. You can prove nothing. Surrender and live. Stay out of this, Witcher. Never! You won't take me alive, you bastards! Keep your hands off him. You'll regret this. You'll all regret it. Quiet, priest! Thanks for your help, Geralt. You best disappear for a while. Good idea, but I must speak with you. Later. I need to do something. Fine. Meet me at the new Narakord. Hell with it. Come see me, Geralt. I have something to tell you. No need to rush. Again, Witcher. Worked out that way, I guess. I suppose I should thank you for saving my ass. I'm still not sure it was smart to tangle with Duet. Of course it was, provided you have Temeria's well-being at heart. What do you mean? There's something afoot. You forget I'm a simple Witcher. It's like this. Before the King departed, he placed Vizima in my care. See? Seems authentic. 
During my absence, I entrust you with... I know you can read, Witcher, but notice both the King's seal and his signature. I see. That isn't on the other edicts. A seal can be stolen, but a signature is difficult to forge. So the royal edicts are fakes? Exactly. You're different. How interesting. Actually... Sadly, my code of conduct for... So you refuse to help? Wait a minute. What code? Not your business, Witcher. Fight monsters, which is a <laughs> we must speak. About what? You won't toss me into the sewers again. <laughs> this is how it works. I describe a job. If you refuse, it's the dungeon for you. Like to gamble? I do. Gamble? I wager I can cut off your nose before you can sneeze again. A little edgy today, are we? Listen, I know the people with the salamander badge have long been after you. <laughs> I know where they can be found. Deal with them, and your problems are over. And, in the process, you'll help me out, too. How about it? We'll see. Tell me what you know. Salamandra has nearly taken control of the drug trade. If no one stands against them... Why should I care? They're after you. Destroy them. Take the information you need and return here. Oh, and gather any drugs you find as evidence. Where do I begin? An informer spoke of a dealer called Angus, who holds some powder. He works in the slums. We must know where he gets his goods. He's often at the tavern.
Any room? Five Oren. Till tomorrow. Screw co op existence. Who are you? No matter. You, Angus? What the fuck does no matter mean? I need some stuff. Who said I said anything? Jethro. This is way over your head. You're making a big mistake. Spit it out. Who are your suppliers? Eat me. I'm out of here. You're one stubborn son of a whore. I'll make you regret this. I asked nicely and got nothing. Maybe this will work.
cram! What's beyond the grate? Not your concern. Get lost. Private property. Angus said I might score some fist tech here. Since when does he have friends like you? Give me the password, or we'll tie your balls into a Zeracanian knot. Password. I'm sure you'll find this funny. You've no business here. <laughs> Well, look who's here. Witcher Geralt. Angus sent me. Who you trying to fool, Witcher? You've entered a lion's den, wolf pup. <laughs> you dare challenge the Salamandra! <laughs> The Salamandra!
I'll kill you! I'm working. This isn't easy, you know. My balls each. I know, I know. Yeah. Don't hurt. hit me. I'm working. This isn't easy, you know. My balls itch.
work. Jethro waits for you up there. Good work, Witcher. A few people died, but I'll turn a blind eye. Self-defense. Well done. The community is better without their kind. Back to business. Where hides the Fiztech producer? Gellert's the one responsible. Great. I will secure the evidence and the drugs. <laughs> For the public good, of course. You deal with Gellert. Excellent plan. Perhaps I should kill everyone involved in trafficking Fiztech? Or maybe I inform Vincent you're seizing goods. What roils you? You got all you wanted. That's the only reason I'm still talking to you. But don't give me any more orders. Is that clear? As a bell. But we still must deal with Gellert. Fistech softens your brain. I'll do it. Get ready, Geralt. Don't worry about me. I have my potions. Neither to Miriam nor the David. Yeah. I need to rest. Anyone's trans take me to times of Where how many? Customer, come aboard. Greetings. Much has changed. Townsfolk have violated our swamp. Hmm. Who are these strangers? Dry ones. How dreadful. They drove off the lumberjacks and many were slain. They carry off our kin. The water lords are angry. Only the druids dare remain in the grove. Anything else while I was away? A great battle between a man with a fiery soul and an elven lord. Who won? Our lords were victorious. Praise be to them! May I ask a question? What? I heard you're having problems. Drowners again? Yes. But we have another problem. Speak, Veska. Bandits with salamander badges are forcing my kin to gather herbs. That's very interesting. They separate our kin into groups. Armed guards watch them. Where are they? I saw one group by the Fallen Tower. Please help them. I'll reward you. Their boss, Roland Blyneim, is an evil man. Kill him. I'll do just that. <sighs>
Mess with me, you die. You'll regret the day you were born. Just in time. Return home. May you never suffer drought. What do you know about Salamandra? They forced us to gather herbs, make fistic. One group hides in the cave near the old logging area. Salamandra is involved in the drug trade? Thanks. Return home.
You'll regret the day you were born. I challenge the Salamandra. I'll make you squeal. We are saved. At last. No, I came on my own. You're free. Hear that, everyone? We're going home. Before you go, tell me what you know about Salamandra. They held us at a camp. One group may be by the old logging area. Thank you. The messenger of the lords lifts me from my knees and tears off my chains. Are you the brickmaker's lost child? I sat on foreign shores, crying and remembering my fatherland. So neither druids nor dryads kidnapped you. Blessed be he who wields a sword against my enemies. Okay. Hurry home. Who is above the lords? Right. I'll be going. Thanks be to the Lords. You're free. We wish to reward you. What is Salamandra doing in the swamp? They're based at the former non-humans camp. You'd need an army to drive them out. Thanks, I'll remember that.
What? I found your missing child. I thank you, White Wolf. He's hard to understand. It has been said. Whosoever understands the Lords will be solitary among the crowd, for their thoughts flow like the deep waters. So he's supposed to be that way. From a drowned woman born, he shall lead those who walk the Lord's path to the underwater kingdom. I'm glad to help. What? Those strays from the dry lands are the cause. What? I freed all the brickmakers. They confirmed Salamandra's evil deeds. I thank you for your bravery. If you are to destroy the bandits, seek the Hierophant in the grove. The druids are watching Salamandra. I'll do that. I know how best to reward you. Hmm? I bestow upon you the Water Lord's blessing. You may bathe in the holy waters of the swamp and rejoice. I feel... Truly honored for for who is greater than the Water Lords? Quinblade. Have any jobs for me? I have a mission for you. One not entirely related to the struggle for freedom. Yavin cut to the chase. We have learned that the ruins of an elven temple have been found in the sewers beneath the Zima. Not surprising given the city was erected on elven foundations. We think Lara Dora may have been there and may have left something behind. Who? You will learn everything if you agree to help. I sent a unit there, but I fear something has gone wrong. I need you to find out what happened. I'll see what I can do. Wonderful. What are you doing here? Why aren't you with your elves? The Druid's Grove acts as a sanctuary where I can quietly think, lay plans. My going to Vizima presents an unnecessary risk. Part of the unit inside Vizima is accomplishing plenty. Farewell. In wet spread again. Welcome. Greetings. Do my eyes play tricks? Is it Geralt, the famed White Wolf? 
Indeed. How do you know me? I've heard about you from our friend, Mausak. I lost my memory and don't remember Mausak. A pity. Perhaps I can help? If you stay for a few years? I must attend to urgent matters. Yes. Greetings, Honorable Hierophant. Vasca said you might be able to help with the bandits wearing salamander badges. Welcome, White Wolf. I know what brings you here. I have heard it in the wind and seen it through animal eyes. You know? You battle Salamandra, and have saved many from Salamandra's experiments. Mm-hmm. You cannot enter their secret base. It is too well guarded, even for you. Can you help? Possibly. Their leader wants us to use nature's magic for his purposes. I'll propose a meeting where our chances will be even. What can I do? Bring me a psilocybe mushroom. They grow in a cave guarded by cockatrices. I will create a potion to entice the salamanders to meet us. When we meet the salamander leader, I'll help your fight. And why do we need this mushroom? The salamanders want a more potent version of their drug. For this, I need the psilocybe. They pester me endlessly. If I send them a sample, they will suspect nothing. Farewell. In wed streda kemu in
Yes. I have the mushroom you wanted. Excellent. I'll add it to the potion, then send the birds to deliver it. Is the meeting set? Yes. We'll leave when you're ready. You said we'd leave when I was ready. So, may we depart? I'm ready. We are to meet in a clearing. My friend will come too. It's the least I can do to help. I've never fought alongside a wyvern. Let's go. Be ready. They will soon arrive. I was born ready.
Yes. It's over. The Salamander leader is dead. We are grateful and will always lend you aid. I return to my brethren. Keep safe. Sir, what do you want? Take me to time is ready. I wouldn't have. You bastard! Oh. 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 
What is it? You look ill, Jethro. Haven't slept in five days, but I feel good as new. You're going to crash. Nah, it's not unlike swimming in buttermilk. I'm here about the notice. Right. Do you have the juices? Not yet. I just want... Yeah. What is... I killed the drug lord. Strange, admitting to a guard you killed a human? I jest. 
You've done well. <laughs> now, take your payment and go. <laughs> Maybe you should disappear. Me? I don't get it. Deal Fistek again, and I'll make sure you're never found. Okay, don't worry. I'm a law enforcement officer. Farewell, Jethro. Remember what I said. Yes? I'm here about the notice. Do you have five cockatrice feathers? Certainly. Thank you. Now sign the receipt. Next! Meeting my business partner. Mm -hmm. gives me a headache. How can I? could spend some time with Alvin. He needs a father. It's a beautiful ring. But? Well, I'd like you to spend more time with Alvin. The boy needs some discipline. Tris said it wasn't a nice shed anyway. What shed? I have trouble with the power, and I destroyed a shed. You've got to learn to control it. I'm going to 
to be a witcher when I grow up. You're so good with Alvin. So you love me and have forgotten her? Triss, I... You're sweet, you know. The only one I trust. You've endured a lot. Time for a reward. The little one's asleep, so let me show you some real magic. You're so... I'll see you... Yes? I have the papers you wanted. Great. I'll deliver them to our codebreakers. Return tomorrow. We'll assay our next move. We should fetch a witcher! What's going on? Follow me, Master Geralt! Are you ill? Are robbing the bank! What's happening? Armed robbers have taken over the bank and are holding hostages. Siegfried's leading the assault. Always the hero. Geralt, they need support. Is there another way in? I wouldn't advise a frontal assault. Valorad, hurry. Perhaps you can enter through the warehouse connection. Warehouse? A pedestrian overpass links it to the town hall. It's unused, but I have a key. Unused? The women who work at the town hall speak of ghosts. Give me the key. I want to see your... your...
have to do something. Oh, my back! This is a robbery! I'll skewer anyone who moves! Everyone on the floor! Everyone on the floor! What are you doing here? I'm here to negotiate. I'm no good at negotiating. Meaning? Yavin's downstairs. You need to fly, I shall you cut shall you die, 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 human. No one move. I you just shall die, die, human. Ellerin. You know the story of Ellerin, Witcher? No. But I think we have more important things to think about. The White Rose of Sherawed, known to dwarves and humans as Elerin. Two centuries ago, she led the Elven youth into battle. Our elders were against it, knowing that success was out of reach, knowing they might not recover from defeat. Yavin, the knights are preparing to attack. Elerin, the White Rose. She roused the youths to battle. They grabbed their arms, and followed her into their last desperate fight. They were massacred, mercilessly. Yavin, the bank is surrounded. They died saying her name, repeating her call, her cry. They died for Sherawad and for Ellerin, just as she had promised, with dignity, heroically, with honor. Were you there? Hmm. Have you made your decision? What decision? You can't straddle a fence forever. Especially if that fence runs through the middle of a battle. Are you trying to recruit me? No. With your conscience, you're hardly suited to be a revolutionary. So? I had a reason for telling you about Ellerin. There's a war on Geralt. A war for survival. For freedom. You don't have to be one of us to help us. Many serve our cause as best they can. And you're best at slaying monsters. I won't be dragged into a war between the Scoia'tael and the Order. I'm a Witcher. Neutral is all hell. You're a fool, Witcher. It's too late for neutrality. Stand with me now, or forever be my foe. I'm not about to slay humans in the name of some vague philosophy. Lay down your arms and maybe you can save what remains of your unit. You're a traitor and a fool! You chose wisely. The Order of the Flaming Rose will be grateful. Siegfried? What are you doing here? You shouldn't... No time to explain. Yevin is escaping into the sewers. Children.
I'm wounded. You must catch Yavin in the sewers.
right here while I admit I find you. Are you ill? What a day. A witcher, I will. Behold. Behold, the best goods in the city. The knights should slay those non human Witcher, I heard sounds of fighting. They're all dead, almost. Almost? Unfortunately, their leader escaped. We'll find him. You deserve a medal. Finally, we can go home. Finally, we can go home. Yes? What did you learn from those documents? The location of the last salamander cell in Vizima's merchant quarter. I'll hurry there now. Not so simple. It's beyond the supervised zone. Entrance is forbidden. So what's the plan? A city guard officer is our informer. He's posted in Vizima's streets. How will I recognize him? He'll respond to a password. Speak the words, the lily has yet to be engulfed by flames. I'm getting tired of this espionage crap. He will answer, three lilies make one. He will direct you to the hideout. May I ask? Of course. I see many expensive foods here. Ha! Helping the sloths in this city would bankrupt me in a day. If you helped a few. I'm a man of principle. If I helped the poor, I'd want to help all without exception. Farewell. All according to plan. Did the guild send you? No one sent me. Forgive me. They chased me from the market when I refused to join the guild. I'm only interested in what you have to offer. Sorry for my hasty judgment.
I wanted to thank you for your help at the bank. You wanted to talk? Some of Foltest's recent decisions have been strange. I've long known him. Is someone falsifying his royal edicts? Perhaps, but the seal looks authentic. Who could have stolen the seal from Foltest? Someone close to the king. I hope you find the traitor. I'll let you know if I learn anything. Goodbye. Farewell, Valorad. Unbelievable the way they've packed us in down here. I'm here about the notice. Which one? The Fledder Fangs. I'll pay if you have three. Here. Your gold. You don't seem to have very much work lately. Damn true. I'd die of boredom if not for dice. Take care. to see my wares? Knights should fight monsters. Swords just for show. How much longer? Yes. The lily has yet to be engulfed by fire. What? Do you want flowers or something? I mean, go and bother somebody else. Yes? The lily has yet to be engulfed by fire. What? Is that a password? Is it? Wait, are you testing me? Hey lads, I think we've got a troublemaker. No, I made a mistake. Give it up! I agreed to meet a friend here. I should toss you in the dungeon. You're lucky I'm receiving a medal from Princess Ada soon. A medal? For fighting the elven terrorists. Aren't there more pressing problems? What about the plague? Monsters? Do I look like a sap to you? A terrorist bags twice as much gold as a Kikimore. And they're probably much easier to capture. Capture? One need only identify a non-human collaborator. I command nitwits. I wouldn't flaunt your weapon. A state of emergency in the Yes? The lily has yet to be engulfed by fire. What? I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm kidding. Three lilies make one. You could have thought up an easier password. Okay, here's the plan. At midnight, my unit will arrive in the sewers. You're not coming with me? We'll watch your back, but only for two hours. See you there. Men! Turn hut! Forward march! Uh, damn, it's hot in this thing.
Never sent you. That's good. They think of nothing but money. Your most greetings. Can I help you? I need rest. Yes, fu- I was once invincible, the Great White Hope. Huh? Now I loiter around cesspools because of one fight. You were a warrior? A boxer. I had fans galore. Women, gold. And now? What happened? Judges disliked blows below the belt. They disqualified me. I see. I fought until... Until? I fought the lion. Did he? One punch. Deadly. And I realized I'd never win. I've worn a hood ever since to avoid being recognized. After one punch? It was a spiritual transformation. I can take you. A wager, huh? Two hundred orins. I don't have enough. sort with witches.
Comrades, the ladder. Everything ready. We're expecting the Salamanders shortly. They know we're here? No, but they're vigilant. They have an important guest. Duty calls. Yes. Godspeed. Just a moment. Hurry! Now to begin. Akayala Ambrakur. We have picture. A blurry one. We may not connect with the Redanians today. Easy, the crystal's warming up. I'll boost the magical correlation. It worked! We have picture! I greet you. Greetings, sir. Enough formalities. What do you want? Our military bases around Vizima have been broken up. Spies from Nilfgaard may have played a part. So you're hip deep in manure. Why contact me? Sir, we're requesting financial assistance. Why would I help you? Our mutual acquaintances are working for people with close ties to you. You must think me mad. But sir... You're in over your heads. All your experiments, fifth tech deals. I won't help you. Shh! Here's something. In the corridor. Salamandra! <laughs> Slaughter. Here I feared those idiots would bore me with incessant pleas. But they proved entertaining after all. Who are you? Radovid. I don't like being interrupted. Listen, Radovid. I don't much care what you like. You'd better explain your connection to Salamandra. I'm sure we'll meet someday. <laughs> Nobody said that to me in a long time. I like you. You go straight for the jugular. I'll tell you who I am. I'm not out of fear. I share nothing in common with Salamandra, absolutely nothing. I once thought to use them as a tool, but I changed my mind. A tool? Political leverage, Witcher. Can you be clearer? I can, but I won't. Suffice to say that Salamandra's actions don't suit me right now, which makes us allies. Good luck, Witcher, and say hello to Ada. <laughs> Oh, my God. 
Geralt. You know me? Uh, it's me. It's me, Captain Vincent. This explains your disappearances at night. I was covering you. Those imbeciles didn't even crawl from the sewer. You want thanks? Just tell me what you learned. Radovid spoke to the salamanders through a teleprojection. The king of Redania? Some support? No, he refused, but they have mutual friends. Anything else? Nothing special. We're on the same side. I can help you break the werewolf spell. <sighs> no need. I'm better at catching criminals this way. Also, the criminals fear this terrible monster that defends the poor. <laughs> Meaning me. Why should I spare you? Why wouldn't you? 
You kill humans. How many have fallen by your sword? I'm not a monster on the inside, unlike you. You're right. Appearances don't matter. Thank you. Let us both be on our way. Greetings. Can I help? I need re Yes. Yes? I found a magical stone at the Salamander hideout. Show it to Triss. She knows about such things. I thought. I know nothing about magic. So good with Alvin. Listen, I found a magical stone at the Salamandra hideout. Interesting. Let me see. Geralt, it's a telecommunicator. It leaves a magical trace of any transfers. Meaning? With a bit of luck, we can use this to find the Salamandra base. So? We'll talk to Luvarden about it.
Know anything more about that magic communicator I gave you? It allows conversations over short distances. With some knowledge of magic, one can draw quite a bit of information from it. If the salamanders were using it to communicate with their base, I should be able to pinpoint its location. Short distances. Interesting. Can you check the last communication? The communicator sent a signal to a house in Vizima. It's marked on your map. Is there something I should know? I have a hunch. I'll check it out. All right, but be careful. I'll see you later. Hello again, Witcher. Greetings, Radovid. No magic mirror between us this time. I'm pleased you found my sanctuary. Triss Merigold lent a hand, am I right? You know Triss? Not personally, but I know Philippa Eilhart, and that's like knowing all sorceresses. I wish to speak with you, Witcher. Who are you? And I don't mean your name. Good question, but one with no simple answer. I was raised at the Redanian Royal Court. My father was murdered during the war with Nilfgaard. Ever since I lost interest in toys, I've strived to regain my heritage, find my father's murderers, and introduce order to my lands. Sadly, I'm surrounded by corrupt traitors, overly ambitious sorceresses, and frustrated chaplains of the Eternal Fire. From what I've seen, the upper crust in Temeria is the same. Nothing attracts sons of bitches like power. You wanted something? Familiar with these strange edicts in Vizima? I've heard about them. They bear the royal seal, but some suspect fraud. Tell me more. It's just as Tala said. Foltes didn't sign these. I'd recognize his signature. You know Tala? Certainly. I'd be a fool not to know Temeria's chief of intelligence. So Foltes didn't declare martial law? No. I feel I should inform him of this. Who is Philippa? One of Redania's most prominent citizens. She has bribed, dazzled, or bullied half of Redania's elite. She also belongs to the Lodge of Sorceresses, as does your Triss. They don't accept sorcerers? No. Each sorceress believes she's to decide the fate of the world. Sometimes they do. If you say so. Don't disregard sorceresses. Beautiful, wise, helpful. At least so they present themselves. Someday, I'll put them in their place. Though in her favor, Triss once betrayed her girlfriends. I trust Triss. Mark my words. What's your connection to Ada? I had hoped to persuade her to marry the King of Redania, which would benefit both kingdoms. With Foltest's help, our king could finally rid himself of all the parasites surrounding him. In turn, Redania could support Temeria in its fight against the Scoia'tael. I need not mention the benefits of increased trade. 
the kingdoms united could resist the expanding powers of the knightly orders and the guilds. Additionally... Enough. You've convinced me. But I'm not Ada. And you, Witcher, what do you think of Foltest's daughter? What do you want to know? You're an expert on monsters. You broke her Strigger spell. True. Hmm. Can she bear children? I don't see why not. Healthy human children? I believe so. One of the knowing could examine her. Thank you. Keep this conversation confidential, and please don't meddle in Redania's dynastic intentions. I generally don't meddle, so you have nothing to fear, Your Majesty. <laughs> when did you figure it out? Well, there's the way you spoke of Redania, of Ada, and then there's your ring. If ever in Redania, visit the royal court. Farewell. Farewell, King. We have news about Salamandra. Good news, I hope. Alas, no. Its influence reaches further than we anticipated. And you have an offer for me. Why the sarcasm? Salamandra has strong political backing. We've been unable to convince town or military authorities to take them on. How's that possible? I suspect it relates to recent suspicious edicts. What will you do? We need support. An army unit or similar force. How does that involve me? We'd like you to negotiate with our potential allies. Who do you have in mind? Salamandra have ruffled some feathers. The Skleta. The Order of the Flaming Rose. I'll see what I can do. If you succeed, we will meet them here. Indeed. The bliss of me.
I need to save more. Geralt? How's your leg? Fine. A mere scratch. Everything all right? I'm to receive a medal for saving the property of some townspeople. I see. You'd be eligible, but medals are only awarded to knights. Unless... No. I won't join with that vow of celibacy. I understand. Hey, the Grand Master himself is going to present the medal to me. Yes? Did you get your medal? They haven't set a date for the ceremony. I'm overwhelmed I'm to speak to the Grand Master afterwards. He's a true visionary, Geralt. A visionary? Jack de Aldersburg, Grand Master of the Order of the Flaming Rose, is a man destined for great things. Time will tell. Yes? I have a proposal. Will you help me destroy the Salamandra? How? I have powerful friends who know how to destroy it. Is this some political plot? Siegfried, you trusted me at the bank. Okay. Any details? The new Naracourt Tavern. Come by tonight. I'll be there. Wait for our signal. Not there. What's this? You're so good with Alvin. Listen, I've found us some allies. Great. In time for our meeting with Luvarden. We'll discuss it with him. Agreed. Geralt, you should know we've angered some powerful people. This meeting could change much. What do you mean? Tend to any unfinished business in Vizima and prepare. Afterwards, it may be too late. I'm ready. Let's meet at the new Nara Court. I'll inform the interested parties. How do you know who? I'm a sorceress, remember? And you think so loud, I can't help reading your mind. Witcher. None may say I can sort with witches. You're in danger. What? Why? The militia learned of your meetings. Salamandra has spies in the army. You must flee. No, I won't. I must speak to the others. The Salamanders will be here soon. So I'll face them. You run. Are you mad? I knew you wouldn't run. I even counted on it. Don't get yourself killed. You too, werewolf. Will you fight alongside a werewolf? Our trap worked both ways. Not entirely. 
Surprise. Let's dance. Dangerous monsters. Fistek. Slavery. Banditry unpunished. Werewolves are no longer the enemy. No longer the evil lurking in the dark. A dark avenger. Keeper of peace. The world's changing. And Vincent's a decent werewolf. Geralt, we were waiting. Greetings. I was worried. Decided anything? The Order is apparently willing to cooperate. We will rid Vizima of this evil once and for all. Misunderstandings do arise between different members of the Order, but I take it we're clear about what we're doing. Misunderstandings? No matter. Apparently we're to be magically transferred somewhere. Triss will teleport you and Siegfried to the Salamander base. You'll open the gates for the knights. When? Still needs deciding. Quiet. I hear footsteps. Was I followed? The door is locked. Open up in the name of King Foltest and the Flaming Rose! It's De Wet. Traitorous monk. A disgrace to our profession. I didn't foresee this problem. Siegfried! I know you're associating with that witch! You're finished! Triss, can you transfer us now? Is that wise? This may be our only chance. Akimbaga Hara! I knew this knight would turn to soup while being teleported. I'm counting to three! You're screwed, Siegfried! Soup? Maybe, uh... Dark Ambra Der Hadrin! Where the hell am I? Triss overdid it this time. Although, better here than the middle of some banquet.
There's no time to lose. Siegfried? Open the gate and let the order inside. Where's Triss? She stayed behind to deal with that lunatic DeWet. But she cast Alzur's shield before teleporting you. Alzur's shield? A powerful spell. From the book you found in the swamp. Strange. I don't recall giving it to her. Would you take on the entire base yourself? Any ideas? The Salamanders are using a magic portal to enter their base. Cursed elven magic. Can we use it? The sorceress said it is activated by a magic stone. There is something of the sort in the cave, to the right. Eternal fire, protect us. We've been expecting you. I see we're all here. Good. We can resolve this. Ha. Ah, I underestimated you in the swamp. But you won't surprise me now. Even Siegfried of Dinell would follow you into fire. All is aligning with the grand plan. Should you demonstrate wisdom, you'll see it realized. What if I refuse? Witches are simple and sentimental. Who are you fighting for? Voltest? A monarch with more sins on his conscience than Professor has words in his vocabulary. War he allowed Nilfgaard to plunder and torch neighboring allied kingdoms. Your point? If not Voltest, then who? The Lodge of the Sorceresses? You know not what those bitches do to influence post-war treaties. The resettlements, deportations, the unresolved matter of the Scoia'tael. And others. Your dazzling conclusion? Salamandra is not evil. Not more than those with the will to shape their own fate. Uh, 
If Salamandra is not evil incarnate, then what of Javed? Immorality, rape, murder, treason. What would you call this creature? The future, evolution, or destiny? Screw that future. I'd rather fight a nightmare, even if it's hopeless. You won't surprise me this time. Now, die! How? As your shield! Professor, tend to him! I have no counters! Javed crumbled in the swamp. He could easily have destroyed me and made off with the spellbook. He lost it. Fled. Alzur's shield worked beautifully. Javed ran, leaving the professor behind. I won't let him escape next time. Geralt! Are you well? What... happened? You got hit. Hard. The sorceress must have cast a protective spell. Alzur's shield. Professor escaped, and the barrier blocks our path. I'll find him. No doubt your life will end soon, and how useless it's been. You'll die knowing you're an aberration. You're so full of shit, Professor. Why do you seek to prevent the creation of new witches? The answer's simple. You feel you have no rightful place in this world. You owe your existence to the conjunction of spheres. But your creators erred. Know how? Just shut the fuck up. You've triumphed. Go ahead. Your invaluable witch's treasure awaits. You have what you wanted. Show mercy. Never hurts to ask. So you can parry arrows in flight.
supports. I could try talking to the passage. I should have known you discover who was behind the counterfeit royal seals. I was wrong to see you merely as a monster slayer. The better you know me, the more impressive I become. Any chance you haven't deduced everything? Not much. I know you plan to stage a coup, assume power while your father is away. I also know you found an ally in Salamandra. My plans remain unchanged, and you won't stop me. I condemn you to death. Sentence to be carried out at once. Your Highness. Sorry, Anna. Geralt. The right of state never sleeps. As the condemned, I have the right to a last wish. One last kiss from you. A scandalous request. But the last wish is a sacred custom. So be it. You wish, Witcher. He has been spirited away! Someone will pay for this!
fell out of that strange hole in the sky. Clever girl. Mother says I meddle. Perhaps. I know everything. Ask me. What is this place? This is the shore. Beyond lies murky waters, and beyond that, fields. By boat, you can get to the island. You do know a lot. I know everything. Ask me. What's happened here recently? Alina, the village chief's daughter, will soon marry. For gold, Mother says. Right. Mother also says Alina's sister, Selina, yearns for Julian. He's Alina's fiancé who lives at the inn. What does yearn mean? She really likes Julian. Then Julian yearns for Alina, Selina yearns for Julian, and Alina likes Julian's gold but yearns for Adam. Adults are stupid. Undeniably. I know everything. Ask me. I saw a city. The submerged city of an ancient race full of treasure and monsters. Now fish people live there. I fear them, but the one sitting by the statue of the lady seems jolly. I'm losing track. And I sometimes take fish to the sick and poor elves when the Fisher King catches them. And on the island you can meet the lady, more beautiful than Alina. She yearns too. I'm completely lost. Stupid adults. How can you take care of us when you don't understand and you're always yearning? Do you know who I am? You have white hair, like every grandpa. You're ugly, but I like you. That's lucky. I know everything. Ask me. Is the shore safe? Yes. Sometimes those evil fish people creep out of the water and drive off the funny fishermen. I hide under the fisherman's hut. Clever. Of course. Take care. I'm bored. And I'm Geralt. Pleased to meet you. I don't speak your language. Your language I speak very well. Evidently. Let's talk. Kneel before lady. Speak easy. No kneel. Must be dagger man and button. No speak. So I'm to pay tribute to the Lady of the Lake? Exact. All right. Cook, good pull tallow. Got any work for someone skilled with a sword? Ghoul, bull. Humans great enemies to Vodianoi. Hire Witcher Big for Vodianoi to kill. Witcher Big at Crypt. We love with humans, yet humans swim our waters. Did I hear you right, another Witcher? Gralol, exact. Disloving ghouls at Crypt. I need to speak to him. Farewell.
Mysterious Witcher and Outcast. I finally found him. I don't like this. What do you want, Witcher? I've been looking for you, Berengar, for some time. I have some questions. You mean you're not looking for that legendary suit of armor? Well, you'll have to wait, because a wraith and some Brookside will be here any minute. You think you can handle them? Think I can't. <laughs> Fine. Play tough. As that old stooge Vesemir used to say, let's fight and see. I can hear them coming. Get ready. I've been ready since childhood. Those bastards at Kaer Morhen saw to that. Nice style, but not perfect. During a half pirouette, you leave your groin unprotected. I don't think so. I'll demonstrate when we get out of here. I don't intend to discuss swordplay. What do you know about Salamandra? <laughs> Straight to the point. Know why I'm laughing, Geralt? No. I'm laughing at you. So, witchily, fast, deadly, and sure of yourself. With your unwavering sense of what's right. Think you're better than me? I don't know, but I don't want to fight you. Oh, that's right. The code forbids it. Watch it. Here they come again. That was easy enough. 
Berengar, I'm not about to get killed by a few Bruxae, if that's what you were hoping for. Let's talk. Who said I wanted to talk? You gonna force me? I hadn't intended to. I was thinking. That since we're both witchers, somehow we'd come to an agreement? To me, you're no better than that scoundrel and professor. You're just a bigger hypocrite. So you worked with Salamandra after all? I never said that. Shit. Looks like we're done here. Can we talk? Fine, but not here. Let's go outside. Sit by my fire. Finally. Fucking witch's fate. We can talk by the fire. We can talk by the fire. All right, what's so urgent? I'd best start at the beginning. What's your connection to Salamandra? What the hell? It's a simple story. They found me some time ago, and the professor made me an offer I couldn't refuse. You know the kind. Help us, or we'll feed you your balls. I did what I had to do. It's funny. They remind me of witchers. Never had a choice, with them or you. The witchers made me a mutant. The professor made me a criminal. An outcast, twice over. I escaped as soon as I could. They got nothing out of me. I didn't sell anyone out. And then I came here. I heard you're attempting to resolve the conflict between humans and the Vodianoi. What? Did they send you here to dissolve my contract? Fine by me. Take it. What contract? The one negotiating a peace between humans and the Vodianoi. Both sides came to me. I have no intention of pursuing it, and the job will fit your sandy legend perfectly. Do I sense envy? Don't flatter yourself. I have only contempt for people like you. Don't digress. My take? Call one of the two sides, and the rest will fall into place. You mentioned a suit of armor? You don't know the legend? I thought every little witcher had heard it. Tell me. 
The legend, as legends do, tells of a great warrior. It's more boring than Dandelion's ballad about you, which is hardly possible. But it turns out our hero employed witcher's fighting techniques while wearing armor. Was he a witcher? Who knows? Sounds interesting. They called him Raven. He had connections to gnome inventors with superior technical knowledge. In their secret workshops beneath Mount Carbon, they created a suit of armor both durable and light. Perfect for a witcher. A legendary suit of armor. I should do some treasure hunting. Good luck. I suspect Raven was buried in it, and I have long scoured cemeteries in hopes of finding it. Know anyone who could tell me more about the armor? The local blacksmith is an inventor and knows the legend. You could also try the elven handyman. I'll do that. Yeah. Know where I can find the friendly Vodian priest? By the Lady of the Lake's altar on the shore. Sometimes the dragon worshippers drive him away, so wait for him. If it's not beneath you. I see. Yeah. You mentioned an imperfection in my defense. Yes. You leave your groin open when you do a half spin. A beginner would notice. I even know why. Care to tell me? To do a half spin correctly, you need to have both legs in working order. One of yours was crushed once. Possibly. So it goes. Live by the sword, die by the sword. Farewell. the Fisher King for permission. Hmm? Greetings. You're the Fisher King, right? Mm hmm? Hmm. Well, I have a professional interest in the area. You see, I'm a witcher. Any monsters in the lake? Hmm. Memphis Benas? Dragonflies? Water creepers? No. Mm. I see. The lake's safe. While we're talking. Mm -hmm. Could I use your boat? Mm -hmm. Take care.
Geralt. Dandelion. How did you get here? By teleport. Triss teleported me, too. It was amazing. I always wanted to see what it's like. She did that for you? Must be having an off day. So why did Triss teleport you here? Let's say she saved me from the kiss of death. Interesting. Perhaps I'll use it in my new ballad. In any case, what a truly delightful place. Triss said we should stay here until Princess Ada stops dreaming of slitting your throat. I have to agree. So, tell me about this place. In prose, if you don't mind. It's a charming area, thoroughly magical in its mood. The peasants seem altogether happy, while the peasant women are, uh... Hmm... Dandelion. Something specific? Well, there's gonna be a wedding. Alina, the village mayor's daughter, will marry Julian, a wealthy merchant from Kovir. Then there are the Vodianoi. Oh, Alina's taking care of Alvin. Our Alvin? Well, yes, unless he has a twin. Dandelion. Yes. Oh, I just remembered. Triss said you should watch him since others are after him. Or something like that. Anything else? I don't think so. Now to the tavern to meet some charming lass who'll get my spirits up. Greetings, sir. Spacious tavern. What? You think everything's small in the country? I meant no offense. How can I help? Where's the village mayor? There's a large hut in the village where the mayor spends his time. But he lives in another large hut. So... I'll find it. How can I help? Any interesting news? Oh, wedding, that's what. The mayor's daughter, Elena, is marrying a townsman called Julian. He's staying here at my inn. One thing. Yes? You look sad. Can I help? Perhaps. Crooked Lou and Bucktooth Bow stole a case of best fire water. Return it, and a useful artifact is yours. What artifact? It was a jest. Not funny. Your question reminded me of some old games. I couldn't resist. Hmm. No matter. How can I help? Farewell. You fight like a lass. Greetings, Witcher. I've heard a lot of good things about your kind. That's rare. Usually people treat me like a leper. Not in my house. When I was a child, I heard many tales of a Witcher who saved my grandfather's life in exchange for a silver penny. That must have been a while back. I'm Geralt. Oh, yes. In the olden days. I'm Julian. It's a pleasure. I've taken Berenger's job. Decided to handle this problem myself. Listen, I'm in the middle of planning my wedding. You have no idea how much time it takes. Come back later. What's up? Soon I'll marry the village mayor's daughter, Alina. We're planning our wedding as we speak.
Greetings again, Geralt. Greetings, Abigail. You found a new home. I was welcomed with open arms. Their own healer died last winter. If you like, I'll betray to you their greatest secret. You haven't changed a bit. I've developed a special ointment, drawing on the old healer's recipe. It makes their cow's coat shine. <laughs> In truth, I have changed. What brings you here? For I cannot believe you missed me. Did you post this notice? About the Devourer's Teeth? I need ten for a love potion. Then I'm off to hunt Devourers. I await your catch. What are you- Why don't you live in the village? Witches live outside villages, as they always have. You must accept that. Abigail, remember the cave? The past is past, nothing more. Is your sister happy about getting married? She's happy. She has no concern for her younger sister. Elena doesn't deserve happiness. Oh, how I hate that nymphette! Now she's ensnared Julian, a wealthy town merchant, while she wanders about with her nose in the clouds. Don't worry. You'll find a good husband. Better than Julian? Not, woe I suffer for the masses, Adam. How pathetic. Or perhaps you mean the hermit? Such are my options. Did you see the engagement ring Julian gave Alina? A diamond larger than a pigeon's egg! Calm yourself. Why take her side? Admit it, she's dazzled you. Oh, how I despise her! She'll not have you. I'll give myself to you right now on the nearest rock. You merely need to give me a nicer ring than the one Julian gave Alina. I have the ring. Show me. It must be more beautiful than Alina's engagement ring. That's the ring. So be it. I'll show Alina I can have any man. But... Kiss me. All right. How untrue that revenge tastes better served cold. Customer. Why so surprised? Rarely do any buy arms in murky waters. I'm no salesman like my father. Your father? My father told me to sell arms. But if no one buys... Oh, but better not to argue with father. Maybe he wanted you busy. Perhaps. I'm to sit quiet and sell to those who want to buy.
Greetings. Hello. How can I help the gentleman? Who might you be? Master Handyman, at your service. I handle repairs of all kinds, produce strange and non-standard objects, and I'm a capable creative blacksmith and carpenter. You're rather versatile. One has to survive, so I offer other services. Besides, I have an expensive hobby. A hobby? My kin and I yearn to build a flying machine. We built several already, but none worked. We had to cover the pilot's medical expenses. I see. Yes? Beringer mentioned you know the legend of Raven. I know nothing about the legend. I'm more interested in technology. That armor was a breakthrough in armor design, made possible by advances in metallurgy and smelting. Very interesting. About the armor. I can tell you about its qualities. Good, but remember I know little about metallurgy or smithery. Three elements remain of Raven's armor. A spalder, a rear brace, and a gauntlet. The highest quality iron ores and state-of-the-art technologies were used in its making, not some useless Timerian smelting pots. The gnomes surpass us technologically by an age. Beneath Mount Carbon, they have blast furnaces and quenching tanks, equipment beyond our reach. Can you tell me about the armor? As you wish. The technologies I mention allow for the production of steel both hard and flexible, essentially indestructible. As I said, only parts of the armor remain. To recreate the entire suit, you must find replacement material and someone to assemble the parts. Any suggestions? Search crypts where great knights were interred. I heard the counts of the Reuter dynasty wore similar armor. Pieces of that should be reforgeable. Maybe I should move. Good morning. Greetings. I'm Geralt the Witcher. Dandelion once sang a love ballad about a witcher. How heartwarming. Are witchers like knights, struggling against evil and villainy? Dandelion, I'm sure, described my profession realistically. The ballad was romantic. Lovers bound by destiny, unable to meet. Romantic indeed. I'm to marry soon. What brings you here? You taking care of Alvin? Yes. He has such beautiful, big eyes. Mm-hmm. Sadly, my husband-to-be won't adopt Alvin. Can I speak to Alvin? Yes, he'll be in the village, or helping around the house. Farewell. Wait, I have a request. If you happen to pass by the inn, would you be kind enough to look in on my fiancé? And perhaps see if my sister Selina can be found anywhere. Your fiancé is spending time at the inn? We're not speaking. He's very irritated. We argued about Alvin. Arguing already? Julian wishes us to have our own children. He wants to send Alvin to the Temple of Melitella, or to be trained as a witcher. You'll find him at the tavern. I see. What does he see in there? Hi, Geralt. I have a new home. It's nicer than Vizima was. It's just that I missed you. You like it here? I do! Are we gonna kill monsters together? Alvin, fighting monsters is very dangerous. Promise you'll avoid it whenever possible. I promise. There are elves around here. One is really beautiful, but she argued with Mr. Tobias. Can we play kill the elf? Boy, I really need to talk to you and Alina. It's not Alina. All the kids play it. I'm always the Grand Master. We'll talk later. Greetings. I'm Adam. Geralt. I strive to compose a love poem for my beloved Alina. Ask Dandelion the poet. Supposedly he's pretty good. He said love would inspire me. 
He busies himself performing a diversionary manoeuvre. A manoeuvre? He's courting the miller's daughter to make Miss Arlene jealous. Clever, that one. Like a fox. Can I ask you something? Yes. You're in love with Alina? You know she's getting married. I love her secretly, so you must be discreet. And marriage is never an obstruction to true love. Bye. Old age is no joke. Come from afar, see no sign of the Come from afar, see no signs of a wedding. Good morning, Witcher. Greetings. You look sad. My sister will wed a man she doesn't like. I have not to wear to the wedding, for our father expended his savings on his beloved daughter's dowry. Furthermore, it's hot as hell. But all goes well otherwise. Doesn't sound good. May I ask a question? Yes. I'd like to talk to you. I'm in no mood. But I love weddings. Carol, is that you? How are things? I found Alvin. Alvin? Wait a minute. Triss wanted me to do something, hammered it into my head for an hour. Ah, oh, yeah. I have a dimeridium amulet for him. Dandelion, I can't trust you to do anything. Is that so? Well, I just remembered I had a package for you. A package? I don't know. Something. But I might have lost it. Quit pouting, Dandelion. What do you have for me? Fine. I have a letter to you from your lover. Triss, hand it over. Gerald? What happened in Vizima after I disappeared? Who knows? I left soon after you. Though I did hear that you staged quite a bloodbath. Sometimes killing is necessary. Now don't get offended, but has killing people become a pleasure for you? I only kill humans in self-defense. <sighs> like the old days. Try as we might, we just can't seem to cull the population of vicious SOBs. I sense we haven't seen the worst of them yet. Be careful. I will. Gerald? I wanted to answer that letter. Good idea. I have pen and parchment. Think of a beginning. Hmm. All right. Dearest Triss. Your romance is blooming. I'm happy for you, Gerald. I don't want to talk about it. Now what? Something about Alvin? 
I'm sure she's worried about him. Maybe I can describe what's happening here in murky waters. She could find that interesting. Sit down and write it. The fisherman could take it to Vizima. They think of nothing. Geralt? How do I get the letter off? Best see the fisherman. He'll take it to Vizima. So, what will the new ballad be about? It'll be a masterpiece, in verse. Interesting, horrifying, romantic. And the story? Engaging and straight from life. I changed my mind, see? Poets don't need to embellish. Life is colorful enough. Aim to write about peasants working the fields? Dandelion, I know you better than that. Not as well as you think. You'll see. See ya. Geralt? I wanted to ask about Alvin. He needs a caretaker who is knowledgeable about magic. And neither I nor my future spouse are suited to be his guardian. I see. You should train him to be a witcher. You know not what you ask. For the time being, I'll keep an eye on him. Geralt? Tell me the story of your grandfather. Grandfather, may Melitelli watch over his soul, had a plot of land, a piece of a rocky, frozen valley in northern Kovir, and a deserted coal mine with no coal. Grandfather always said that a treasure was concealed in the valley. He worked hard every year to discover that treasure. Initially, many gladly took the jobs he offered and helped, but soon it became clear that Grandfather had gone mad that there was no treasure. When he was 47, had rheumatism and a collection of bobolac scalps above his mantle, he was overcome with grief and went outside. He began cursing the heavens, berating all the known gods in the foulest language he knew. The gods answered. There was a terrible rumble, and an avalanche descended on the valley. Grandfather regained consciousness, burrowed out of the snow and looked around to see something that would change his life. The entire valley was glimmering stray. Grandfather fled, bending over once to pick up a strangely glimmering stone. Descending from the mountains, he encountered a witcher who agreed to slay the monster. They returned to the valley and the witcher slew the beast. He could not help noticing the wealth laying in that valley. Grandfather grew to trust him and knew that sooner or later someone or something would come along and want to take his treasure, for the treasure in the valley was immense. Get out. They became partners. The Witcher watched the workers, killed monsters, drove off bandits, and Grandfather managed the business. He's a legend in Kovir and my family is wealthy and respected. That's the whole story. Farewell.
Why do you seek me? Has Alvin been behaving strangely? He told some terrible stories. I thought him delirious. What did he say? Something about ghosts condemned to suffer eternally by unrequited love. It was so... Romantic, I know. I'll find him. Why do you seek me? I saw Julian and Selina together, but don't get bent out of shape. Selina's starved for attention. Julian didn't seem really interested. Selina can be unbearable, but she'll change if she marries. And Julian, well, he loves me, and no argument can change that. I merely wanted to be sure Julian was well, without him knowing or thinking I was concerned. Thank you, Witcher. Ah, uh, women. Why do you I'm looking for Alvin. If he's not in the village, check the fairy tale ruins nearby. Thanks. What does he see in her? Greetings. You'll not get any further. The bridge is destroyed. It doesn't look uncrossable. Well, there's just forests and meadows over there. Thanks for the warning. Need a witcher? You're a witcher? Yes. Sir? Need a witcher? My life's work stands at the edge of oblivion. You alone can help. What's the problem? I had a dream. The river ghosts begged me for assistance. Me, a humble servant of the Lady of the Lake. A lifetime's chance to show my devotion. Hmm, sure. The old bridge I tended fell into ruin, yet the ghosts remained attached to it. They asked me to restore it to order. How can I help? What my son and I erect in daytime is destroyed each night. I'll wager it's damnable Griggs. My help will cost you. Do you wish 400 orans, or a book about spectres and the King of the Wild Hunt? Or you can have my son's help during dangerous excursions. He's an excellent archer. Let's trade. Visit the old wench in the village. Beware, she's a witch. But she may know some means of driving off Griggs. All right.
dwelt at Rivia himself. You're renowned in the ghost world. Alvin, step away. Summoned ghosts can be very dangerous. I just wanted to use the power of Electris. Normally I'm kind, just lonely of late. I'd like Alvin to keep me company playing dice. He's a clever boy. Leave him alone. A classic solution then. Let's play for him. The loser leaves the boy to the other. I'm not interested. Move away. You are. What drew you to these ruins? The Hermit told me they were magic. Triss said I'd learn to cast spells someday. I like magic. Happiness never lasts. I had no right to expose Alvin that way. The Salamanders don't know the concept of mercy. They'd stop at nothing. I wasn't made to be a father. I'm a witcher. Sometimes I truly regret. I miss them. Her. I have a gift for you. You like this dimeridium necklace? Well, necklaces are for girls. This'll keep your nightmares at bay. I wear one too. An amulet like yours! Do you want to live with Alina and Julian? I dream about Alina. I see her in the fields, dancing in sunlight, searching. She tells me to help, but I know we won't find anything. When I wake, I can't breathe and feel bad. They're just bad dreams, Alvin. Would you want to live with ordinary people? Which just protect people like these. Simple, defenseless, normal. Put on the necklace. Dwan! Look into my eyes. See your death. I don't need to hear this. You're not even human. Alvin. Now do you see the necessity of this action no matter the price? Gert, open your mind. Yes? You should stop playing Kill the Elf. I really like that game. I always win. Well, almost. Alvin. Okay, I'll stop. Yes? How did you get to Murky Waters? I was learning the Elder Language with Triss. There was a terrible storm. Then Triss told me to hide under the bed. Go on. I heard heavy footsteps on the stairs. Then Triss got angry at those men. Angrier than she was when I colored her dress with magic paint that is only seen in the dark. I can imagine. I heard cries and people falling down the stairs, and I smelt burnt meat. Then more men came through the windows on ropes. They got Triss and beat her, I think. And a man in glasses asked her where I was. She said she teleported me to a friend in Kuvir, where the air is clean and there are many things to do. What happened then? The one in glasses said something about playing with her, and Triss said you would find him and kill him. Mm-hmm. And then she kicked him between the legs and he started crying. And the others were afraid to get close to her because she started casting spells. Yeah, Triss is good at taking care of herself. Don't worry about her. Then someone ordered the room to be searched and they found me. I ran and they chased me and I was running so fast. But then I tripped and they caught me. They put a sack on my head and led me somewhere. I was scared. More than in the outskirts. I shut my eyes and imagined I was far away from those people. Somewhere beautiful with the sun shining. And then Alina found me. I'm not lying. I believe you. I won't go back there. They'll hurt me. Trish should come here. It's all right. Let's see. I'll be good. I promise. Be good. 
I'll see you later. What do you want? Harn the Mason sent me. That good-for-nothing. He sealed my chimney, and ever since it's either cold as winter or foggy as fall in here. I wager work on the bridge isn't progressing. Exactly. Why would he need a witcher and witch? At night, Griggs destroy the bridge Harn must then repair in daytime. Unruly Griggs indeed. Doubtless he tried to avenge himself and they've taken offense. Any way to help them reconcile? Recover their treasure. Treasure? Another tribe of Griggs inhabits the crypt in the fields. Evil sort. This tribe stole the greatest treasure of our Griggs, a cat harness. Cat harness? Indeed. Like humans ride horses, Griggs ride cats. Go to that crypt and recover the harness, then return to me. Where is the harness? In their chapel, which resembles a miniature sculpture of a saint. Like the ones they place at crossroads. How do you know this? I could say I read it in some chicken entrails, but the truth is more trite. A certain Grig has fallen in love with me. He informs me of happenings in the area. Are you kidding? No matter. Thanks. I'm glad to see you. What happened? Alina went for a walk in the fields and hasn't returned. I'm losing my mind. Geralt, please help me. Fine. I'll go look for her. Thank you. I dreamt I was a witcher fighting this monster, and I wasn't afeard at all! Only fools feel no fear. Villagers say Berengar's afraid to kill some giant fish. Not you. I want to be a witcher. Do you think it's fun? Sure. One like you. Not like Berengar. Witchers are so brave. They never grow ill.
We never get sick, but that costs us. And then there's pain. Would you like to hurt badly? No. Can't I become a witcher without that? No. I'm not sure then. Hey, Geralt. These fields are great to play in. Do you have the necklace? I wear it constantly. Do you still have nightmares? Not when I nap during the day, but at night. I have strange dreams. You needn't tell me. I dream about Alina. I see her in the fields, dancing in sunlight, searching. She tells me to help, but I know we won't find anything. When I wake, I can't breathe and feel bad. They're just bad dreams, Alvin. Kill my beloved Alina! I didn't mean to! Lawyer, you were jealous of her! Die, man! you I myself did in killing my sister Alina out of jealousy 
Selena? Love denied. The sun denied. It burns. At night I sing my plaintive song. Witcher. Who are you? A so Who I'm Selena. Love.
Hi, Geralt. How did you get here? I'm not telling. I'll walk with you. If anything happens, run. I can't meditate with a fire out. Seems I have to light it first. Who has the lady led to me? Greetings. My name is Geralt. A witcher? Here to deal with the Loon Wraiths? More or less. I lead the life of a hermit with few luxuries, but make yourself at home. I can offer water, food, and a game of dice. Thank you. How can I help? Anything a witcher can do for you? I do have a problem. How can I help? There's a druid's ring nearby with an ancient statue of the goddess. The place is saturated with the power and attracts dangerous entities. Not surprising. The wild hunt began haunting the ring recently. Its king hopes to lure the souls of the warriors laid in the kurgans by my hut. I have dealt with the hunt. What would you like me to do? Kill nine phantoms, a hallowed number of the druids. Perhaps the appearance of a witcher will drive off the king of the hunt. As your reward, you may have a book on vampires, ownership of a hut, or a wreath of immortelles. I can do that. Remember this. The king of the hunt is a powerful opponent, and no mortal, not even you, can hope to defeat him. So how do I fight him? Find Mandrake Root by the Kurgans near my hut. The magic herb will keep the King of the Hunt at bay. Merely light the candle that stands within the ring and sprinkle Mandrake upon the flame. Yeah, that sounds helpful. How could... Can I ask you something? What is it? Who lies beneath the Kurgans I saw before your hermitage? Knights who died serving the lady over the ages. Gavander defended her honor against the Black Skull Knight. Elavera perished at the foot of her altar, fighting a water beast. Boar's tomb is symbolic, for the knight was lost on a holy mission. The last is for Renard, an ordinary innkeeper who stopped customers from pissing in the lake. Do you take care of the Kurgans? Indeed. That is how I serve the lady. Her power is strong near the Kurgans. At night, sometimes, you can speak with the lady's champions. From them I draw wisdom and knowledge of past times. What do you know about the Wild Hunt? It is a group of crazed spectres who traverse the heavens searching for souls like themselves. They are susceptible to magic. Can I... What is... Who lies beneath the curtain? Knights who died serving the... Who lies beneath the fifth mound? The last stands empty, awaiting a new champion. Thank you. Thank <laughs> you. 
I've got an old. Yes? Sheathe your dagger. She killed my Elena? I'll never see her again! Selena killed her sister? She confessed! They argued, and Selena pushed Elena. My beloved hit her head on a stone. It's too terrible. An accident. Selena told me, and I couldn't control myself! Selena envied Elena, was jealous of Julian and his wealth. She must be punished. Alina is not dead. She turned into a noon wraith. A oh, terrible! I must help her! Try not to do anything stupid. What do you want? I have the Griggs treasure. Now take the harness to the chapel of our Griggs. It stands just by the bridge, a small red santon. Return the following day to see if the Griggs accepted the gift. How will I know they did? In its place, they will leave you a gift of value, symbolizing friendship or joy. If Harn keeps this gift with him, the Griggs won't trouble him. Take care. You 
bring trouble. Can I help you? Geralt? I'm here about the notice. I'll buy any basilisk hides you have. I'll come and see you if I... Hurry. I was supposed to find Alina. Have you? Yes. That's wonderful. Is she all right? Sit down and have a drink. Alina is dead. She has turned into a noon wraith, a demon. Dead? I know it's hard, but we can't leave this as it is. People will start dying in the fields if I don't do anything about this. I see. Do what you can. I'll pay you. It'll be more than a silver penny. Do what needs to be done, Witcher. And if you can, make it quick and painless. I'll try. You know, I believe in reason, not in gods. Yet I pray to Melitelli that Alina and I would meet again. I had a bad feeling. I repulsed it. I think I need time to accept the thought that my Alina is dead. Geralt, how did it happen? Selina killed her, probably by accident. She's dead too. How? Adam killed her. He was in love with Alina, lost control of himself and killed Selina. By all the gods, that's terrible. So much suffering. What did they do to deserve this fate? Get out, please help them, and I'll make sure Adam is arrested. He must answer for his crime. Mm -hmm. I'll do what I can to help the sister's souls pass on. Hmm. Gerald? Dandelion, I need to figure out how to help Alina's ghost pass on. By some stroke of chance, Alina acquired a Nehalenya's mirror, a rare and powerful device used by prophets and oracles. It could foretell the future accurately, though sometimes confusingly. Alina consulted her mirror often. Asking who's the fairest of them all? Nehalenya's mirrors are either polite or broken. Exactly. I guess Alina's mirror wasn't polite. Maybe if... We find the pieces. Reassemble the mirror and show it to Alina. She'll realize who she is. Call me when you need me. See ya.
A small chapel to some divinity. Who worships here? Sir? I made a deal with the Griggs. I'm impressed. They won't bother you while you wear this four-leaf clover. Perhaps I can finish the bridge before the first snowfall. Your reward. I could use your son's help. He's brave, though not clever. He'll stay with you while you cross the fields. Thank you. Greetings, sir. Never mind the sir. I'm Geralt. Tis a true honor. Geralt. How are you with the bow? Best in the village. I can hit an apple at 50 paces. Great. Yes? Come with me, boy. Bring your bow. All right, sir. I mean Geralt.
world. I asked you to hide if it turned dangerous. I hear voices from all those women who live here. They're dead, Alvin. So many fear me. When they think I can't hear, they call me the devil's child. Those people, they're just afraid of what they don't understand. I want them to like me. I don't want them to die. What should I do? Destiny isn't everything. We are masters of our own fate. I always feel better talking to you. Greetings. Hello. What be your moniker? Geralt of Rivia. Witcher. Lucky to have two witches visit us. Ha <laughs> ha! I, Tobias Hoffman, am the village chief. Ha <laughs> ha yourself. Beastie Beta, what brings you here? I wanted to talk to you about the Vodianoi. Julian's in charge of that business. Business? He fishes treasures from the lake renovates them, and sends them to markets in Vesiba. Any work for a witcher? A creature looking like a fish with legs appears by the lake. They say the crypt in the fields is home to a beast. It has huge teeth, resembles a dead mother-in-law. <laughs> Horrible, they say. Any reward for these creatures? Bring proof, and I'll be generous. I killed the fishman. Dear gods, what is it? Take your 800 orange and remove that nasty thing. I'm here about the notice. What do you have for me? Nothing yet. Is it still valid? It is.
Yes? Can you reassemble a shattered mirror? For 100 orans. Deal. Take the pieces. I'll pay you when you're done. No pain, no gain. No pain, no gain. No pain, no gain. I hear you slew three deadly creatures. You heard right. I have a special reward for you. You may find this runic stone useful. I may offer more rewards soon. Any work for- A creature looking like a- f They say the crypt in the field. Any room? Bring proof? Tell me more. About what- I'm here about- What do you- Nothing yet. It is. I'm getting old. Beastie Beta? Farewell. You bring trouble. Yes? Is my mirror ready? Like new. Now, 100 orange? Here. Help you. Get out.
I can't meditate with a fire out. Seems I have to have it first. in the mirror. Alina? Take a good look. It's... So romantic. I am Alina. I must hurry. I am to marry soon. Alina, you're dead. Why do you say so? I feel wonderful. If a trifle cold. Strange. It's hot as hell. I must gather raspberries for my beloved. Why did Alina's soul refuse to leave? I can sense her happiness now that she's thinking about her wedding. She doesn't know she's a ghost. Hmm. Maybe Nahelenia's mirror is not enough to break the curse. I heard a story of a noon wraith who wouldn't wed a Nilfgaardian, but I don't remember how it ended. A legend, you say? Maybe I should ask those who know folk wisdom. I promised Julian I'd free his beloved. Geralt, do you love someone? Me. I don't know. That's sad. You should fall in love. I must gather raspberries. What do you want? I need your help on a matter of a spiritual nature. You can trust me. I don't know how to send Alina's spirit into the beyond. That conceited wench? She came to possess a rare and powerful Nehelenia's mirror, which once served oracles and prophets. Alina consulted her mirror quite frequently. The mirror delighted Alina, 
yet she believes herself alive and is preparing to marry. Lost souls of the dead show a far greater sensitivity than those of the living. Poetic arguments should convince her long enough to see her damned sister. Dandelion will be perfect for that. Good luck, Witcher. Gerald? I need your help. Right. Shoot. I need a poem. A ballad. No problem. But to do it right, I need to know who it's for. Alina. So, what should I write about? Death, Dandelion. Alina is dead, and her spirit roams the fields in daytime. Somehow we have to get her to understand that she's no longer among the living. Hmm, not your everyday commission, but I'm a professional. Any instructions? Don't provoke her, and no jokes. She's dangerous. I'll need time. You have until sunset. Meet in the fields before dusk. Get out? Farewell. Up here. Got any re five or it? Iambic or dactylic? Or maybe something. Can I help you? Devil's work. Iambic or dactylic? Or maybe something new? I'm feeling uninspired. What a nightmare. Gerald? How's the poem? Could we do this tomorrow? Too late. You'll have to improvise. Master Dandelion, you're to play at my wedding. My lady, Geralt and I have devised a short poem for two voices. Care to listen? Uh, what? Proceed. 
his lips sealed, his eyes blank, his breast stone cold, his heart has ceased. Still in this world, yet no longer apart, who is this man? The deceased. New life comes as hope springs true, his soul shines by memory embraced. The dead returns to the land of his youth to seek his beloved's face. His breast heaves, yet cold it remains. His lips move, his eyes engrossed. Return to the world, but detained by death. Who is this man? A ghost. Stop! Stop! Stop. Selena killed me. My soul shall know no peace until I am avenged. Alina, it's me, Selina. As you can see, you have been avenged. Selina, don't blame yourself. I know you never intended to kill me. I'm filled with regret. Tis justice. I am damned to wander the fields at night till the end of time. Perhaps. But if we were able to lift one curse, I see no reason why we shouldn't. Will you help, Witcher? I'll try. Why did I save Abigail? Were her honor or virtue threatened? No. Because the law was being broken? No. Did I choose the lesser evil? No. The Reverend and his flock made a choice. I'm a witcher. I neither judge nor punish. I solve human problems. Not always using a sword. Geralt? Dandelion, care to explain why? Well done, Geralt. I would have warned you, but I had to rely on a sudden inspiration. Spare me your inspirations in the future. Stop sulking. It worked, didn't it? Gave me an idea. I'll develop that theme into an epic work about folk customs. You're a dangerous monster, as you were in life. I a monster? Then join the dance of death, monster slayer.
Yes. Geralt? I did what I could for Alina. How did it happen? Alina's soul found peace. Selina. Well, there was no way I could help her. Thank you, Geralt. I'm devastated. I was a happy man just a few days ago. Now, I don't know. I may go back to Kovia. Get out? Yeah. I have the distinct feeling you're not telling me everything. How perceptive. There is one more thing. Salamandra wants Alvin. I don't know why, but he's important to them. They sent me here to find him, but I have no intention to. I just want to earn some arms and leave, for good. So, you know nothing more about the attack on Kaer Morin, about the stolen Witcher's formulae? Not a thing. Then I have just one request. Stay away from Alvin. Yeah. Farewell. Yeah. Fair. I know something you don't. Like what? The funny fish man has come back. Those evil fish people finished eating from the lady's altar. Disgusting! The Vodianoid priest has returned? I must speak with him. Taken Berenger's job. Tell me about this conflict. We underwater live deep. We Lady Love, yet not all. Many Dagon love Lady Leave. The humans kill. 
I plead your sword dagon tis love. My give reward. I see. Big blood bovine in village dagon for her come. This love dagon, my give reward. Something sword, something wonderful. You want me to steal the cow and use it to bait Dagon? This love big blood bovine on altar. Dagon come from deep. I'm supposed to kill it on the altar. Prefer human sacrifice. All right, I'll lure the cow to the altar and kill Dagon. Oak, gold pull Everything all right? Great sadness. No peace in house. I'm sorry to hear that. Oak. What's Witcher in your language? Witch Malol Bull. Witch Malol? Witch Malol Bull. Bull must be. No, Bull means idiot. <laughs> all right, then I'm Witch Malol Bull. <laughs> yes, so you be. I saw a hostile Vodianoi on the shore. They be evil, Dagon Lalbatol. This love lady's altar. I must had flee. Now they in water and I guard altar again. Look, I'm no cowherd, so I don't quite know how to lure the big blood bovine. Fruits and nuts. Big blood bovine love fruits and nuts. Fruits and nuts? Those peasants are mad. Oh! Farewell. I know everything. Ask me. Take care. Come, strawberry.
Welcome, Geralt. Forgive me. I don't remember your name. For you do not know it, but I know you. By reputation. I should warn you, Dandelion takes many liberties in his ballads. I have confidence in my source. The mermaid, Shinaz. Mermaid? Yes. Why are you surprised? What did Shinaz tell you? That you prevented conflict between the Prince of Aglaval and the inhabitants of the underwater city of Iz. Thanks to you and your friends, humans and the Vodianoi of Iz tolerate one another. Encouraging. I hope all goes well here. Shinaz mentioned your intelligence. I invite you to use it. Speak with the Vodianoi chaplain and the human named Julian. Who are you? They call me the Lady of the Lake. Is that a talkative fisherman your servant? Servant, no. Women on occasion need men. To secure food and protection, naturally. I see. Hosts of knights once defended my honor. But that was long ago. My poor sickly fisher king alone remains. Can I do anything for you? The peace of my land has been disturbed. The humans and the Vodianoi quarrel due to greed, fear, and misunderstanding. I assume each side has an informal leader. You assume correctly. You may speak to the Vodianoi priest near my statue. Julian represents the humans. I'll tend to this. 
Who is in the right? It's not about who's right. I want them to reconcile. Then you must slay Dagon. To do so, bring me objects symbolizing harmony from both communities. I'll return soon. You will find clues on the nature of these objects on the statue. Yes? Milady, are these what you wanted? Try again, Witcher. Very well. Yes? Milady, you look pensive. Sometimes I see the future, Witcher. Destiny has entangled its threads round a Witcher. His path leads into a dark future, into sadness and pain. I wish to help him survive. Who is it, milady? You, or Berengar. Speak with him, and may one of you take up Destiny's thread. I'll speak to Berengar. Yeah? Milady, do you approve? You sent a troubled soul into the beyond. You revealed Alina to herself with a song. True. Yes? Milady, they say I returned to life but lost my memory. Can you help me? I know you didn't return by chance. First, you must answer. Do you believe in destiny? I am master of my own fate. I trust that in uttering those words you understand their weight. Rejecting destiny renders you responsible for all your choices, good and bad. So be it. Strong in character, indeed. You will regain your identity. I honor your wish to forge your fate. Know that you bear both my blessing and my favor. Thank you, milady. I have one more question. Yes? Milady, what happened to those hosts in shining armor? I fought the legend of the Holy Grail. My bold knights, I know not why, determined to embark on a mission. They claimed it their destiny to find the Holy Grail. Alas, my powers cannot vanquish destiny. I failed at guiding the poor wretches onto the right path. The Grail was never found? Just so. Know you the legend of the Grail? I lost my memory. Speak with a hermit watching over the graves of those brave seekers. Though boring, he knows the Grail's legend perfectly. I'll visit him. If you return intent on a mission of paramount importance, believe me, I can be unpleasant. Milady, you... I expected gifts. Yeah. Have you spoken with the Lady of the Lake? 
Goddesses don't speak to mere mortals. Spare me the sarcasm. So what momentous news did the local goddess divulge? Just don't get all momentous on me. She spoke about destiny. Destiny doesn't interest me. But if you want to play hero, be my guest. I'll even help. See, I tricked you recently. What? Salamandra actually forced me to betray a few formulae. Subjected me to some tests. I didn't even protest. They paid me well. Why? You know why. I wanted to marry, have children, friends, a normal life. The witches robbed me of that chance. This is nothing new to you. Humans hate me. When they see my eyes, they blanch in fear. And children. Tell me, what's the difference between your dear Camoran and a salamandra lab? I'm not here to tell you I'm any better than you. Leave. The mere sight of you irks me. I'm beginning to doubt myself. Farewell. Yeah? Farewell. Geralt? An agreement with the Vodianoi is possible. Think so. That is the will of the Lady of the Lake. Care to take issue? No, Witcher. I'm no fool. In that case, I'll need something that symbolizes your devotion to her, and your desire to achieve peace with the Vodianoi. Of course. What shall I give you? The alabaster figure depicting a young Vodianoi capturing a water elemental. Here it is. It would have fetched a fine price in Vizima, but peace is more important.
How can I help? Can I ask what you... I heard you're an expert on the legend of the Holy Grail. You seek the Holy Grail? I might. Let's talk first. Know that the legend of the Holy Grail has been studied for centuries. It's been interpreted in myriad ways. You must know an abridged version. Say, three theories? How can I help? Can I... What it... Why does the Lady of the Lake seem skeptical about the search for the Holy Grail? Many fine knights set out seeking the Grail, abandoning their roles as guardians of peace and justice under the guidance of the Fisher King and the Lady of the Lake. Now the Fisher King is mute and the knight's gone. I think the Lady must be very lonely. But she's a goddess. You know not how lonely a goddess. Do you think goddesses cannot be lonely? The gods ultimately created us in their own image. Remind me what to do. Slay nine. How do I? Fine. Yeah. Everything. Greetings, Geralt. Greetings, Alf. Have you forgotten me? Much time has passed since our encounter at the end of the world. I lost my memory. No matter. I am called Teruvial, and I am pleased to find you again. Me too. What brings you here? You mentioned we met. In Dol Blatana, the Valley of the Flowers. A most beautiful place. I granted Dandelion the lute he now plays. Meeting you changed me. I once hated humans without exception. Your words planted doubt. When the war brought all that hatred, I realized there was another way. I'm glad. As am I, Witcher. Is there any way I can help? Indeed. We're wounded and hungry. Negotiations with the peasants went poorly. Our dignity is all we have left. What can I do? You could buy fresh bread. Twenty orange should cover five loaves. I'll return soon. Kedmil Vakko. Greetings. Who are you? When the chaos of war surrounds us, few care for beauty and harmony. I ensure that beauty remains in the world. I create customized objects. You're a craftsman? Craftsmen produce useful items. The beauty of my works could awaken the dead. 
I'm here about the notice. Do you have the giant centipede armor? Here. Finally, I'll be able to progress with my work. Take this pouch for your toil. Yes? I'm looking for information on Raven's armor. The legendary Witcher's armor. It has unique magical qualities. I'm listening. It was made in the gnome's workshops, but finished by elves. The songmaster, Tayan Sal, took an interest in Raven's armor and worked for twelve days straight, each movement of his chisel accompanied by a song of power. Legend says that in battle, the armor sang for Raven a song of victory, adding to his confidence and calming him. A beautiful story. Do you know if any records of these songs remain? I would look in crypts if I were you. Find the tomb of the elven songmaster. Objects belonging to him in life must lie in or near his sarcophagus. There are quite a number of you here. We escaped from Vizima. The wounded and sick lie in the cave. If you like, speak with our leader, Teruvio. Any trouble from the inhabitants here? The Lady of the Lake reigns in this land. We're safe here, though I have heard of conflict with the Vodianoi. Farewell. Geralt, I'm not surprised to see you. It's me, Chiridan. Recognize me? Chiridan? Apparently not. You were busy. It's been some time. True, Geralt. And see what's come of it. A mess, not assimilation. You work hard, you pay taxes, then come the pogroms. You flee as they torch your tavern. Hard times. Good you're here. Why are you here? Same as the rest, eating berries and dreaming of my place on Earth. Try doing something else. Guerrilla warfare can be dangerous. I've survived that. Humans prevented me from living as I wished to. Disdainful times. More bad luck round the corner. Farewell. I'd like to get a letter to Vizima. Thanks. Mm -hmm. Take care. of the lake wants to help resolve the conflict. be what? The Lady of the Lake wishes the Vodianoi to live in peace with humans. Killing their favorite cow wouldn't help. Yet Dagon must disloved be. I can take care of that too. But you'd have to give me something. 
Big blood pulver and better idea. Yet obedient must be for lady. Choose. The gold bracelet. Yes? Milady, I have had a revelation and wish to embark on a mission. Geralt, I'm warning you. The Hermit helped me come to an understanding. Tell me. Soon I will depart. I don't know if I'll find my grail, but I must. I shall not keep you. I do understand your sorrow, your solitude. If I can do anything... Cease treating me like a goddess. I have enough worshippers. I lack one who sees me as other than the object of a cult. Milady, simple folk, they don't understand. I judge them not. But let's return to your desire to help. Begin by paying me a compliment. Hmm. I'm no good at this. Milady, uh, your... Wisdom is inferior only to your goodness. Enough. I choose not to believe you don't find me attractive. Rather, I blame your famous scruples. Milady, your eyes are like stars glimmering in the night sky. Distant and cold. Weak, Witcher. Your ass puts others to shame. <laughs> None has ever paid me such a compliment. My brave knights only praise my soul, though I knew where their eyes fixated. Regardless, Geralt, must I tell you my desire, or can you divine it? <laughs> yes? Yes? Why the Fisher King? Hmm. Shinaz called you clever. Yet your voice betrays that tone so typical of males who think they may treat their lovers as property. Milady, I... You think yourself the only, the best, the biggest. Milady. Males are all alike. I'm sorry. I'll be going. You're too old to take offense. Not everyone can master the bedroom. I'm going. I just... It wasn't that bad. Now we are even. Berengar has no interest in destiny. Clearly my vision pertained to you, Geralt. If you say so. When the time comes, I shall aid you with a gift. Yes? Milady, are these what you wanted? Indeed. Here, pour a drop of my blood onto the altar. Challenge Dagon to a duel. So be it.
Yes? I killed Dagon. In gratitude, I will part the curtain of mists, allowing you to recall something of your past abilities. Thank you, milady. Use my gift wisely. Milady, it seems I am needed in murky waters. Destiny has brought you here. We must speak. Naturally. I am a goddess. You are the sword of destiny. Death has followed you for years. Perhaps. Accept this gift from the Lady of the Lake. It will help you fulfill your destiny. What gift is that? Kneel, Geralt of Rivia, White Wolf. You traveled a long path fraught with danger. You demonstrated courage and goodness. By divine power, I hereby knight you. Face your enemies without fear. Safeguard the helpless. Never lie, even if it means your death. That is your oath. Arise, a knight. Destiny will give you no rest. A long road lies ahead. I see death and blood. I see frosty chaos. Take this sword as a sign of my favor. Once the blade of a great warrior, it lay in the depths for ages, awaiting your arrival. Milady. Shh, Witcher. It matters not if you believe in destiny. With the blade I present you, you will complete your mission. Thank you, Milady. Go, White Wolf, and do what must be done. May you fulfill your destiny. I betrayed Kier Morin's location to the Salamandra leader. Then I helped them with their research. I was hunting the beast in the outskirts of Vizima when they captured me. I escaped and ran into Kalkstein, accepting his offer to open the tower in the swamp. That's when they nabbed me again. They weren't as nice the second time around. Finding Alvin, bringing him to them, was the only way I could save my skin. Why are you telling me this? I wanted to tell you to your face. See that famous icy glare of yours.
I don't intend to judge you. Does that mean you understand? You don't condemn me? I can't condone your choices, but I guess I understand. Meaning? Do what you think is right. I'm not your nanny. Take this. We'll meet again, White Wolf. I have a job I need to finish. Come with me if you like. Geralt of Rivia! I've oft heard of your death. Forgive me, but I don't think I've ever heard of yours. White Rayla. What brings you here, Witcher? Slaying monsters. Nothing unusual. Have you seen a unit of elves in the area? No. No units. Watch what you say. You're hardly untouchable. If I discover you working with the Scoyotel... Threatening me? No. Merely helping you to avoid a serious error whose consequences might prove too dire for you to handle. You watch your step, too. I'm not some emaciated elf. I can defend myself. I don't doubt it. Know that Vizima is burning. Non-humans have turned it into a war zone. Those poor starving elves are murdering humans by the dozen. My orders are to halt the unit to Ruvialep Shahil commands, and I won't have you getting in my way. They're cowering in the village and have taken hostages. We'll attack soon. I'll talk to the elves. Maybe they'll listen to reason. Siegfried vouched for you, so I'll give you a chance. Your intervention at the bank prevented the Scoyotel from gaining gold to buy arms and provisions. Though weak, I doubt they'll heed you. But you never know. Promise them a fair trial if they lay down their arms. I'll try to persuade them. Wait until I return. You have my word. As White Rayla's adjutant, I would like a word with you, Witcher. I spoke to Rayla. Heard enough for today. Rayla is an excellent officer and truly detests non-humans. Perfect to lead this mission. But let me guess. Though she's a mercenary, she has her honor and keeps her word. Yet she's prepared to avert a massacre of civilians, even if that means the elves will escape. We foiled the robbery at Vivaldi's bank, and the Scoyatel are weakened. We can afford the best mercenaries. Yet we cannot trust Rayla as we trust you. Looking to recruit me? Am I to stand with Rayla and kill the elves before they murder the hostages? Give me one good reason why I shouldn't just walk. I'll put it in your terms. Monsters infest the village, hunt its inhabitants. They are destitute and hungry and all the more dangerous for that. Stand with Rayla, Witcher, with the order against these monsters. Why would I do that? For some of Vivaldi's gold? No, to support a just cause and prevent a massacre like that in the outskirts, and to save your friends from ravenous beasts.
Geralt? Dandelion. Terubiel's elves have taken hostages in the village. What do we do? I spoke with Rayla. She's leading the Knights of the Order. Geralt. Alvin's one of the hostages. I know. I'll try negotiating with them. All right. I'll keep a lookout behind the village mayor's house. When you're ready, come tell me what to do. I need to talk to White Rayla and Teruviel. Somehow I doubt this will be easy. You'll manage. See you. strange. I can hear what they're thinking. It's terrible, Geralt. Do you have the necklace? Yes. I wear it all the time. I don't want to hear them. Geralt, why are the elves doing this? They've lost their lofty, beautiful veneer. One can clearly see the deep hatred they hold for humans. I'll remember that, Geralt. Something bad is about to happen. I can feel it. I've got to talk to Teruviel. Stay here. We'll die with dignity, hmm. spitting in the face of humans. <laughs> Geralt, why have you come? I've come to prevent a massacre. There will be no massacre if they let us depart. You could have left the children alone. In faith, I could not. White Rayla stands on that shore. Several peasant corpses made no impression on her. The children halted her advance. White Rayla wants you to lay down your arms. She guarantees you a fair trial. You take me for a fool, Witcher. White Rayla exacts only one punishment, death. The unit from the Zima spoke of you. Why should I trust you? Release the peasants, then you can kill each other as you please. I shall release no one. Try any of your tricks and these Dwan will die. And tell that singer to cease lurking behind the house before someone puts an arrow in his ass. Damn, I'm hungry. Geralt? Dandelion, things have gone from bad to worse. Scoyatel on one side, the Order on the other, and us in the middle with Alvin. One should never negotiate with terrorists. Negotiation leads to concessions. Concessions are a victory for terror. Folks become fearful, uncertain. I chose the lesser evil. The bank's new owners were grateful for the Order's intervention. They agreed to support the crusade against non-humans. We won't need to wait long to see the results. Geralt, what now? Leaving's not an option. You'd make enemies of both the Order and the non-humans. I'm not worried about that. I'd rather save Alvin, but if I go, there could be a massacre, and I have friends to think about. Witcher, this feels like a pivotal moment. What you do will have consequences. So do we grab Alvin and leave them to it? No, I intend to help the Knights. Don't get involved, Geralt. Nothing good ever comes of it. I've decided. Care to help? 
Sure. I want to get Alvin out of here. I can't allow him to be harmed in any way. The little one has come to love you as a son loves a father. We do not kill children. Take him with you. Witcher. What happened? Fucking fanatics, not an ounce of professionalism. They stripped me of my command. When I refused to attack, my adjutant pulled out a letter from Siegfried. Had it all along. Well... How did it go? I helped the knights, Rayla. The elves are dead. Teruviel escaped, and the villagers are in shock. You'd best leave. I don't intend to stay. Teruviel hasn't seen the last of me. Farewell. Time I was on my way. Gerald? Berengar. I have his confession. It contains some clues that could be important. Clues? We haven't finished with Salamandra. Azar Javed, the mage who attacked Kaer Morin, is somewhere in Vizima. He feared neither sorcerer nor the hosts of the damned. You're raving, Dandelion. And walked bravely on, his destiny to meet. Let's go. Geralt? 
This is bad. Really bad. What happened? Alvin opened a portal and disappeared. He could be anywhere. We need to get back to Vizima. Triss might have some ideas. Vizima it is, then. After you. We arrive in Vizima soon. Hmm. Smell that? Yeah. Smoke. Something's burning. Heavy and stifling. Like thatched roof huts. Damn it, Geralt, look! God damn it, Geralt. I can't believe what I'm seeing. You should be used to the sight of fighting by now, Dandelion. We should never grow accustomed to violence and horror, especially the sensitive among us. Luckily, we mutants have no feelings, is that what you mean? Nose to the ground, forging on. You're like a bloodhound on a fresh trail. Old Vizima awaits. Probably the sight of the heaviest fighting, then there's the plague. We need to get inside. Finally, I'll find out who's behind Salamandra. Geralt? You sure you want to come? I'd never desert you. I want to help. But matters may get intense. I hope you don't think I'm scared. Not at all. I knew you'd be back sooner or later. You missed a lot. Greetings, Vincent. Why are you here? I'm responsible for King Radovid's safety while he's in Temeria. We'd be deep in it if anything would have happened to him. Has Foltest returned? Yes. He's an old Vizima. Knowing whose orders we're following really boosted morale. I need to get into old Vizima. I stand a chance of getting in alone, but not with... Do you follow? What's going on? I have a job for you, Dandelion, regarding King Radovid. The Witcher's flapping tongue would be a liability. Why do I think you're up to something? It's true. I'm not suited to converse with kings. Done. Dandelion, wait for me at the king's camp. Geralt, do what you must. What are you doing here? Stretching my legs. <laughs> What's wrong? <laughs> you alright, Zoltan? Haven't started taking fist tech, have you? Nah, I'm just allergic to bastards. Spare me. What's going on? What's going on? Kids are orphaned one day and kill the next. Your precious order is slaughtering women, children, civilians, everyone. The elven civilians have returned a few blows. Virtually all non-humans have taken up arms. Turns out they trapped healthy non-humans with sick humans in Old Vizima to finish us with a plague. Have proof? Yes! <laughs> Allergies still bothering me. Here's what Shani said. Zoltan, how can a witcher be so stupid? Those murdering knights could have spared the civilians. Yada, yada, yada. Go away, you're aggravating my allergy.
this. Sire, this is madness. You should not expose yourself to such danger. Wait here and allow me to summon a stronger force. Nonsense, Velarad. This is my city, the capital of my kingdom. Damn it, I rule this land, and I refuse to creep around its corners. Hey, gracious Sire! Silence! You know you might as well wipe your ass with those intelligence reports. I want to see it with my own eyes. Attacking and uh, protect the king. For freedom, kill the ruler. Oh, by your own guts, human. It's the Grand Master. We're saved. You return, sire. I trust you are not too late. Your kingdom is in need. You should know kings are never late, Jacques. Sire, flames engulf half the city, and the blood of your subjects fills the gutters. This is no time for word games. You must act. What do you propose? Allow me to command your army, and the freedom to do as I see fit. Never. Over my dead body. It was close this time. Next time, I might arrive too late to help. I've seen enough. Velarad, back to the castle.
What is he doing here? He dropped in. He seems to have a talent for that. What should I do with him? He'll come with us. I have a matter to discuss with him. Witcher of Rivia. Sire, I am honored. As I'm sure you surmised, I have not summoned you here out of whim. A serious matter weighs upon us. A curse binds my daughter. I want you to remove it. I have gathered all who might offer aid. Duet has been the princess's adjutant for the past half year. Velarad has known Adder since her childhood. And Triss Merigold is here for her extensive knowledge of magic and female intuition. Mm-hmm. Consult them and think upon this matter. We shall speak about it again soon. As you wish, Your Highness. In the meantime, equally urgent issues demand our attention. I'm listening, sire. Witcher, imagine returning home from an excursion against a monster, a Kikimor, for instance, only to discover your home a whorehouse. Your Highness. I'm not finished. Those you left in charge failed you. A traitor threatens to oust you from the home of your ancestors. Wouldn't you be angered? Would you not elect to shed more blood? Absolutely, sire. The non-humans must pay. With your backing, the Order... Unfortunately, the Knights have forgotten their place. They've developed a taste for power and want more. That is not something I can allow. You stood by while the Order's power increased. Perhaps you should negotiate with the Grand Master. And perhaps I should behead the Grand Master and his underlings. That would solve the problem. Sadly, it's not that simple. I'm certain you're right, sire. I must attend to some urgent matters. Speak with these excellent minds. Gain their insight. And don't forget my daughter, Witcher. I'm counting on you. I won't forget. My servant will summon you when I have more time. I rule a land of idiots. Greetings, Geralt. Greetings, Velarad. I saw you uh, speaking with the king. I gather it was unpleasant. It could be worse. Geralt. Aren't you a bit afraid, Velarad? The king looked irate. At me? I'd watch what I'd say if I were you. Hmm. I've served Temeria all my life. If they condemn me, I'll hold my head high as I walk to the gallows. The king told me about Adda. Dreadful. You warned us it might return. Uh, can you break the spell a second time? We'll see. You seem to remember last time well. Certainly. You stayed from dusk till dawn in the old manor house where the Strigger had her sarcophagus. Kept half the city awake with the noise you made. We uh, went to the manor at dawn and saw the two of you lying on the floor by the sarcophagus in a pool of blood. You were barely breathing, but the princess was cured. With the traitor Ostrid dead, the king was overjoyed. Who was Ostrid? He cast the curse out of jealousy. He loved the king's sister. Hmm. Many victims this time round? I don't know. These days, the corpse is like thicker than flies on a pile of manure. Know where the Strigger sleeps in daytime? No, but she's been seen in old Vizima. Uh, she may hunt there. Removing the princess's curse will be risky. True, but the king has ways of encouraging you to do it. We'll see. Do what you will. But remember, Foltest loves his daughter very much. I know. Geralt. Farewell. Geralt, I was worried about you. I worried too. I'm proud of you. Heard how you fought for Alvin. Horrible things are happening in Vizima. True, but the king has placed me under his, um, protection. Tell me, where's Alvin? Uh, Alvin vanished into thin air one day, despite the amulet I gave him. Vanished? That's awful. He might be anywhere in time and space. I had hoped the amulet would block those abilities. I hope he'll be all right. Triss, I've been thinking. 
about us. Oh, Geralt. I love you. I want to be with you no matter what. Love is the sole thing of beauty in these rotten times. Geralt. I could change, take fewer risks. We'd find Alvin, live together. I'd build a house. A house? Nice dream. You could breed horses and sheep. I'd tend the garden, cook meals. We'd sell what we grew to buy copper pots, iron rakes. We'd age with dignity. Evenings you'd play bagpipes of your own making as a remedy for my gloom. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to... Geralt, say something. I can't lose you. I'm here. These are trying times. We just need to survive. We can dream again when the madness passes. Triss, I... I love you too, Geralt. To the end of time. Geralt! What do you think about the situation with Ada? She's a Striga, Geralt. We both know that curses don't cast themselves. Any theories? Years ago when you first removed the curse, you ordered the princess to wear a necklace with an inclusion. Juniper, broom, and hazel branches were to be burned in her chambers. Don't tell me. Someone replaced the necklace and added crap to the fire. Yes. Someone close to her who knew the secret. Velared might know something. So you think I should aid the king? Definitely. In a sense, I'm a political prisoner. I could teleport away, but that would be highly inappropriate, and I still have a few matters to settle here. What might those be? I wouldn't dream of boring you with them. I know you're busy slaying non-humans. It's not like that. Oh, excuse me. Quelling a rebellion. Is that what they call it? Eliminating terrorists? I see no difference. I've got to go. Witcher? Count. No titles, please. Let us bury past misunderstandings in the name of a greater cause. So be it. Geralt? Don't you fear the king's anger, Duet? Wherever did you get that idea, Witcher? Foltest looked pretty pissed. He said something about bloodshed. Obviously, he spoke of the blood of traitors and non-humans. He might finally dispose of that failure Velerad. The king wants me to lift the curse that holds Ada. Not surprising. You succeeded once, though it nearly cost you your life. The Striga's appearance possibly spells the end for Foltest. Many say he offended the gods. Remember how she first became a Striga? I do, but I don't care much what people say. I'm interested in the present. Then simply get rid of the Striga. The chance of removing the curse is minimal. I've heard a rumor of an additional reward for killing the Striga. Would the rumor mention how much? Five thousand orans. Nice number. Any idea who's spreading this rumor? No. However, there are other things to consider. If you do solve the Striga problem, the king might take his savior's advice. Have anything specific in mind? A fresh yet unsigned decree on the king's desk disbands the order. If you ask the king to reconsider, well, your friend Siegfried would be grateful. Our merciful master will see you now, sir. Go upstairs to his chambers. I'll go immediately. Geralt. Farewell. Witcher. Your Highness. No need for titles. Speak freely. You've had time to think. What's the prognosis on removing the curse from my daughter? It's possible. Could the curse have returned by itself? Unlikely. Someone must have cast it again. 
Should you succeed, would... Would Ada's mind be that of a child? I don't believe so. She'd likely recall all that occurred before her transformation. You don't believe so? You're not making this any easier, Geralt. Do what you can to remove the curse. Failing that, you may slay her without fear of retribution from me. When I last gave you my trust, you did not disappoint me. Thank you, sire. Don't thank me yet. Should you learn who cast the curse, tell me and only me. If you succeed, I'll grant your every wish, within reason, of course. If you must slay her, do it quickly, cleanly. If you fail, and my daughter suffers, those dear to you will suffer too. I understand, sire. Good. Sire, another disease consumes your kingdom. What would that be, Witcher? I have been investigating an organization known as Salamandra. My daughter dealt with them, stupid girl. I regret I ever departed. To your credit, Venerad said you thinned their ranks considerably. I trust you shall finish the matter. Exactly my aim. One last matter, Witcher. Forgive me, but I had you followed. I received a report about your personal life. Your Highness. You must know that I hardly did this out of lewd curiosity. My spies report that you are romancing Merigold. I need to know if there is anything more to it. Triss and I, we're close. That's no one's business but ours. No need to be rude, Witcher. I too loved Adder's mother. They forbade me from marrying her. But I hope you fare better. At least as a mutant, you need not worry about pregnancy. If you desire to go to Vizima, talk to my Chamberlain. I shall be away from the castle for some time. See Velorad about any other needs. So I shall. Farewell, sire. Beauclair in the Duchy of Toussaint? A witcher once spent an entire holiday feast dancing with a sorceress. Not I, my lady. I dance rather poorly. Hmm. Do all witchers have white hair? No, my lady. I am alone in that. Perhaps I am confused. Regardless, I do have a certain matter for you. How can I help? Très bien. Mon Dieu. My three cousins recently fled the city due to some uh, unfortunate coincidences. Did they incur the king's disfavor? Of a sort. I wish to send them some coin to alleviate their situation. Understand? Perfectly. I'll act as messenger for an appropriate fee. Ah, parfait! My cousins Corbin, Bus, and Ramoreau sought refuge in the swamp, in the caves there. Please deliver 300 orens to each of them. As for my fee... My cousins will give you a receipt. Take these to Ovizima, to the captain of the mercenaries, my fiancé. He will reward you. Farewell. Geralt. I've got... Geralt. Farewell. Yes? I'd like to return to Vizima. Are you ready, sir? I am.
Greetings, Witcher. I knew we would meet again sooner or later. Greetings, Rayla. Get your unit back? Yes. My reward for that elven slut. I told you I'd hunt her down. Teruvial? That's the one. Yavin's bitch. I handed her over to the boys, then we hung her. I've never seen anyone fight so fiercely. Decision time. A turning point. Stand aside, or fight non-humans. I chose to fight. Neutrality gone. The skirmish at murky waters was the first of several victories for the Order. The uprising nears its end. I just hope the victory is not too costly. They say Yavin's gone wild. Chaos reigns in the Elven ranks. I see that. They're attacking without rhyme or reason. Try to keep up. We'll head to the field hospital in the center of Olvazima. I've already killed 20 Scoyatel. I wager you can't beat that. Any purpose to this excursion, apart from killing? Siegfried waits with important orders for me. Ready?
bastard. You couldn't have killed more long ears than I. You forgot the ones I killed on the dike. Hmm. We'll consider it a tie then, and finish this contest later. Why are you looking at me that way? I was thinking about a certain legend. Ever heard of Raven's armor? Hmm. Where would I find an armorer capable of making Witcher's armor? The Order's armorer is excellent. He has a shop somewhere here in Old Vizima. All right, I'll find him. Shani's an angel. I swear on the eternal fire her hands work miracles. No doubt. Are you badly hurt? Merely a scratch. Shani confirmed I'd be back on my feet in no time. Looks like your wound was caused by a... Hmm. Giant cleaver. Swung by a berserk butcher dwarf. He cut down three brothers, but I got him. Siegfried, every child knows to stay away from berserk dwarves. You were lucky. Welcome. You've set up a hospital. Clever. Do you have a minute? I have my hands full. Besides, I'm apparently not worthy of your trust. What are you talking about? Alvin! You made it perfectly clear who's worthy of a witcher's trust and who's not, who you'd sleep with on occasion, and who you'd entrust with a child. But... Enough. The wounded need my help. Master! Are you a witcher? I am. What is it? Master Geralt, the she-beast is murdering people. What happened? The Strigger appeared by the tower. I was sent to get a Witcher. Already five soldiers have breathed their last. Help us. Which tower? The tallest in the district. The one the Scoia'tael set ablaze. Why stay and rot here? Do what you must. We'll speak later. A cozy hospital. You know, I nearly joined a convent once. Tough to believe. Got me. I've always preferred killing to healing. Tend to your business. We'll meet later. One more step and things will get Finally, that monster is dead. Why are you here? I heard soldiers were fighting a Strigger, so I came to see Vizima's famous Strigger princess. 
though not a striga, still interesting. Don't get too excited, Kolkstein. I'll pay these good soldiers to take these remains to my laboratory, and later I'll... Hold it. If not a striga, what is it? A combination of alchemy, genetics, biology, and black magic. A mutant like you. I can't wait to have a closer look. Like me? Similar. Magic and alchemy accelerates the mutation. The side effects are practically uncontrollable. It's hellishly quick and strong. To know more, I'd have to dissect it. I suspect I know who's behind this. Do you know where it came from? The soldier said it came from the Swamp Cemetery. Take this scroll. It details the formula for a powerful potion that will help if you choose to fight the Striga. Salamandra grows bolder. Accelerated mutation and experiments on humans is a dirty business. And all based on stolen witches' secrets. Which you guarded for years without succumbing to any of these temptations. Congratulations. All right, but what about this Striga? If the soldiers were wrong, I heard rumors of certain events in the swamp. What rumors? Be quick. They say a corpse was found at the old chapel there, torn open. The large intestine stretched to its full one and a half meters. All six and a half meters of the small intestine wrapped around... That's fine, thanks. What happened with the Striga? False alarm. Some mutant was attacking the soldiers. Need help? No more than anyone else. Let me decide. Shani. You seem to be in one piece. Not worried about Knights of the Order or Elves showing up? They both think you're treating the enemy. For me, they aren't enemies, just wounded. In this hospital, we make no racial or political distinctions. I came to understand that at Brenna. Rusty treated Nilfgaardians and our own, even shielded a patient with his own body when Elves showed up. If they come here, I hope I have the courage to protect my patients. I'm sure you will, though I'd rather you escaped. Nice to hear. Why are you telling me this? What's that sound? Treating humans, I see. We wound them so they'll die. And you're treating them. How illogical, and contrary to our interests. Out of my hospital! Murder each other to your heart's content in the street, but don't show your faces here. Shani, watch out! Kill the Dwan! <laughs> <laughs> to slay the wounded. 
How can anyone fall so low? I've seen worse in town. Thank you. On behalf of all the patients. They shouldn't bother you anymore. See you later. Farewell. If not for Miss Shani. Some kind of curse. We'll all die. Some kind they of curse. They attacked the hospital. Unbelievable. Come on, bastards. I'll cut your balls off. Wait. History repeats itself. But this time we'll cut off more than your hand. Try it, Elvin Hag. I am White Rayla. I don't fear you, Elvin Sadists. Hear the wolf pack? <laughs> Managed, but thanks. Don't mention it. Come, we'll speak where it's safer. We must attack the barricade and hold it until reinforcements arrive. Retreat, and the Scoyatel will control almost all of old Vizima. In a moment, I must speak to Rayla. As a warrior, you're almost ideal. Almost? Yes, almost. There may be no man who can defeat you, but a female. You mean yourself? Possibly, but I meant in general. You're very old-fashioned. You'd never hit a woman, or at least you'd hesitate. I don't think so. Stop pretending, Geralt. We both know a conscience can be deadly. Hesitate, and there'll be a blade in your gut before you know it. You're deluded. I'll prove it. We both know you'd never draw your sword against a woman. I know other ways to tame you. Ha! <laughs> Prove it, if you can.
taste the order's steel. Rayla is trapped at the barricade. We must help her. Let's move. We'll flank them. Attack! Oh. Attack! Oh. Secured. We must break through the barricade. What then? We must get to the other flank, to Rayla. Dogs, this world is going. No further, understood. For the flaming rose. you're here this place is going to hell on my honor that's no way for a lady to speak shut up tin man this is their last line of defense onward after you my lady Barricade is ours. Victory! Rayla, wait.
a fine warrior. May the eternal fire illuminate her soul. Amen. A great loss for the Order. I must inform the Grand Master. He was last seen near the Swamp Cemetery. I'm headed that way. We should go immediately. What now? I'll take care of the Striga. Her lair is somewhere around here. Hmm. I don't know if I can help you with fierce fighting in that area. The Grand Master is to command the offensive personally. I may be summoned shortly. I'll manage. I'll escort you, at least part of the way through the swamps. Witcher, are you all right? You arrived just in time. I am Jacques de Aldersberg, Grand Master of the Order of the Flaming Rose. Geralt of Rivia, Witcher. I have heard much about you and know of your deeds from a very trustworthy source. Explain, please. <laughs> Geralt of Rivia asking me for explanations. He who so generously lavishes his wisdom upon others. Forgive me for not laughing. I just didn't get the joke. I don't intend to explain. Unlike you, I am one to act. I want to laugh when I recall your pseudo-philosophical reflections. Witcher, uh, only time can teach us. Only with perspective can one understand what is right. Who is human? Who a monster? What is evil? And how to overcome it? I'm in no mood to guess. So why don't you just tell me what made you so bitter? Otherwise, we should part. Forgive me, I can get irritable. No, they sometimes tell me of your deeds. And though I don't approve of them all, I'm always genuinely interested to hear them. And how did I earn the interest of the Grand Master of the Order of the Flaming Rose? I like to know what goes on in Temeria. It helps me appear in the right place at the right time. Mm hmm Incidentally, thanks for your help. Though you're not human, Every knight's duty is to aid those in need. An element of our vocation. Sounds lovely. Do you know anything about the Order? The Order is an idea. From its foundations to its pinnacle. Our mission. Our vision. Our objective is a new world. A new order that will come after the White Frost. A world in which all will get what they merit. Not by birth or through connections. A world where the strong help the weak, and crime is duly punished. A world of clear principles and ideals. You must know, anyone can join, be they peasant, merchant, even witcher. Knights collect no payment, and are promoted for great deeds. That's an ideal worth fighting for. I shall remember those words. Siegfried, fall in. We need your strength and tactical wit. Yes, sir. Don't let me keep you, but I don't like to owe favors. You've paid your debt. I don't understand. You owe me nothing. Our rest is over. Fall in. Farewell. I'm going to Vizima with the Grand Master. I'll come and help as soon as I can. See ya.
Witcher, Gérard? Yes? Is it true you have access to Foltes Court? The King has hired me. No matter. I only wondered if you met my charming cousin Antoinette. I did. Here's your gold. Many thanks. Yes. You are at true. Did indeed. Ah. What is it, traveler? What are you doing here? We are organizing a protest against logging and the murder of endangered species. Now's not the best time. After the rebellion, we'll lead our green march onto the foot of the royal castle. We'll protest until the king hears us. We prepared our chants like, Hey ho, logging must go, or animal murder stops now. I'd suggest putting off your protest for a long while. Nature calls for help. Farewell. Sir, have you seen my son? He has straw-colored hair, freckles on his nose. A child, twelve winters to him. Sorry, I haven't. I've been burning fires here to lead him through the mists. Oh, my dear son. I hope you find him. I seek the Striga that has its lair somewhere around here. Sir, you see that old church on the hill? The Striga lives in the crypt. She awakes at night and roams about in search of blood. She leaves you alone? Once she came for me, I didn't run, for I light this fire to guide my son through the night. The monster hesitated, then ran on. Since then, she's avoided me. Interesting. 
But I saw her catch a man once. Horrifying. Tell me. Elves set my neighbors home ablaze and cut them to bits. I've decided to flee the city. They tried to draft me into the army. Luckily, King Foltest has returned. He'll put those non-humans back on their leashes. Rightly so. Know what I'll tell you? Seen any squirrels nearby? No. They've all gone to Vizima, cursed non-humans. What did we ever do to them? I found a place nearby where those sons of whores took a human and tortured him. They buried the poor soul up to his neck and covered his head in syrup. Nearby was an ant hill with red ants as big as your thumb. I can imagine the rest. All kind, sir. Farewell. They burned my house down, destroyed all my promises. What shall I do? Greetings, Geralt. Foltest asked me to check on your progress. Trust is fundamental. True, but this particular monster is his daughter. Why are you here? Foltest well knows someone meddled with the curse. He cannot believe Ada turned into a beast by herself. The crypt may hide evidence. Foltest asks that you search the sarcophagus where the princess sleeps. Surrender any evidence you find. I'll fulfill the king's order. Now show me to the princess. Follow me.
And... Shutting me in that crypt. Nice gesture, Valorad. Sorry, which, uh, King's orders? The Strig is dead. It's safe now. Ah, Witcher. Should have slain her the first time for a pot of gold. Would have ended the problem. I had no choice. The curse could not be lifted. Shame. I'd been counting on you succeeding. Someone induced the princess's transformation into a Striga. I have proof. Where? The king wanted to be the first to know. Fine. Is that all? The king said, if you want to cure the disease, you must go to the old manor. He uh, said you would understand. I do. Farewell. Farewell, Witcher. Last. Who are you? Antoinette's cousin. You must be her messenger. Is that how you greet all strangers? Oh, enough games. No one normal ventures into the swamp these days. Where is my gold? Here. Thanks. Finally, I can return home.
State your business, Witcher. Let me pass, Duet. You look terrible, like you haven't slept all night. I'm tired, Count. May I pass? My dear Geralt. I spent the night with a Strigger, so my patience runs thin. With a Strigger? To what end? Did you kill her? She's no longer a problem. I found evidence of a traitor in the princess's entourage. Any idea who? Not yet, but it's only a matter of time. I discovered a useful diary. Triss Marigold also knows some helpful spells. You should give me Ostrit's diary. The Grand Master commands magic better than that witch Marigold. I never mentioned whose diary. But... Ah, oh, to hell with it. Witcher, join me. Align yourself with the Masters of a New Order. With me, Roderick Duet, the future Viceroy of Tomeria. Who are you working for, Duet? I thought you had it figured out. I'm working with Salamandra, for now. Think you can outsmart them? They're but a means to an end. Join me. You're pathetic. Do I not fit your vision of a noble knight of the Order? I weep to hear it, Witcher. <laughs> You're a boil on this city's ass, and boils are lanced with a blade.
Greetings, Geralt. Have you met Rayla? A singular transformation gave her the gift of life. Geralt! A singular transformation. The gift of life. You call that enslaved bag of blood and muscles alive? Better than alive, perfect. You'll learn that soon enough. This was your experiment? You're pathetic. Rilla, darling, you won't permit this mongrel to insult your master. <sighs> Geralt!
What manner of beasts are they? The result of Salamandra's genetic experiments. I came as quickly as I could. It's appreciated. Witcher! What's the situation in Vizima? The rebellion has yet to be quelled, but the Grand Master is regrouping his armies for a final blow. The King is holding back on disbanding the Order. When we defeat the non-human rebels, he'll be satisfied with the Grand Master's policies. So, he's kept his word. The Grand Master always keeps his word. I meant full test. And? Never mind, Siegfried. I was thinking out loud. Witcher! The old manor is Salamandra's main base. The front gate's of little use, but there's another way in. An old well goes straight down into the cave. Wait, I must do something first. Witcher! The old... The front... Lead the way. There's more. Inside the cave. Go straight until you find a small passage. You're not coming? Squeeze through. Into the old manor's catacombs. Then, you're on your own. What about you? We'll wait here. See you.
meditate with a fire out. Seems I have to light it first. admired you. Shame. You might have made a good couple. This farce is over. As you wish. Behold my Koshche. The perfect killer.
Irritating. You just cut off my Kashche, the result of much labor. Now to resolve this matter through more traditional means. I can't wait. My, how threatening that sounded. I warned you, pissing up wind leads to disaster. You talk too much. Scared? This time you pissed in a tornado. Kill him! Javed. I learned long ago only to rely on myself. Before I kill you, you must know. Triss Marigold is being dragged to the laboratories as we speak. Torture will follow. Everyone breaks sooner or later. It's merely a question of time. What say you, Witcher? Still the indifferent tough guy? You're bluffing. You sent assassins after me, conjure up beautiful words, threaten to kill me. But you're scared to death, and simply postponing the inevitable. Alar Zar Bintala. Berengar? I was afraid I'd be late. Can you use a hand? For a second there, I wasn't sure if... I'm surprised to see you. I needed to think. Coward, you know the punishment you face. You can evade it by slaying Geralt of Rivia. You may earn my mercy. Your threats don't impress me anymore. Prepare, sorcerer. I've come here for you. We'll meet again, White Wolf. Berenger made his decision. He knew where Javed was hiding. He also knew I'd find the sorcerer sooner or later. He knew that facing Jabet alone was suicide for either of us.
Can you hear me? What's going on? How are the experiments progressing? I urgently need those mutated knights of the Order in Vizima, and send me more failed ones. At this stage, I can afford no delays. Respond! Javed's dead. Which a Geralt? Expect to see me, Grandmaster. Soon. Finally. I was worried. I'm not easy to kill. Nor you, apparently. Discover anything in the catacombs? You won't like this. Witcher! The Salamander leader is dead. Excellent. And the bad news? It seems that the Order is behind Salamandra. What? That's impossible. You lie. There's evidence, Siegfried. We should notify the King before it's too late. We'll use a boat at the dock. Let's meet there. Excellent. Can't meditate with a fire out. Seems I have to light it first. Witcher! Tell me about the Grand Master. Soldiers respect him. You'd follow him into the most desperate fights and still believe in victory. Any magical talents? I've heard his sheer willpower raised the Iron Gate of a castle under siege. Must be a powerful sorcerer. He's also an excellent swordsman. Is the boat ready? Yes. Grab the oars. Sire, victory. Despite heavy losses, we now control the trade quarter. Excellent. What news from De Wet? He's dead. Cut down by that godless butcher, the Witcher. Useless De Wet. Have the town criers informed the people Adder has become a Strigger? Yes, but the Witcher found the beast. Geralt of Rivia. Only he stands between me and... We must fan the flames of chaos. Release more of our experiments, and let the Elves wreak havoc. Grandmaster, I must protest, as a nobleman and representative of... Enough. Give the people more food, and tell them any God-fearing human can find shelter at the castle of the Order of the Flaming Rose. Adalbert, I thank you for your loyal service. Take him away. 
a new era dawns. An era of superhumans. None will stop me. I appoint you my new adjutant. Know your assignment? Kill the Witcher. Then go. Geralt, you've arrived at a moment that should be called nothing short of historic. Dandelion, I'm glad you're alive too, but I have important matters. More important than a Temerian redaining alliance with far-reaching consequences? Stop being dramatic and tell me what's happening. In front of Siegfried? I thought the order was out of favor. This part of the order is on our side. Though the Grand Master violated his oath, not all knights have lost both mind and conscience. Fultest will be glad. Negotiations with Radovid are apparently going well, and it seems we're gaining another strong ally. We. Oui. When in Vizima, I'm a Temerian patriot. Let's speak with the king. He must learn the truth before he passes rash judgment on the order. Must hurry. Welcome, Witcher. Sire. We have several things to discuss. Of course. Stop deliberating, son. We need to put out the fire in this whorehouse. We'll renegotiate customs duties later. Now we must take action. Nothing doing with the marriage, but believe me, that pains me more than it does you. Sire, add a... Silence, Geralt. I'll have your head. Don't get excited, Radovid. I've taken the brunt of the loss. Now, one thing at a time. You shall receive the three hamlets we spoke of. The Witcher will kill the Aldersburg. What? We said five hamlets. I'm not a hitman. All right. It'll cost you ten thousand. Don't overdo it. I'm a fucking king and I deserve some respect. Three villages for you, my would-be son-in-law, and eight thousand orans to the Witcher. It's a deal. So be it. My armies will embark on a mission of fraternal assistance as soon as we sign the preliminary treaty. We shall figure out those towns later. I don't want any fraternal assistance. Somehow the phrase evokes images of burnt villages and orphaned children roaming the countryside. This land has suffered enough. You're to smash the order and return home. <clears throat> Forgive me, your majesties, but I feel it's time I... One more thing, Witcher. Yes? So, let's talk politics. And don't you dare mention neutrality. Judging by your company, you're already involved. Possibly up to your nose. Sire, your wish is my command. To the average pleb in the street, the Order is fighting my armies. But make no mistake. This is a confrontation between me and the Grand Master. That ambitious fanatic directed all of Salamandra's actions and intentionally provoked the uprising. What do you mean? I thought you'd be interested, sire. Very interested. That makes the Grand Master, him alone, the enemy. Is that clear? As day. The Grand Master, rather than the Order as a whole, is the Kingdom's enemy. And the Order need not be a foe. Led by someone sensible, it could be a friend to the people. It could be loyal to the king. Hear that, Siegfried? I do, and I understand. And I shall do everything to save the order, my king. I knew you could be trusted. After your official investiture, visit me at the palace. We have much to discuss, Grandmaster. You count your wyverns before they hatch. Jacques de Aldersburg is alive and well. Sire, one other matter. Yes? Sire, the Striga gave me no choice. I had to. I do not wish to speak of it. I'm not vengeful, so you needn't fear any unpleasantness from me. But never mention her name to me again. As you wish, sire. Witcher, I wish to know who was behind all this. De Wet transformed the princess. How so? On Salamandra's orders. The bastard! If I could get my hands on him! Those responsible assumed your position would be undermined if the princess wreaked havoc as a striga. Duet has been punished. I'm glad to hear it. 
Now go. Vizima is burning, fighting rages. You won't have an easy time of it. Four feet tall, and a body like a barrel of beer. A mouth from ear to ear, filled with dagger-like teeth. Claws like a wildcat, and red irate eye. I doubt King Radovid would have wanted a bride like that. The union of the two largest northern kingdoms fell through. The young Redanian monarch soon gained a nickname that accurately described his nature and the policies he pursued towards his neighbors. Radovid the Stern. Yes? I'm surrounded by enemies. We must hurry. What? I shall assemble a great hunt. This is no time to talk. Turn. We must raise the hearth and poll taxes yes. by three pence. Are you out of your mind? You must find fun somehow. I'll gladly listen if you have any better idea. Then bold Foltest uttered these words. Virtuous Radovid. What the hell is that? I'm trying to keep a faithful and accurate record of these events. He said, stop deliberating, son. We need to put out the fire in this whorehouse. Geralt, you have no sense of poetry. There's the truth of time and the truth of legend. You'll never change. The pen is mightier than the sword, and you'll never change either. Off to save the world again when nobody's asked you. I need to finish something. I understand. Good luck. We must hurry. There's fighting everywhere. I'm afraid we're about to get a closer look at the Grand Master's regiments than we ever wanted to. I don't know if I can raise my hand against a Knight of the Order. You may have no choice. They're out to kill. Bastards! Geralt! I knew him. He was still a human a month ago. Shorter than me. Well, you proved better with a sword. Expect to see more of these monsters in Vizima. It's the Greater Brothers. They wouldn't let me near that project. That is an offense to humanity. Come inside, it's safer. You're right. The squirrels and the order. Between a rock and a hard place, huh? I had a dream, white-haired one. Your destiny will be fulfilled. I come to tell you. Mistake not the stars with their reflection in a pond's surface. I'll remember that. Trouble approaches! Don't kill me, Witcher! Well... A talking ghoul. I'm a mutant, as are you. 
born with the gift of speech and an intelligence like that of humans. I know many intelligent monsters that are deadly. I am a threat only to those who threaten me. Let's say I believe you. I'm calmed. Why are you here? I no longer need to hide in the cemetery. It's safer here. I come out at night, find food in the streets. Can't complain. The inhabitants of this home have no objection? They fear me. The little brat comes alone, talks without end. I must go. Farewell. into my eyes, Duan, and you will see your death. I see a blind fanatic about to perish. Silence, traitor. You've delivered death too often. Retribution awaits. You might be able to brainwash young elves with your slogans, but they don't impress me, nor did they impress those you murdered. I was wrong about you. You're not worth talking to. You're a blind, rabid dog biting anything that moves. Someone needs to finish you off. Through. Heavy fighting. Is there a safer way to the monastery? There's another path. Through the sewers. Dangerous. I have a key. Take it. Thank you. You won't... Zugel. Geralt, there's really a Zeugel down there. I hope it hasn't had time to multiply. I heard of one Zeugel, and from what I know you need two to multiply. Zeugels are hermaphrodites. They don't need a mate to make little Zeugels. They do it with themselves. That's sick. Unnatural even for monsters. We must slay it.
I know you're an atheist, but I wanted to ask you to pray before you confront Jack de Aldersburg. Siegfried, I'm not a believer. Doesn't that make prayer useless? Faith and lack thereof differ in that faith can work miracles, while its lack can do nothing. Fine. I'll pray. Eternal fire! Lie down, Siegfried. Once again, I'm wounded in the leg before a glorious battle. Geralt, I cannot go on. Ah! Don't move. Foltest's armies will be here any minute. Geralt, go. I shall gather what knights have remained faithful to the Order's tenets. Halt! No passage. Grand Master's orders. I'm here on a matter of national importance. Shove off. The Grand Master seeks solitude. Sorry, you give me no choice. Death! <laughs>
Behold my people. They feast at my table, find warmth at my fire, and glow with happiness to be separated from the turmoil of war. You're deluded if you think the sight of women and children will make me leave you alone. I do not intend to deceive you. The white frost approaches. A cataclysm that will bury the world beneath snow and ice. Each night, I dream of icy wastelands and the death of the old civilizations. I've heard Ithlina's prophecy. The cataclysm is unavoidable. Kings prefer to wage local wars to expand their influence, while elves have become terrorists fighting for a lost cause. The world needs a savior, a man of the moment, someone to kindle the flame in people's hearts. <laughs> you, savior of the world. Come, I will show you something. Humans are weak, frail, and inclined toward evil. I shall create a new man, perfect, tempered in the eternal fire. Finished? Because if you are... You doubt me? I do not blame you. I had my doubts too. Yet now, my vision is strong. Behold, the scales will fall from your eyes, and you will understand. Juggler's tricks. I expected more. You think this an illusion? Oh no, Geralt, it's nothing of the sort. Where are we? See for yourself. Follow me. Now that you have seen the ice-encased towers of Vizima, do you understand? You're rambling to Aldersburg. What do you want? This is the future. The White Frost has destroyed human civilization. This is the end of time. Do we lose heart, surrender? Never. We can yet avoid our fate. Save your rhetoric for the plebs. Understand. The Order and Salamandra acted only to save humanity. Every criminal claims a higher cause. You lack humility. Time for a lesson in some. The unexpected awaits you here. How did you get here? You're stronger than the Grand Master thought. You summoned me. How? The Grand Master invited you into a vision of the future enclosed in his mind, yet you brought your own visions and specters. So this isn't real? It's more than a dream. Should you die here, your death will be very real. I shall accompany you, assist you, but only a blizzard follows us with nothing beyond it but death.
haven't changed a bit, Witcher. Again, you emerge from nowhere to kill humans. What humans? As always, you're perplexing. Behold the remains of humanity. Ape men, wretched creatures worthy of disdain. Some my own great-grandchildren. They're human? The White Frost has stripped humanity of its luxurious robes. All that's left are beasts that think only of eating and procreating. They are human no longer. Their base instincts drive them like the lynch mob from which you saved me. I'm grateful. Take my gift. I see you have met our degenerate great-grandchildren. Do you understand now why you cannot oppose my plan? You have yet to say how all this ice justifies your crimes. Only a grand plan pursued without hesitation could save humanity from what I saw in my visions. Trust your daydreams that much? Many of the gifted foresaw the white frost. Global cooling is this world's destiny. Why fight it then? You always believed man makes his own destiny. I seek to change all humanity's fate. You robbed humanity of its right to decide. You understand nothing. Geralt, I hear the wails of those who perished. Hear their cries, and you will know my pain. killed me, yet I'm happy to see you. There are worse things than dying in battle. I know. I didn't choose a soldierly life to die in bed. Our ties exceed even death. I will fight at your side. Draw your sword, things are about to get interesting.
Do you finally understand, obstinate Witcher? Humanity will perish. The few who remain will become animals. My plan would avoid this. What plan, dammit? The human nations can only survive the cold through a mass exodus south. With you leading them? I'm prepared to do so. I see the future. I command respect. I would rule well. Of course, I had to get rid of any standing in the way, especially non-humans. Why so obsessed about other races? You're joking. They detest humans. With the slaughter in Vizima, they discarded their noble masks. How can you stand with the murderers of women and children? Another lie. You provoked the non-humans. Hatred for hatred. I'll show you my creations. Honest, they don't hide their intentions behind beautiful faces. could have stopped the Grand Master's madness, but you insisted on stopping us. You resorted to murder and terrorism. That's no alternative. Yet we were right. Behold, humans are naught but bloodthirsty apes. That is plainly visible here. You blindly followed the Order's lead and now brandish your sword against them, like a dog biting the hand that feeds it. But that is what you are. No wolf but a rabid dog, a mindless killing machine. Nobody. Enough, Yaven. Now I shall kill you like the dog you are. <laughs> Just an illusion, Triss. How stubborn you are. I could use you to shepherd my sheep during the first years of winter. I doubt you mean it. You stole our secrets from Kaer Morin, used them for the worst ends. Witches were meant to be guardians, but proved too weak. You loathe yourselves. I needed witches, but perfect ones, emotionless, lacking human weaknesses. You see human traits as weaknesses? I pity you. Fear obscures your thinking. My knights never hesitate.
Look, Geralt. Humans. Monsters. Easy to mistake one for the other. I trust your judgment. The Grand Master is the vilest kind of criminal. We need to stop him. Let's go then. Just like old times. of the vision. He controls all. You must go on alone. See you, Triss. I'll be back. Good luck, Geralt. You see the need to act, whatever the price. Geralt, open your eyes, open your mind. They treat people like you at St. Lebiota's hospital. By pursuing me, you proved me right. You faced the dangers that humanity faces and survived. Jacques de Aldersburg, your dream is over. Patience. You may yet change your mind. Imagine thousands traversing an icy wasteland. Could you defend them? You and a handful of witches ridden with doubt, like Berengar? Impossible. Only the greater brothers can do that. But they need to be taught and led. They need you. I also have an offer. Surrender. Withdraw your mutants. Humble yourself before the king. You'll save many lives. How confident you seem. A painful lesson awaits.
fulfilled your destiny. Salamandra is dying, soon to be a memory. Salamandra means nothing. It was but a particle of chaos, the tool of the madman you just slew. Your past, your destiny, the reasons for your resurrection, all remain unknown. Words, words, words. Let me remind you, there is death, but there is also choice. I shall not look back. I shall find Salamandra and fulfill my destiny. You were wrong. I come for the soul of someone whose path often crossed yours as it was written. You may fight me, but the end will always be the same. Death. The question is, whose? I cannot be killed. You can delay your end, but it will come. Let us tend to the one already dead. Reflect on your deeds, Witcher. I stood near you when you arrived at Kermoran, an omen of its downfall. I observed as you judged the villagers of the outskirts, leaving only blood and fire behind you. You brought death upon Raymond, endangered Shani, mindful only of your goals. Chaos followed in your wake. You slaughtered dozens with your witch's sword. You helped create the foundations for the Order's fanatical reign. You left Vizima in chaos, only to bring destruction upon murky waters. Every one of your decisions brought further devastation. Each choice you made led to greater evil. The order to which you handed power aims to eradicate all who are not entirely human. What say you to that, mutant? Stop. Do not deny it, Witcher. You are my greatest champion, a perfect means of destruction. Wherever you walk, death and chaos follow. Now, as it was years ago, accept it. Do not fight it. Give up to me yet another man you destroyed. Jacques de Aldersberg is mine. You dare to oppose me? I sense your weakness as your life seeps from your wounds. With every drop, death draws nearer. You stand no chance against me. Yield to me. Never. This is between him and me. You aim to kill him anyway. True, but for my reasons, and they are nothing to you. Clear off while you can. Go before it's too late. You want to fight me? So be it. Your flight from death ends here. Draw your sword. I was afraid you'd suggest chess.
You're awake, Gerald. I was getting worried. Dandelion? Where's the Grand Master? A few steps away. He's dead. For a minute there, I thought you were gone too. Hardly a pleasant nap. Was I out long? Well, you missed a few things. The Rebellion's been quelled and Foltest has regained control of the city, with assistance from the Order. How's Siegfried? He was here a second ago, keeping an eye on you until I arrived. Then duty called. I wonder how he'll manage his Grand Master. Well, I hope. What about you? Did you succeed? Yes. I'll take the final element from Jacques and close this chapter. Take what's yours, Witcher. You earned it. So, did you recover everything? Know what I found on the Grand Master? A Dimeridium pendant. The one you gave Alvin? I don't know. It looks the same, but older. He must have worn it under his armor for years. A true keepsake, perhaps. Maybe it was his way of repelling hostile magic. Or it was there to control inborn abilities, unrelenting visions. That's something we'll never know. It doesn't matter. Jacques de Aldersburg, if that was his name, is dead. End of story. What's next, Geralt? What do you mean? Come now. You've recovered what was stolen, punished those who hurt you, you played politics and dismantled conspiracies. You've loved, you've killed, You've come a long way, Geralt. What do you intend to do now? Only now do I feel my new life beginning. Born anew, baptized in blood and fire. A new ballad? Sounds too pompous, Dandelion. Take a look around. Life is simple, unpredictable, and beautiful. That's something new. You returned from the netherworld, got entangled in a real mess. You faced beasts and bastards who did you harm. And you're telling me life is beautiful? You're exaggerating again. Something ends, something begins. I'll take the last of the stolen secrets, take a deep breath, and move on. What can I say? Godspeed on your path, Witcher. Jacques de Aldersburg's funeral drew masses. All wished to bid farewell to the man who had saved Vizima. The bloody street fighting ended. People saw the knights as heroes. Non-humans faced greater hatred than they did before the rebellion. The king's edicts punishing the Scoia'tael caused a mass exodus of elves and dwarves. History can at times be cruel. The king turned a blind eye to the iniquities of the Order of the Flaming Rose. The new Grand Master, Siegfried of Danel, reformed the Order, consolidated its power. The sorceresses failed to consolidate theirs at the court of King Foltest. The king punished or exiled those who had plotted against him in his absence. New fortunes were made amidst the ruins. Some won, others lost. The natural order of things. Few knew what had really happened in those days in Vizima. They were those who destiny had brought together with Geralt of Rivia. Yet they chose to remain silent. What then happened to the Witcher? That is a different tale entirely. Temeria and Redania are allies, thanks in no small part to you. For your toil, a worthy pouch of gold. Your Highness. Master. Farewell, sire. <laughs>